We should be good. We should be good. What I was saying is, how is everybody doing today? Welcome to the follow. How is everyone doing today? Uh, happy 4th of July, my friends. Yeah, settings changing on me there, chat. Sorry about that. Good morning. How's everyone doing? Yeah, I don't know. My settings changed. Like, it defaulted to a different random long number microphone, which isn't doesn't exist. You just woke up. You set alarm for this. Well, if you're ever going to set an alarm for a stream, this is the one. Veronica, thank you so much for the follow. Ah. Yeah, I don't know. Blame it on James. Yeah, it, there's got to be someone we got to jam it on. Or blame it on. <laughs> jam, jam it on. What is James not a word. I hope everyone is having a great day so far. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I woke up uh, 15 minutes ago. I lied. I, I woke up like 45 minutes to an hour ago. I've just been snoozing the alarm until about 15 minutes ago. So I hopped out of bed, got the stream ready, uh, washed my face, brushed my teeth, grabbed a water and a soda, and that's it. But anyway, so today, guys, listen, we are doing so, so many giveaways. It's not even funny. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna count. Listen, guys, I'm gonna count. I'm not gonna tell you guys what yet. I'm just gonna count. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteen, fourteen. We're doing fourteen giveaways. Fourteen. <laughs> that doesn't even sound like. Yeah, seriously. But wait, there's more. There is more. So, uh. Well, let me see. We don't need any of this stuff anymore. So we are doing a ton of giveaways during today's stream. But I need you guys to know that next Saturday, the last day to get entered, the last day to get entered to win the Amazon gift card giveaway. Or not the Amazon gift card giveaway. Uh, the, the, la the last day to get entered to win the 3D printer is on Saturday. And then on Sunday, it'll be drawn live. We're giving away an Elegoon Neptune 2s 3d printer so you guys need to make sure that you get entered our real how is it going uh make sure you guys get entered link in chat right now dragonblogger.com forward slash win 3d printer win 3d printer so you guys definitely get entered but you're doing a ton of stuff during today's stream once again my friends like i said happy memorial day i hope everyone's having a great day i hope everyone's going to do something fun today well, let's go ahead and roll into today's show so we can head towards some of those awesome uh, giveaways that we're doing today. So I will go ahead and load up the first video today. We're going to be taking a look at this EF EcoFlow River. So I'm sure you guys are obviously aware. Today is the 4th of July. I'm sure a lot of people did a lot of stuff this weekend. And at one point, I'm sure there's some people that might have been in a situation where they're like, I need to charge my phone. Like you guys were out, you guys were out fishing, you guys were out camping, you guys were out doing whatever it was away from power. And you're like, I need to charge my phone and I have nothing to do it with. This could have helped you this weekend. It could have helped you. It, it could have been there for you. Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today I am super excited to showcase to you guys the EcoFlow River portable power station. This thing is an absolute beast of a machine, so let's go ahead and jump right in and get in today's video. Like I said, the EcoFlow River is an absolute machine. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what it comes with. On the front panel, you're going to have a USB-C 100 watt charger, two USB-As, and a USB 3.0 fast charge. On the right side, you're going to have three A. Oh, sorry. I don't, I don't know why I paused it. I was gonna I was gonna say something to you guys, but I didn't mean to pause it. <laughs> AC outlets, and this is going to allow you to charge it in multiple ways. So your standard wall outlet, as well as a 12 volt outlet that will charge a little bit slower. You're also in the front going to have a 12 volt AC outlet, which will allow you to charge it in your car or power things. Another awesome feature about this is that it has a built-in flashlight. It has two brightness settings, just a standard brightness and max brightness. And then it will also emit SOS and Morse code, which I think is a super awesome built-in feature that they didn't have to add, but they went ahead and did it anyways. All right, guys. So we All right, so what I wanted to, what I was going to do 
is so in chat right now, my friends, in chat right now, there is a link, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. So like I said before, if you guys are new here, first of all, hit that follow button. And like I was saying, we're doing 14 different giveaways today. So 14 different giveaways today throughout the stream. So tons of stuff. So to get entered to win those giveaways, all you have to do is go to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. One more time, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. So you're going to want to get entered to win those because if you enter to win um, one of the giveaways, which you guys don't know what it is yet, which I'll just tell you guys what the first one is, but we're doing a $5 Amazon gift card. If you get entered to win that, you'll get entered, you'll, you're automatically entered for other ones that we have, that we're doing. So you definitely want to get entered. So like I said, one more time, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. We went ahead and gave you a brief rundown of the EcoFlow River portable power station. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more detailed for those of you that are interested. So here in the front, you have your simple LED screen that will tell you the amount of hours that you have charging and it will reflect on based on what you're charging. So right now, nothing's plugged in. This thing says it's good for 99 hours. If we turn it on to the lowest brightness setting, you see here that we have 79 hours left on 29% charge. If we switch it to the max brightness setting, you're going to see that we have 26 hours on 29% charge, so definitely a lot of flashlight time. And then if we switch it to the SOS setting, you're going to see here that we have 40 hours on 29%, which is an absolute freaking beast of a time frame that you have. You can see here it's outputting at 2 watts, so very low wattage output. We turn that off, we jump back up to 99%. We have our USB-C's here in the front, like I said. One of them is a USB-C 100 watt, two USB-A's, and then a USB 3.0 fast charge. Here in the front, you are going to have your other two connections for A, or I mean, sorry, DC power. Cindy, welcome to today's stream. How are you doing today? In order to have that enabled, you have to power it on, and it reflects here on the screen. Tiffany, thank you, you for the follow. Enabled. So we'll go ahead and turn that back off, and we will rotate this around to this side. So you have your three AC plugins right here. In order to enable those, you have to have this little power switch on. So let's go ahead and turn that on and off, and we'll switch back to the front. And you'll see here that it is currently emitting at 60 watts power, which is absolutely freaking insane for something that you can simply just carry around in your hand. When we turn that off, that little symbol went away. So now we're going to go ahead and switch to the back side over here, opposite of the AC controllers. We're going to go ahead and zoom in, get it focused, and as you can see right here, we have all of the different charging options, as well as an outtake vent, because this thing does run pretty warm, so I would definitely keep that in a nice ventilated area. You're going to have your 100 to 120 VAC, 50 hertz to 60 hertz only. You're going to have your reset button if anything goes wrong. And then you're going to have your 12 amp charger right here on the left side and a screw to access that panel if need be. On the back here, you're going to notice that there is nothing here. This is just a nice little design on the back with that nice EF EcoFlow symbol and as well as a two-tone, which is kind of a black and lighter black design super clean design in my opinion i really like what they did with it here on the back so kudos to you guys we're going to do a little quick test charge with my iphone it's at about 50 percent so we're going to go ahead and charge that up with the USB-C connection on 29 percent to see how long it takes to charge my iphone and how much we have left on the power station but while we're waiting for that let's go over everything that comes with this so you're going to get a dc charging cable that will allow you to connect solar panels that are sold separately if you're interested in that then we're going to go ahead and switch on. We're also going to have a DC power outlet to charge this unit with your vehicle, which is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and switch. Is that me? Did you guys hear the Facebook Messenger go off? Was that in my video? Let's find out. Solar panels that are sold separately if you're interested in that. Then we're going to go ahead and switch on. We're also going to have a DC power right. outlet. Did anybody else look at their phone? <laughs> let to charge this unit with your vehicle which is awesome so we're going to go ahead and switch over to here we're also going to have more dc connectors that will just further allow you to charge multiple and different things you're going to have your standard ac charger as well so you can plug this in straight into a wall or a power strip or anything like that and then taking a look right here we're going to have instructions we're right at 100 people watching right now so first of all happy fourth of july to everybody if you guys are new here 
We are Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, just a bunch of nerds that like to give away a lot of awesome stuff, showcase cool products, and just hang out with you guys. So if you would be so nice and so kind to hit that follow button, we would be uh, eternally in your favor. Uh, no, that's not true, but we would be really happy if you were to hit that follow button. We're doing a ton of awesome giveaways today. I'm going to drop the link in chat uh, so you guys can get entered to win those giveaways. We're doing 14 different giveaways on just today's stream. So bada boom, bada bang. They're just going to keep coming. So go ahead and get entered to win and be sure to hit that follow button. For how to connect the solar panels, if that is an option you went with. And then we are also going to have the EcoFlow user manual that'll help you out if you're having any issues. Also, while my phone is charging, let's go ahead and check out the app. So we got it connected already, connected to Wi-Fi. And inside of the app, you're going to have a ton of features. You can see the total amount of charge that is left and what is currently going on in this app. You can see the oh, output hit my camera. is at Sorry, 13 watts, which is really awesome. If you had something connected to the AC output, you could see the power levels to that. You have options to turn on and off the light. You have options to turn on and off the 12 volt DC power. And you also have a little quick view of all the USB charging ports right here. So there's definitely a lot of options inside of the app. Taking a look here, you can rename the current model that you're working with. You can see charge level. You can see your DC mode, AC mode, unit timeout. There's a bunch of things in this app that you can set. So I highly recommend using the app. It adds a ton of functionality. So definitely download this app and get your device connected. Yeah, do all it. All right, guys. So we're back and my phone is pretty much all the way charged. It charged up to 98% and the battery life on the EcoFlow only dropped to 24% and it took about an hour. So now one thing that I've been super excited to test is I want to plug in my blender to see how well this thing handles a higher current draw. So as you can see here, we have my blender plugged into the EcoFlow. We have AC power turned on. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Warning, this might be kind of loud. See, Faustino, you didn't have to. I, I already gave a noise warning, man. You didn't have to do it. And as you guys could see there, it completely powered my blender, and it could have powered it for 14 minutes. That is awesome. That is awesome, Nate. All right, guys. So that was a quick rundown on the EcoFlow River Portable Power Station. This thing is an absolute unit. I actually really like the design on it. I like the black textures that they put across it, the silver here on top. This thing can power anything. I mean, this thing is an absolute freak. That noise will come on. <laughs> Just a blender. Uh, did I, that didn't sound much like a blender. All right, you know what, chat? First of all, listen. <clears throat> if you guys think that you can make a better blender sound from your mouth. Try it right now. I double dog dare you guys. While you're sitting there next to whoever it is you're sitting next to, if you're sitting next to someone, uh, try to make a blender sound out of your mouth right now. And then when they ask while you're doing it, uh, don't give them any explanation. Just America, that's why. Uh, <laughs> tater juice. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. I'm not... <laughs> That doesn't sound very uh, appetizing. That doesn't sound appealing to me, my butt, my friend. So, uh, yeah, no, seriously, the EF EcoFlow River Pro is, or that's not the River Pro. Um, Justin, Justin, just say Nate told me to. Yeah, well, like that would explain any anything too if they don't know who I am. Uh, but the EF EcoFlow River is super awesome. Uh, can I mean I've said this over and over and over and over and over again. It's, you guys don't want this. You listen. You might want it. You need this. This is something you guys need. Um, $70 off clickable coupon right now. So you can pick up the river uh, for 220 bucks or so right now, which is a great 230 bucks or so right now, which is a great, great, great deal. Uh, this thing can protect you in storms, on road trips, on camping, just whatever it is. I mean, think about it. All right. Forget about it. Switching over into the next product in today's stream. 
we're going to be taking a look at the Eufy Cam 2C wireless home security system. And I think, don't, don't get me wrong, we might have a James here video. Three, two, one. James here. And today I'm going to walk you through how to install the app and connect your app, your cameras to the Eufy Cam 2C home security system setup. As you guys see, I have the little uh, paper here. You guys can see this. That's just the box covering, right? I have one of the cameras here and that's on purpose. And then we have the phone. First, you open up the Play Store if you're using Android, pop over to apps, type in Eufy Security, the first one right here by Anchor, install it, and then we will open it. And since I already have it installed, we will just open it just like that, right? Now, do you want to add on to Form Factor? I will add that on off camera. As you guys see, I do have... Tater juice is just watery mashed potatoes. That doesn't sound good. I hate when people make wa uh, mashed potatoes just a little bit too, like, creamy, if that makes sense. It's so gross. Like, the best mashed potatoes are ones that still also have, like, some... Obviously cooked, but, like, have some little... Little pieces of non-matched potatoes in them, you know what I mean? Like little bites in them. And then you put some butter, salt, pepper. Boy, I'm telling you right now. One device and the, and the home base already connected. You know, we're just going to ignore all that really quick. Not sure why that popped up. So, if you want to add a new device, right, you click plus. Eric, did you, uh, did you hear anything I said? Six hours stream today. Uh, my nose is also leaking liquid, uh, tater juice. That's disgusting. Why did I see? That's what I read on stream because they typed it. Faustino typed it. And now I said it, I said it out loud. I said it out loud. Um, no. Yeah, it is a six hour stream today. Uh, tons of giveaways today. Eric also, by the way, we're doing four, a total of 14 different giveaways. I might even be wrong. It might be more. I just, I can't count well, and I have stuff that I'm doing, and Justin has stuff, and there's just a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to drop links in chat again for everybody. First of all, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that follow button, please, and thank you, or else suffer the consequences. Uh, we're doing a ton of awesome stuff today uh, during today's stream, so definitely get entered to win those. You can't, I can't hang in there here the whole six hours. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Can't, it's okay. All of our giveaways aren't at the end of the stream. So, uh, yeah, just go ahead and get entered. Dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. And uh, I messed up. All right. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I messed up. Whenever we have a stream and somebody enters. And somebody enters live. I'm supposed to go back and clear it before. And I didn't do that again. Once again, so what? it's not an issue. If you guys go and enter and it tells you you're already entered, that's fine. If not, that's fine too. The only issue you could ever really run into is potentially it says a winner for somebody that was watching yesterday's stream, for example. Um, which if they're just not here, we just re-roll. But uh, yeah, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live to get entered into one of the 1 million giveaways. You cleared it last night. See, oh my gosh. Whew. That was a test, Justin. You passed. Good job. Plus, home base two is the one you're going to want for this system. You click home base two, add new home. Then it's going to tell you how to walk through, name it, and all of that stuff, and pairing it up, which is very simple. So you just go like this, and then we go click, and it'll say connect your home base to your link. Amazon customers echoing what I said in chat. Don't go copy me. All right router then go next find your Wi-Fi signal and connect and it'll pair since we've already did that we don't need to do that but we do have a camera on so how do you add the camera well first you go down you find the Eufy cam 2 2 pro that's not the one we want we want the Eufy cam 2c 2c pro you click this now it says keep camera and home base within one meter I'm definitely within one meter so so I'm trying to figure out like why I, I know it's like my auto white balance, but I'm trying to figure out what, what's going on. Cause yesterday I had this up for like 15 minutes testing it and it never went dark. You guys see how it's going dark. 
Never did that once yesterday. And I thought it looked really good. The background, the lighting. I might just end up having to turn that light on on the back. We're going to click next. It's now it's going to say click connect the sync button. Well, the sync button is right here on top of the camera. I'm going to click that. You're going to see it beeps and turns red. Now the home base is actually going to detect it itself. Once I click that. Now you hear back there adding device. Discovering camera. Let's point the camera at something a little, little, uh, let's say, let's point it at the door. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? It sounded like he was, uh, he said, let's point the camera at something a little, uh, uh, it sounds like he didn't know what he wanted to say. So he got nervous, like live on live while he was filming, he got nervous. And I know that's not the case. So we've been, we've between all of us, we've done thousands and thousands of videos. But it sounds like if you listen, he's like a little. Nah. You're back there adding device, discovering camera. Let's point the camera at something a little, little. Uh, let's say let's point it at the door over here. Just like that. Oh, we're pointed at the door. Hopefully the door will see it. Now we're going to click and detect what we wanted to say. I'm going to say living room for now. Right. Since this is in the living room, that's what we're going to name it for now. The camera is initializing. Now we are added successfully. Now they'll ask you, do you want optimal battery life at 20 second clips? So did you guys see the box at the beginning of this, first of all? So these are battery powered, or not battery powered. These are rechargeable. So you have to charge these up. But you guys are like, oh, they're security cameras. Like, how are they going to serve their purpose if I have to charge them up constantly? You don't. Uh, one, like maybe twice a year. Uh, it said 180 day battery life on these. I don't know about that, chat. That's pretty crazy right there. It might be even crazier than Vinny and the boys. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and skip through. Let's get, let's skip to the good part. Isn't that a song? Here we go, right there. There, there we go, look. Echo, but you can hear everything going on. It does have He's a microphone. If I hold speak, you know, it needs uh, the request permission. So we will say while using this app. Devin hey, G. Devin G knows what's up. Devin G's a G. I bet you guys didn't know that. Devin G's a G. My house. Hey, get out of my house. You guys should hear it in the background. So that works. We can clip it or we can start recording. We are now recording a clip of what we want. Or if we want to save, let's clip that, save a screenshot of the picture. We can do that also. Then we have like nighttime. Let's go over to night vision. You can I'm telling you, Michael, and I'm not I'm not dogging any other if you guys have like a favorite security camera company that you go with, um I'm telling you, Eufy is so impressive because, I mean, they are also now at Best Buy, but they weren't whenever I bought mine. But we bought, um, what do you, Arlo. We bought Arlo. And not even personally testing, like, the 2C myself or any of their security cams. I have one I'm doing a review on now, uh, but not even testing them personally. They're, they're, they're just better. And I've said this a million times about Anchor products in general and Anchor brands is, they're just better. They just really are. You can turn on black and white night vision, spotlight night vision, or turn off. We're going to leave it as is. We can hit the alarm. Do we want the alarm or home base? We do not want the alarm whatsoever right now. Then we have settings, right? It tells you front door motion detection is on, spotlight is on, power management, video settings. So we have watermark. We can add a watermark. If we want a watermark, timestamp, and logo. We want just the timestamp. We don't need the logo to, just the timestamp will be just fine. We'll back out, audio and settings, so we can turn medium speaker or high, audio recording, microphone and speaker. Now we can do notifications. Do we want notifications, most notifications, full effect, or include thumbnail? So we will get notifications from this or in general status of LED, front door, storage, mounting guide, or about device. You guys watch this. Look, so I'm going to turn my chair. 
I'm gonna turn my chair. And why am I tilting right now? Does this mean that I'm? Does this mean I'm unlevel? I don't want to be unlevel. Now we can share a device with a friend or family member if you want to have somebody have access to this. All of that is really great. Now, if you want to go to home screen or uh, enlarge it, we can enlarge the whole screen to a full screen shot. Now, I'll bring this up a little more so you guys can see that. Nice, crystal clear, 1080p, has the time, has the date, and everything on it. So, guys, that is how you use the software, connecting it up for the Eufy Cam. All right. So. If you guys need a new camera set, we got some people in chat right now that right now have already been talking about needing something new. I lowered this on purpose, by the way. Nobody said anything. I have fireworks right there. One of them's called Whoa Baby, but it's okay. You guys just let me down some more. It's fine. I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. Uh, but if you guys need some new cameras, definitely check out the Eufy Cam 2C uh, 2 camera kit. 240 bucks. It's IPX67 water resistant or waterproof uh, home kit compatibility. So that means you guys can use it with your already uh, with your Apple stuff. Uh, 180 day battery life, completely wireless, no monthly fee, night vision, 1080p. Like there's just so many things. Add it to the cart. 240 bucks is a great, 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 great deal. Um, yeah, definitely get entered to win that. Uh, happy Fourth of July. <clears throat> happy Fourth of July, guys. Uh, no, yeah, seriously though, um, welcome to today's stream. I'm super happy that you guys are here spending the fourth with me. We're doing a super long stream and we're doing a ton of awesome giveaways. Uh, there's just a little, little information in chat about us at Dragon Bloggers. Uh, we've been doing this kind of stuff for a long, long time. So, if you guys want to win stuff today, but I don't know if you guys want free stuff. I mean, pff, right? Right. Uh, definitely get entered to win right there. Dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Speaking of those giveaways, right after this next video of this really weird but awesome webcam, um, we're going to be doing a $5 gift card. So listen, chat, 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 chat. Listen, if you ever listen to me, listen to me now. Uh, we're going to be doing a $5 Amazon gift card right after this product. So don't miss out. All right. All right. Sounds good. I am here until my wife wakes up. Today is our 23rd wedding anniversary. Don't want to spend it working. Won't be a 24th. Don't want to don't want to to spend it working. Won't be a 24th. Wait, what? That sounded that sounded like something's not some what? What does that mean? Won't be a 24th. Oh, if you spend it okay. Or there won't be a 24th. Okay, I was like, what's happening, Justin? Are you not telling us something? You guys are getting a divorce. They're getting a divorce. Um, no, all jokes aside, $5 Amazon gift card coming at you guys right after this. Well, let me get back to the... Uh, here we go. Hold on. First of all, I'm... I'm we're not... We're, okay, listen, chat. I will turn this car around and we'll all go home. If none of you guys say anything about my... Those. Look at that. Look at that chat. That's called Whoa Baby right there. I'm about to blow that up today. That's called Justify. Where are the fireworks? Are we there yet? I'll turn the chat around if nobody says something about it. We're not moving on. Listen, chat. I have all day. I'm doing six hours, baby. I'll keep doing this. I don't care. Somebody better be like, oh, Nate, you're so awesome. Somebody say, oh, Nate, you're so awesome. And then we can move on, maybe. I don't know. It's up to you guys. All right, see? We got a cool, but. Oh, Nate, you're so awesome. Is that the prize table? That'd be cool. That'd be cool if it was. All right, see, there we go. <laughs> see, Evans knows. Evans knows what. <laughs> I'm just kidding, chat. You guys don't actually have to call me awesome, but I know. Thank you. E. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys, Tanner Day is the bomb diggity. I like the way you work it. No diggity. Get to bag it up. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at uh, Black. 
this black page. Liz Boudreau. I always, I've always loved that last name. That last name is so cool, Boudreau. I had a, uh, I had a drill sergeant whose last name was Boudreau. Pretty cool. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we're going to be taking a look. But listen, if you guys are brand new here, link is in chat right now. Dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Right after this, we're doing an Amazon gift card. Look at this awesome meeting capsule from a company called eMeet. Now, this thing is super awesome and has a ton of awesome features built into it. It has a Red Dot Design Award nomination, and it won in 2021. It has a bunch of different modes. Tina H., welcome. Tina, 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 Tina. Love you long time. I love all of you guys long time. Yeah. Boats built into it. Sure. Let's go ahead and jump in and see everything that this comes with. And then we will test. There's a drill sergeant butts when I was in. Now listen, recruits. My name is drill sergeant butts. Why is everybody laughing? <laughs> this out inside of its software. So unboxing this, the first thing you're going to notice right here is we got an empty box right there. Pretty nice, stable packaging. And then opening this box, you're going to get a few of your accessories on the inside right here. So the first thing you're going to notice is you're going to get a user manual. I highly recommend using that because it has a ton of awesome and helpful information. And then you're going to get your extra long braided USB-C cable to plug this. So you had a drill sergeant uh, alumni, <laughs> uh, a drill sergeant. Um, what is the word I'm thinking? Of? Why can't I think of it? No, but you had a drill sergeant uh, group of uh, crapper. I'm Drill Sergeant Crapper. I'm Drill Sergeant Butts. And I'm Drill Sergeant Burger. Yeah, no, I would have I would have got I would have been right face the entire time I was there. This in an interface with your computer. And then you are going to get your AC adapter and remote. Now I'm not going over the remote just because it's not going to really show everything that I show inside of the program. And then you're of course going to get the unit itself at Sorry, sorry, half right face. So if any if any of you guys don't know. I'm going to show you guys real quick, just so you guys know. It is, it's America Day. This, this is what happens. So when you stand at attention, right? Listen, chat. We're going to go back to this. We're going to go back to this. Don't worry. When you stand at attention, they'll say attention, and so you go, boom. You stand like this. While you're standing at attention, that means you don't move. You, don't, you literally don't look around. You don't move your head. You don't even look around like you don't even like move your eyes. You just stand there. You're supposed to look forward and be still. Now, if anybody ever, a drill sergeant ever says half right face, this is the reason they're going to say that. You guys might not know this. So if you're standing at attention, they'll say half right face. So you go, boop, boop. You are about to do push-ups and get smoked. You're about to get smoked, chat. So if you join the military and you hear half right face, you are going to lose your mind and probably destroy your muscles because they are going to smoke you and make you do more push-ups than you thought were humanly possible. Or they'll just say, beat your face. Like Kevin said, you don't want that half right face chat. You don't want that. Uh, Jenny V. Why is your, wh how'd you get your letters like that? How'd you do caps, but small, but spaced? That's, a, that's cool. I'm about to half right face all of you guys in chat. I don't care anymore. I was an NCO. That has this aluminum housing with this speaker. Uh, uh, hold on. I don't know if I have to sneeze or cough. <coughs> it was a cough. Okay. Uh, Rising Siren, first of all. Everybody welcome Mama Siren to the chat right now. Happy 4th of July, my friend. It is good to see you here that surrounds the entire body of the machine it looks super cool taking a look on it is a food morning nope nope you already said it it's too late it's too late to go back you can't reverse food morning on the back side right here you can see that you have all of the controls so you have mode selectors lockout you can mute your microphone this is where you're able to plug it into your computer it plug it into external speakers and plug in power and on the bottom you're going to have this anti-movement rubber padding and you're going to get your quarter inch tripod adapter so you can hook this up to your tripod let's check you're drinking freedom okay so no, no 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 i gotta get something straight here phil you said you're drinking your freedom roast you corrected it 
So when you said I'm drinking my Freedom Road from BRCC, first of all, I don't know what that is. I thought it was a beer company, and then Freedom Road was like one of their beers. But now you say you're drinking Freedom Roast? What is that? Is that like one of those sodas that are... I think Justin can vouch. There's like some there's some soda company out there that makes like Oh, Freedom Roast. Okay, that makes more sense. Coffee. Black Rifle Coffee Company. I should have known that. I I know. I was in the military. <laughs> he has know those guys that do everything they can to make sure they knew <laughs> I, nobody likes the guys that always make sure that you know that they were in the military. Check it out the program. All right, guys. So now we are here inside of the program, as you guys can see with the e -Meet hooked up to my computer. So we're going to go ahead and show you some of the features that are inside of this webcam, conference camera, whatever you want to call it. So what you're going to notice right up here, you're going to have a bunch of different options. So you can release screen to com make this a completely detached screen from the <laughs> main program. Yeah, thank me for my service. And honestly, if you ever thank a veteran for their service and they say, uh, <laughs> and they seem like they don't know what to say. It's because we don't. We don't. Uh, most of us <laughs> joined for free college. I'm not going to lie. A lot of us, I'm not saying people aren't patriotic and don't join to serve their country and do something for their country. But uh, yeah, we don't know what to say when we when you say thank you for your service. Uh, if you say thank you, it's, it's kind of weird. Uh, you know, thank you. So I always, um, I always would just say I appreciate it. You're going to have different modes and options where you can turn off the camera. So as you guys can see here, when you turn off the camera, this is what it will appear to other people that are on the other end of your conference call. You can also mute the mic. We are not using the mic in this video. You have anti-flicker options here. You have zoom options. Right now we are in classic mode. So as you guys can see here, excuse my dirty room, but we have a pretty wide view. Um, we can switch. Justin, if, if you're looking for a new way to you know, spike energy levels without coffee. I mean, it takes a while, but try keto. And I, I'm sorry to any vegetarians or vegans in chat. I completely respect what you do. I don't, I don't argue against it, but keto, once you, once you enter ketosis, your energy levels are boop. two other modes right here. So we can go spotlight mode, where it will zoom in on one person that is speaking. Yeah, we definitely joined dur during uh, different times. I personally joined uh, because I, w I wasn't doing bad things, but I was going nowhere in life. And, uh, I, I, I come from a family that has served in the military and I just wanted to, I really joined because I wanted to honor my, uh, grandfather who served in world war II. Uh, so I wanted to honor him. But the thing is, is here's the deal is I went to join, I wanted to join the air force. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I just wanted to join. So I went, they took me to maps. I did the ASVAB, did the whole thing. Uh, scored pretty high, if I do say so myself. And uh, the local recruiting station had all of the branches in one building. But, like, different offices, but one little building. So every day for like two weeks, I went up there uh, to try to talk to the Air Force recruiter. And she was never, ever there. Not one at one point was she there. So one, one day, <laughs> so one day I stick my head in the army recruiting office, I literally open their door and just go, hi, I'm um, looking for the, the air force recruiter. And I was wondering if you guys know when she's here and they're like, ah, oh, man, she's never here. Uh, is there any particular reason that, um, you don't want to join the army? And then like three months later, I was in basic training for the army. So yeah, that's fun. Now, continuing on, this is in private mode. Now, all of these modes are controllable through the remote, so you don't have to use the software to do this. But as you can see here, the in private mode is basically just. So uh, 11 Bravo, 11 Bravo, 13 Bravo. What were you? Turning off the camera and the microphone for complete discretion with your conversations. Now we move to collaboration yeah. mode. So what this is going to do is basically allow the camera to focus in on multiple people at the same time. Now I am only one person speaking, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and turn this. And so when I start speaking here, what you're going to notice is it's going to pull me into a frame. 13 F. So that is a, uh, we got 44 Bravo. Okay. So 91 whiskey. 
Uh, 91 Whiskey, isn't that like a generator specialist? And then we got 13F, which is fire fire support. And now if there was another person talking, it would automatically pull that in. And it's trying to actually pull in multiple people here because it's seeing my screen. 91 Echo. Okay, so 91 Echo is all uh, not Quartermaster. What do you call it? What is it called? Because I was Quartermaster. What is 91 Echo? Well, I'm trying to think of its, uh, its, you know what I'm talking about. So we'll go ahead and rotate this. And we will switch to the speech mode. So now what speech mode is going to do is it's going to center whoever is speaking but one person at a time. So as you guys can see here, it focused me directly. But what we're going to do is go ahead and turn this around. And if I start speaking, microphone check, microphone check, mic check, one, two, one, two. It's 91 Echo is kind of like sheet metal in a way. Okay. Uh, we're going to cut this video short. Uh, not, to, not to take... I know we've already been pausing and going and pausing and going. We're going to cut this video a little bit short. Because guess what? It's it's time to do a giveaway. If you guys need a new conference, uh, conference camera room camera that has tons of features, super easy to get set up. You guys saw the software. You don't need that. But it's there for ease of use. Definitely check out the conference camera from eMeet. Uh, we're going to be doing our Amazon gift card giveaway. So if everyone's ready, go ahead and drop a ready in the chat right now. Also, there's a $100 off clickable coupon on that conference camera from eMeet. So super great deal if you guys need something awesome. Welder metal worker. Okay. Ready, 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 ready. Justin, do you want to draw for a while until, you, until, you, until you're gone? Let me know, Justin. Do you need to fill in the form? You do. You do need to fill in the form. Uh, if you guys need some time, that's fine. I have some military uh, buddies in here that I can k just talk about BS with for a while. I'm just waiting to... Wait, no, no, water. Take your time. So I enlisted as a... Uh, I had I had three options. So I got, a, I got an 84 on the ASVAB. Well, I had more than three options. I had three decisions I needed to make. So it was either going to be... I would have went active duty. I would have went... Uh, I didn't care if I went active duty, reserves, guard. It did not matter to me. Hold on, wait. We have to, we have somebody else. Wouter needs to get entered. Wouter needs to get entered. Don't draw yet. We have some people that need to get entered. Uh, but so, it was a 92 Golf, which was... Um, 92 Golf, which was generator specialist. And the... Uh, the... Um, the enlistment bonus was uh, option 40, which was ranger school. So if I would have taken that job, I would have, I'm not saying I would have became a ranger, but I would have, you know, went through ranger selection process. But uh, so that sounded pretty cool. And then uh, I don't remember what the other one that I was tossed up between. It was 15 Echo or 15 Fox, which was like drone operator. Yeah, I've, I've worked with some Rangers, too. They're pretty cool guys. Uh, I didn't want to do that just because it had nothing. And then he was like, "You," he's like, I'm going to tell you right now which one you need to take, which was 68 Mike. Uh, and this was for the, this was to be in the reserves. Uh, he's like, you need to take this job, 68 Mike, which is nutritional care expert um, or nutritional care specialist. So it was basically working under an officer as a dietic technician so i wouldn't have been a dietitian but i would have kind of done everything they did um so they had like three enlistment bonuses so i took that so i enlisted as a uh i enlisted as a dietic technician in the army so in the health field and when i got done with basic training i knew that the schooling to I knew that the schooling to get entered or to go through it was in Fort Sam Houston. But when I got done in basic training, the drill sergeants gave me my orders and it said Fort Lee, Virginia Culinary School. And I said, drill sergeant, something's wrong. I'm not a cook. And he says, well, it says right here you are. Get on the bus. And I was like, oh, so I got on the bus. I was panicking the whole time. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> and uh, turns out as part of being a diet, uh, dietic technician, you have to go to cook school first because when you're making diet plans for people, you also have to know how to cook their certain uh, meal requirements. So you have to go through cook school first. 
So I went to cook school. Funny enough, I graduated top of the class in that, even though it wasn't my MOS. And then I got my orders to go to Fort Sam Houston, but I got them late because one of my drill sergeants uh, messed up uh, my orders. So I missed the class start date. Then when I got there, I was a holdover for a month before I was told by my unit, because I finally got my unit and who I was going to be working with. They said, when you get here, all you're going to do is cook. And I said, well, can I go to another unit? They said, all you're going to do is a 68 mic in the reserves is cook anyways. You're not going to do the diet stuff. And I was like, really? So instead of waiting another two months, no, another three months to start 68 mic, I just reclassed immediately as a cook. So long story short, I was a cook in the army. (laughs) So go ahead and make your jokes, make your POG jokes. I think we should be ready. We should be ready to go ahead and get entered. If you guys don't win this one, we have tons of awesome giveaways. You make a mean mac and cheese. No, Listen, buddy, you don't want the mac and cheese in the army. Cindy M, you are the first winner for today's Amazon $5 gift card. Congratulations, Cindy M. Are you in the chat, Cindy? Yeah, I had a great time being a cook. I got my unit. I got tossed in there as NCOIC, as E4, and I I had a great time. NCOIC as a specialist. I was not. I wasn't a corporal, so I wasn't actually an NC. I wasn't recognized as NCO, but I was running. Um, that I always had a great time being a cook. I remember one specific AT that we did, uh, we, the whole battalion was going to be there or yeah, the whole battalion was scheduled to show up. And so from my company, we had me, I was an E4, probably three years experience, two years experience at the time. So, I, I mean, I knew how to run, I knew how to run everything. I know how to cook everything. And then we had like an E1, which I'm not, <laughs> I'm not kidding you, Michael. I'm not kidding you. I had to show her how to cut lettuce. I had to show her how to cut lettuce and carrots and crack eggs. Like that was how bad it was. So that was my help from my from my my company. Then we get there and none of the other cooks from any of the other three companies showed up. So it was me and her cooking for, I don't know, 1500 people a day. Boy, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Cindy is Cindy's here, right? Okay, Cindy M, you are here. Congratulations. But let's go ahead and move on to the next. Uh, I don't know, Justin. I I mean, I don't know, Ed. Is it so? How are we doing this, Justin? Is it one? Yeah. If if we draw again on the next giveaway, uh, if you've already, I don't know. I'll let Justin answer that. We're gonna switch over to the next product in today's stream, my friends, and we're gonna take a look at this AquaQuest five-year capacity inline water filter. So you can't get a gift card twice, but you're eligible for physical prize. So you can win a gift card and one physical prize. You can't win a gift card and two physical prizes, vice versa. You can win a gift card and one physical prize, and that's it, chat. All right? The next thing we're going to do for a giveaway after this video is you guys can see right here that I have four coasters. Four, you know, you can't really see. Hold on. You guys can see that I have four wooden coasters. I am going to be giving away custom Independence Day, 4th of July themed Dragon Blogger coasters. So that is going to be the next giveaway. So someone's going to win a set of two. And then later on, another person's going to win a set of two. Uh, Now, normally what I do is we do like you guys tell me what you want. We're not doing that today. These are going to be Dragon Blogger inspired Independence Day coasters. All right. All right. Yeah, the coasters are going to be cool. I promise. I promise. I'm getting good at it. How do I modify them? I am a laser engraver expert. I'm not. I'm not. But I did. I did. So I had something to show you guys. I did go ahead and like do some ones that I already have. And Allie, yours are yours are on the way. I promise. But so I like here's Alley Cats. I went ahead and did another one of hers. You can see right there, that's Alley Cats right there. So, super awesome. But yes, AquaQuest five-year 
five year capacity for twenty dollars chat so if you guys need a new water filter for your refrigerator definitely check that let's check this out do i only have one dimple here's one it might be hard to see hold on yeah and yeah right there i think i think i have two i don't have more i only have one you're not my dad so here is everything for my AquaCrest AQINL five year inline water filter. I'm going to install this to my Samsung refrigerator so that I can just get that added bonus to the filtered yeah, water that the comes back. through my system. <laughs> so I'm going to install this and show you guys what it's like when it's set up and then I got a big enjoy one right here. the purified water. So after about, I want to say honestly, 10 to 15 minutes of work, I've basically got it set up. First, you have to turn off. You know, speaking about water chat, guess what? I need you guys to uh, watch it. Sadie will be in here pronto. She says that's the only reason she stayed with me. Because, <clears throat> so my wife, fun fun fact, grew up in the town I live in now, which is a small town. I mean, there's only 5,000 people, but she graduated at a school right outside of town. She graduated with like nine people. Um, so all the all the boys and stuff that she ever dated before me, I say all, like she dated all of them. No, but so the boys that she dated before me were also from around here. So like farmers and good old boys and pickup trucks. And then I show up and I'm driving a Camaro um, with slim fit jeans on. I'm wearing Vans and I look like I'm a skater, which I'm not. But nothing like what she expected to marry at all. And uh, she said the reason she stayed was the dimples, so... Listen, chat, if you don't have dimples. Oh, man. Your um, refrigerator line. I had a 2017, uh, I had a 2017 uh, SS. So 6.2 liter V8. Um, to make sure that no Add. water is running when you unplug it from the actual refrigerator. Add. And then uh, once you get the little setting, um, that little... Uh, screw set up there and plugged into the filter you want to let the filter run for about five minutes which is honestly the part that takes the longest is just uh, making sure that you um, flush out I don't have it I don't have it anymore Phil it wasn't practical I was it was my daily driver it was my only car and I was driving an hour and 15 minutes each way and a 6.2 liter <laughs> V8 engine throughout the entire season like winter all that it it just wasn't practical anymore i should have just kept it and just got something on the side yeah i miss it she she went fast off the filter and then you set up this little piece right here um and plug it into the actual line in your fridge and then um then you take that white uh cord and you put it into the other end of the filter all right, everybody, dad's gone in the chat. He said he's got to feed the dogs. Go crazy. Do something wild. Which is marked out, and they're marked in and out. So you want to make sure that your refrigerator line goes, um, is connected to the out, and you want to make sure that the water line is in to in. Let it flush for five minutes, plug it up, get the clip set up so that you can mount it to your fridge, and then you're basically good to go. Um, I have been enjoying it. It's I already ran like a small glass of water to taste it and I can already taste the difference. And so I'm excited to use this. It's good for five years. So if you're in the market for a really nice filter that's compatible with most fridges, definitely check this one out and get it set up. All right, so if you guys need a new inline water filter for your uh, refrigerator that has inline water filters, definitely check out that AquaQuest. That's five year capacity. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. Come on. All right, we're good. Never mind. It, it went away. So <clears throat> definitely check that out. $21.99. Um, yeah, five years. That's really awesome. That seems, I don't know. I don't have a refrigerator like that. Uh, we don't have the space for one, but definitely check that one out. Drop a ready in chat. Listen, if you already got entered to win the $5 Amazon gift card, drop another ready in chat right now. We're going to do our custom 4th of July Dragon Blogger Coaster Giveaway. Right here, you guys can see you guys are going to get two of these coasters right here. Ready, 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 ready. 
And with these, since these are different than what Justin's doing, you guys can win one of these, a gift card and a physical prize. I got the hiccups now. All right, here we go. We're going to draw for this right now. And the winner, <clears throat> the first winner of the custom coasters is going to be bada -ba -bada 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 Drew G. Drew G, you are the winner. Come on down. Congratulations, Drew G. You are going to win, uh, or you you, ha you have won, two custom coasters. Those will be shipped out. Uh, you missed you missed the last shipment, so not this Saturday, but next Saturday. So it's going to be a little bit, but that's how I'm kind of uh, formatting all my shipping schedules. Um, but congratulations, Drew G. I will, if you're on our Discord, if you're on our Discord, you can go ahead and reach out to Justin. Uh, and if not, then... Um, I don't know. Christy Hall, just the person that I wanted to. So my name is Nate's Angry on Discord. You can reach out to me directly. Just find me in our Dragon Blogger Discord and look up. Just find Nate's Angry in there. I'll, I'll ping you here in a second or I'll ping in chat. Um, Christy Hall, I need you to uh, check your email here in a little while because I'm going to send you an email uh, because you did win last week. So I need to uh, figure out what's going on. All righty. All right, but anyways, congratulations to Drew G. You are the first winner of the Custom Coaster giveaway. We will be doing another one later. And it looks like my friend, Drew. There we go. Look at that. And hi. Sweet. Sounds good, Drew. All right, switching over to the next product in today's stream. Uh, we're going to take a look at this I Don Drudo. I Don... <clears throat> I Don Drudo. Uh, I don't know how you say it. It's I-D-O-N-D-R-D-O. I donned her dough. Um, we'll be taking a look at this smartwatch. This thing's pretty cool. And listen, if you guys have not already gotten entered to win any of our giveaways that we're doing today, we still have a ton left. And I mean a ton left. So link's right there, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. So let's take a look at this I donned her dough fitness smartwatch. This thing's pretty cool. Has a ton of features. And I'm pretty wary about like like you know, smart stuff like this, like smart watches in this price range. Trust me, chat. I know like I'm, I'm materialistic as I'll get out. I'll, I'll be the first to admit it. And I have doubts about smart watches coming from like an Apple watch down to a $40 smart watch. You're like, how good can this be? Full honesty chat. This thing's cool. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this I Donder Doe smartwatch. So this smartwatch is a very cost effective smartwatch that comes with a lot of awesome built in features right. that work really well, such as SMS alerts, heart rate monitor, even a little bit of GPS built into it through the app. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed. I sped up this video just so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me unbox it the whole time. So the first thing you're going to notice when you unbox this is you're going to get this little charging cable. You mean David from Utechpia? Dude, I, I clicked on his stream the other day. Man was doing like insanity. I was like, what is going on here? Right here, it doesn't come with a charging block and it looks like it uses a proprietary charging cable for this smartwatch itself. And then you are also going <laughs> to <day>. get <laughs> the user manual, which is pretty easy to follow, helps you get set up with the app. And then- can No, so the, the, old, the old Apple watches did have terrible battery life. I think they were still trying to figure out how to optimize battery life for one of those. But I- um. Aladdin trap music. Yeah, that guy's awesome. He really is. He's he's so cool. He's also like he's also really friendly to other um influencers. I'm not saying he's not friendly to ongoing influencers, but like new people. Uh <laughs> you tech, yeah, nice nipples. Uh no, but he's really like he's really welcoming and friendly to new content creation uh content creators. So yeah, he's an awesome guy that we have in the community and uh somebody that I don't know. Just does a lot for the community in general. Continuing on, you are obviously going to get the... I just sit in my chair and make fun of you guys. So I am a content creator, but I can never be him. The smart watch itself, and that's going to be it for the unboxing. So this thing does come dead, so you're going to have to charge it to get it to work. And as you guys can see here, when you first start it up, you're going to have that home screen, messages screen, and then scrolling through to the top screen, you're going to have some settings right here. And one of the settings that I like about oh, this, especially at the price yeah, range stop, of this, stop. is that you're actually able to choose from a few <clears throat> different... Listen, I don't know. I don't know what you guys, anybody in chat, I don't know what you guys 
come to live streams for. I don't know if it's for the giveaways, which I wouldn't blame you, if it's for the community, if it's for the products, or if it's a culmination of all of them. Uh, so for me, I just like to hang out with you guys personally. Uh, because most of these giveaways, even though I do random stuff, most of these giveaways is not something I sponsor. So I, I really, the only reason I do this, I, I don't care if I was getting paid $50,000. Well, I say that. Yeah, the free stuff is obviously awesome. It really is. But for me, I couldn't do this if every single day none of you guys were here. So I really couldn't. If I was just alone in chat all time, couldn't do it, man watch faces which is pretty nice they all have their own unique design we'll just go ahead and stick with i entered for the giveaways but stayed for the grown men feet getting massaged <laughs> the basic one right here and then you can see here Ow. you can actually manually adjust the brightness setting on the watch so that's pretty cool scrolling down you have off reset qr code and some info on the watch so now we're going to go ahead and put this on. And as you guys can see here, I have this set up and paired with the app and my phone. You can see heart rate. You can see the time right there on the screen. Let's go ahead and scroll through some of the screens that you can see right here. So there's messages with my wife right there. I'm still kind of learning it. That's why I'm kind of flicking in random directions. So right here, you're going to see steps taken. You can set different goals with inside of the app. It shows you calories burned. It shows your real time heart rate, and it will also record trends over time, which is pretty cool that it does that too and that also has built in blood pressure monitor now i'm not sure if 116 over 76 is good i hope it is but it's cool that you're able to do that scrolling forward on the screen you're going to see that you have a blood oxygen reader i'm not really getting a reading right now so i'll probably have to do a little bit of more research on how that works you get a sleep pattern right here that will kind of track your sleep and how much you're getting you're going to get weather and music control all right here so this smartwatch does come with a ton of built-in features so i highly recommend it i'll see you guys on the next video omg you have wife forget this unfollowing uh, yeah i have wife meat face no like meat face no wife all right so on top of all the awesome giveaways we're doing on Saturday, that will be your guys' last day uh, to get entered to win the 3D printer, which is super awesome, first of all. I don't know if you guys know about 3D printing, but it's pretty, pretty cool, all right? So get entered to win that. Saturday is the last. <laughs> Happy 4th <of> July. <laughs> I can't do it, man. Like, I, I can't. <laughs> so get entered to win that Elegoo Neptune 2S with a Duramic 3D filament two pack uh, it's gonna be two random colors you won't get to choose uh you you get what you get and you don't do a fit all right uh saturday is the last day you guys can get entered chat has it uh chat has the link right now to get entered it's dragonblogger.com forward slash win 3d printer that's what it is yeah so we are going to move on to the next uh product in today's stream but right after this we're doing another five dollar amazon gift card giveaway bada boom bada bang right there in chat, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. If you've already entered for today's giveaways, you don't have to do it again. Um, so go ahead and get entered to win that right there. You guys can see dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Right after this Eufy, uh, what is this? The RoboVac X8. So this is like top of the line um, robot vacuum. This this is by Eufy, which is by Anchor, which is obviously awesome. So this has 2,000 Pascal units of suction strength. AI, MAP 2.0 technology, uh, laser navigation, twin turbine technology. This, this thing sounds like a uh, an airplane. So get entered to win uh, the Amazon gift card. But what we're going to do now is just take a look at this X8 robot vac by Eufy. And right now, right? How much is it off? A billion dollars or something like that? Right. This is um, $220 off, so 37% off. What, why does that keep happening, chat? What are you guys doing? You guys are are you guys hacking me? Are you guys are you guys hacking the mainframe? So one feature I like about the Ufi X8 twin turbine. Oh, Doris, thank you. This is a custom shirt that Justin ordered for me. I think it has me on it. No, it just says Dragon Blogger Nate. Haha. -ha. 
Robovac is the fact that when you go to plug it in the charger in the charging base, you can actually wind the cord inside the charging base so that way you don't have a lot of cord hanging around. I also like that the power button is on top of it instead of off to the side. Now I have put the Eufy X8 through its paces on my hard floors and my carpets and various rooms in the house, but one of the things about the Eufy X8 which stands out among other Robovacs is the fact that it has the twin 2000 PA suction. Which this means is, while it was going over the carpeting, almost like a normal vacuum, you could see it actually leaving the carpet disturbed behind it, and you could tell it had enough suction to actually move the carpet. With its little bristles on the carpet, it was able to move and displace surface dust and surface fur and material so that it was able to suck it up. I really put this RoboVac through its challenges by adding a lot of obstacles to this room. This is my product review room, so I added a floor fan. Okay, listen. First of all, Justin is complete BSing. He said, I added this stuff for the review. No, Justin, you just have this stuff in there already. You don't have to lie, man. You don't have to lie. You are. It was already there, Justin. And I had a chair in there. I have my Yasuda stationary back in there. I even added a step ladder open because I wanted to challenge this RoboVac to see how well it could navigate around all these obstacles. So I wasn't using it for room mapping for the purpose of this testing. I was very impressed at how well it was able to navigate in and out of this stepladder legs. You could see how quickly it found its way around through the legs. It even went around cords, didn't have an issue with cords because I was worried because most households have cords. How's your RoboVac going to handle cords? But you could see it traces itself back through the stepladder legs and had virtually no trouble at all working around and working through the stepladder legs. Even left a piece of plastic on the ground. I basically simulated you know, normal household objects that may get lying around, that may get left behind by somebody who necessarily doesn't want to clean just so their robot vac can clean. And this obviously did a really, really good job around it. Especially with my Suda bike, where it has these little grooves in these front wheels, which have a little gap between the front wheels. It was able, even able to detect and fit in between those and in, and get inside that yeah, area too as well. So overall, the cleaning power is really well on this, and I found the vacuum did a surprisingly good job working around all the obstacles in this room. Even though I placed a lot of unusual obstacles in the middle of the floor, it wasn't going to map out the room that way permanently, but I wanted to see how it handled a lot of interrupts. And a right. Placed. Placed. Okay. A lot of obstacles in the room, and you can see, again, it worked surprisingly well. What did Justin say he was leaving for earlier to feed the dogs? What is he making them a charcuterie board? Like what's what is happening? It also was not that loud compared to other RoboVacs that I've tested, and much lower than a regular vacuum. So All right, so if you guys need a new robot vacuum and you want a top of the line one that works amazing, definitely check out that one by Yufi. That is the RoboVac X8, super strong. It is time to do another giveaway, my friend. Uh, my friends, uh, so I don't mean to single you out, even though I did mean my friend. I'll let you guys decide who I'm talking about in chat right now. Uh, type ready. I don't even think you guys really need to do this, but just type ready just so you guys are, I know you guys are mentally prepared. Donna B. Donna B is in the building. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and draw for the next Amazon gift card giveaway winner. If you guys win... First of all, you don't have to uh, you don't have to forfeit. If you've already won a gift card, you can't win a gift card. But if uh, you haven't won a gift card, you can. You guys, throughout the stream, we're doing a bunch of gift cards and products. So the next winner for the Amazon gift card is going to be. Here we go. Oh, wait one second. Give me a second. We're going to find out right now. Tons of tons of giveaways today. All the giveaways. Here we go. The winner or the next winner for the Amazon gift card giveaway is going to be brr, drum roll, please. LaRonda P. LaRonda P. If you are in the building, you have won an Amazon gift card. Around a P, you have about 45 seconds to claim. All right. Yeah, it must be new. I, I I also don't recognize the name. But it don't matter. It don't matter. If she's not here, she's not here. I hope she is. That's five dollars. Travel Diva, that's you? All right, Travel Diva. 
you have won. And I'm so happy that you are here. Congratulations on the Amazon gift card. If you guys did not win, don't get discouraged. Hold your head up, my friends. We have a ton of awesome other stuff that we're giving away on today's stream. Custom coasters, more gift cards, more products. Don't go anywhere. All right? All right. So we're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream. And listen, chat. First of all, listen. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I admit it. I am. Go I have shown you guys this way too many times. And I still haven't gotten you like true footage. Today is the last day. I have been filming footage in different locations with this awesome uh, V-Copter Falcon. So this is by Zero Zero Robotics, right? Zero Zero Robotics is another sub company of Anchor. So you know it's good. This drone is super, super top of the line. Super good. Right now, on sale, um, for $8.99, you can pick up the drone, but it also comes with an extra battery. So you can get it, you can get it with the normal, you can get it with the normal uh single battery pack, but this one comes with an extra one for $8.99. So you're saving $419. Uh, because it's already on sale from its list price, but you're also getting the extra battery, which is like $120 itself. So you definitely have to check it out. But listen, I know I've been telling you guys, I'm going to get you footage. I'm going to get you footage. Today's the last day. I'm going to go to my, my like the town I live in is doing their fireworks stuff today. And during the finale, I'm going to have that up in the air. I'm going to fly above the, I'm going to fly above the fireworks and I am going to film fireworks from above them as the last part of my footage grab. Uh, but we're going to load up my little quick video that I did for it. Um, so you guys can just kind of take a general look at what this drone's about. All right. All right. But listen, if you guys, if you guys, if you guys have seen this drone, I know a lot of you guys have in chat. You guys think it's awesome because it is right now is the best time. So not only is it on sale for $8.99, you're getting a free battery, which it already lasts like 50 minutes. So you're getting like almost two hours of flight time right now for $8.99 on this awesome drone. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today we are going to be taking a look at the V-Copter Falcon. Today's video is just going to be a quick setup video, so let's just go ahead and jump in and get this going. So the first thing you want to do is just basically take the battery off of the bottom of the drone, and all of this video is going to be on the assumption that you guys have already unboxed this. Once you have this battery off of the drone, all you simply want to do is just plug it up with the included charger. And the reason I say do this is so for your first flight, you get the max amount of flight time being that the drone doesn't come fully charged. And as you guys can see here, you have four indicator bars. So just wait till it gets to four and then you guys should be good to go. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is simply hold down on the top of the drone once the battery is reinstalled. Wait for the lights to flash. The gimbal will do its little calibration as you guys can see right there and then we're going to move on to the next step now so then you want to open up on the left side of the drone as if you're facing the back of it and you're going to press in that little red button and that is going to put the drone into pairing mode in order to get this drone paired with the controller itself and then you'll see on the back that the green light will flash meaning we're ready to go on to the next step then all you want to do is power on the controller plug in your phone via the usb port that is on the back and it might take a few seconds. You guys can notice here that it's just kind of loading and thinking, but this is only during initial pairing and it won't take this long moving forward whenever you want to fly this thing again. Then you will see that you have a firmware update available. You can go ahead and hit OK. It's not going to update it right now. And then you'll have a little bit of a registration process with your personal information just to get this drone registered to you. Uh, so just go ahead and make sure that you do that. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is just go in. There's going to give you some more prompts such as sport mode and some more firmware. You can skip through all of that. And then you will see right now we are basically ready to go. And so that's really all there is for this drone. There's not much to it. And I just want to make sure that you guys understand that this drone is probably the easiest drone I've ever had to set up. So once you go through all of those instructions, all you have to do is take this outside, find a good place to fly it, and you're good to go. And this is just a quick little demonstration that I wanted to show you separate from the full test video that I'll be doing. It was super, super windy this day, which was about... So you guys can see that when the drone was just sitting there, basically, and... Uh, 
hovering because it'll hover if you don't if you don't tell it to go anywhere or tell it to do anything it'll just basically hover and you guys if you notice on the video right here i'm gonna go back just a little bit and mute it i'm gonna mute the video right here you guys watch watch when it first takes off and goes to the next clip look how unstable it looks right it's going left and right. It's going up and down. And that's just because it was so freaking windy that day. But watch the video whenever it's flying. Still shaking, but the gimbal is so good on this thing. So good that it looks that smooth. Look at that. Even when I'm getting higher in the air where it's even more windy, less stuff blocking the wind, it does that good of a job uh, keeping that video smooth with that three-axis gimbal. It does an insane job. Think about that. So listen, if you guys need a new drone, definitely check that out. Footage coming real, real soon. Um, it's, 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 I it, mean, I wish, I wish I could explain to you guys just how awesome it is, first of all. So the other day or like a week ago, I was over at my in-laws house and I wanted to show him the drone. And so I told him about the range on it, which is like four miles or something like that. Now, obviously that's with zero interference, like but up to four miles of range. And so you have your live view, right, chat? On this drone, you have your live view on your phone. You can see exactly what the camera sees on your phone with almost zero latency at all. And so I was I was flying it. And uh, I was flying it, and he wanted me to go roughly about a mile just, just like east of his house to a grave site or to a graveyard. The reason he wanted me to do that is because he wanted me to see if I could see his uncle, his uncle Vernie's gravestone. So we flew down. It's really not that big. It's like this. It's about like this. It's not that big of a drone. He wanted me to see if I could see his gravestone. So we flew it a mile away. I couldn't see it like with the naked eye anymore because we went up in the air a mile away and then we went straight down and I could see the gravestone on my phone live zero issues um, but as I started to come back home and fly it, my phone died while I was watching. So I panicked immediately, right? So I panicked immediately. I didn't know what to do, but once my phone died, I couldn't see it anymore. Right, chat? I couldn't see where I was at. It was too far away for me to physically see it. There's a button on it that has a return to home feature. So it, it logged GPS coordinates from where it took off. So my phone was completely dead. I hit the return to home button and it came back automatically. I didn't have to do anything. I literally set the controller down. So if you guys look right here, I'll show you that. So you guys can see right there, phone is completely dead chat. Look at that. My phone was dead. There's the return to home button that I just showed. And you guys can see from a mile away, there it is up in the sky coming back home automatically. I didn't do that. I wasn't I wasn't flying it. I wasn't doing anything behind the scenes. It came home from one mile away. So I'll go over to the next video that I have. And you guys can see I I it landed within five, ten feet of where it took off from. I'm not controlling anything. I'm holding my wife's phone, I think, at this time. And look at that. Just came home. So this drone's awesome. Um, I've never had it die with the battery, and especially right now, like I said, $899, you guys are getting the extra battery. $900 is a lot, but if you guys have been looking to make the jump to just a super, super, super awesome drone, uh, definitely check out the V-Copter Falcon. I, you guys won't be upset, I promise. You guys will be so surprised by all of the features and just how easy it is to fly. Um, so definitely check it out. I mean, I can't, I can't speak highly enough about it. So Justin also says that he has a way to get another $100 gift card bundle too on top of that. So if you guys are buying this today, which today is a great time to buy it, he also has another way for you guys to get a $100 gift bundle on top of that, and he will give you instructions. So if you're going to buy it, today is a great, great day to do it. Um, so definitely check that out. We're going to switch. Adam, welcome to the chat, Adam. We're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream. We're going to be taking a look at this Fi Golf uh, World Golf Tour uh, mobile and home golf simulator. This thing is so fun. Now, the way this is going to work is it's not uploaded yet, but I do have the video. So I'm going to play the video for you guys. 
and I have it set up in a way to where I can actually pause it and talk to you guys about it. Um, this thing is super cool, but first, before we start that, we are doing a ton of giveaways during this stream. So if you guys are new here, first of all, let me let me go ahead and paste my little uh, let me go ahead and paste my little welcome thing that I got going on. So if you guys want to know about us, if you guys are new here and you're like, why am I watching this guy talk about random stuff right here? Right there. So that is a little bit of an explanation. And we're doing giveaways during this stream a lot. A lot of giveaways during this stream. So if you guys haven't already entered, the link is in chat again, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. And if you guys have entered to win that, but you haven't entered for Sunday's giveaway, which is a 3D printer, right there is the link in chat. Saturday is the last day you can get entered. So definitely get entered to win that. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at this Fi Golf uh, golf simulator. I think you guys will think this thing is really, really cool. I don't know if you guys are golf friends at all or golf fans at all or you guys play golf. But um, I don't. Well, I do, but poorly. Like very poorly. Uh, this thing's cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this Fi Golf home golf simulator. Now, I am not the best at golfing in real life. If anything, I am definitely the worst out of any given friend group. Oh, hold on. My camera blocked out my cool text. Here, let's do this. I did something cool. A look at this Fi Golf home golf simulator. Now, I am there. not the best at golfing in real life. <laughs> if anything, I am definitely the worst out of any given friend group. But let's go ahead and unbox this and take a look at everything that this thing has to offer. So unboxing this thing was pretty simple. All you have to do is just pull off that sleeve. The first thing you're going to notice is this little instruction manual. And then you're going to get the sensor. This is going to read the swing pattern and all of the other data in order to actually give you accurate results. And then you guys are going to get this kind of little quick start guide that's going to tell you do's and don'ts. You say five time mini golf champ. <laughs> that's funny. Of A fun fact about mini golf is uh, we were talking about if anybody's still here that was here earlier when I was talking about it. I uh, So I met my wife and that was our first date ever. So we, we met and then our first date ever was mini golf and she won this simulator. And it was my first and time. And the ever next playing. thing you're going to notice inside of the box that you get is you're going to get this little wristband. And this is just to make sure you don't launch this thing at your TV whenever it goes off. Continuing on, you're going to have a USB C cable. And then you are obviously going to get the main unit itself. This thing actually feels really heavy. I would say nearly as heavy as a real driver. It's got a real golf club texture on that handle there, and everything on this just feels really solid and really well made. So to get started, all you want to do is basically search up either Fi Golf or World Golf Tour Golf on your app store. This is on Android or. So the reason I said that you guys can select either Fi Golf, which is the official app for it and works super well, or the uh, WGT Golf app, and a lot of you guys might already have it too. Uh, that's just a, that's like the most popular golfing app, uh, on the, uh, on the app store. Um, so you, this, you can either use Fi Golf, which obviously supports it or WG, WGT Golf, which is, uh, which supports it as well on Android or iOS. And then the next thing you want to do after you install either one of those apps is basically just twist the sensor down into the top of the handle. Like you guys can see I'm doing here. Just be sure not to twist too hard. You don't really need to do it, but it'll go ahead and stay there. And one of the coolest things about this is if you guys have an Android TV or Apple TV, the Fi Golf app is actually right on there, which is really awesome. So we'll go ahead and launch the Fi Golf app just because this is the official app. And you guys will notice whenever you first open the app for the first time, it will take a little bit to load. But after that, you should be good to go. There's really nothing to setting this up, my friends. So now that you have the app installed and you have the setup, all you want to do is just hold down on top of the sensor right here until it starts flashing like you can see. And then the Fi Golf app will automatically recognize that it is connected and it will pair it and you are good to go. And so just kind of show. All right. So you can just watch this, guys. This is so dang cool. It's so accurate, too. It's so accurate with every single movement that would make a difference in real life golf too. So like attack angle, how you're holding it. it and I, 
I'm not the best person to showcase this, but just watch how fun this is. Showing you guys some of the things you can do on this. So there's a bunch of different modes on here. Right now, I am just in the practice range, and this kind of tells you everything you need to know about your swing. So you guys can see right here on the screen, there's a bunch of different data such as club path, face angle, attack angle. And all of this is just really cool because it's going to help you become a better golfer in real life too. And now we're on the long driving range where you can kind of see how far you can hit it. And I always slice it to the right, but I do that in real life too. So it's not a problem with the game. You guys can see right there, I'm complaining to my wife about uh, not being able to hit it straight. We'll go ahead and try again right here. So let's see how good I do on this one. So I hit it a little bit less hard, but I went a little bit more straight right there and it's really cool. This thing is super responsive. I would say there's maybe like a one second delay into registering your swing. And thinking about that now, there's probably, there's probably, <laughs> I didn't rage quit. Oh, uh, you were, I did discord call you, didn't I? Maybe I did rage quit. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's probably not even a one second delay. If you guys watch this swing right here. Yeah, I slice it all the time. I got better at it though, because it tells you all the stuff. So I realized that my my attack angle was off. So what I was doing wrong on it is whenever I was swinging, whenever I was whenever I would swing, I'd come up and on my downswing, I had my arms bent in. So I watched a video on YouTube on why on what to do so they told me that whenever i was swinging i had to basically like kind of shove not necessarily like shove but i had to like do a mini shove and lock my arms out on my swing so i did that now i'm hitting it straight doesn't mean i'm any better but yeah i'm not slicing it every single time but i went a little bit more straight right there and it's really cool this thing is super responsive i would say there's maybe like a one second delay into registering your swing but after that it's really cool and now we're on a full course. This Phi Golf app does have a ton of real life courses. And I say a ton of real life courses. It has, I'm not kidding, probably 20 different real life courses. that, And you guys can choose like how many holes you want to play. You guys can have multiple people where you just hand it on and off. Uh, too close to that. Team. It looks like I'm really close, but even on like the closest point that the club the club is to the uh, TV. It was like four, four or five feet away. You guys can see right here. All you have to do is address it to get it started. It will say ready out loud and then you are good to swing. So right here, let's see how good I can get close to this T. And you guys know I'm super strong right there. I just didn't want to intimidate you guys. So now we're going to go ahead and putt. Putting is actually kind of hard on this, but you guys can see right here that I hit it way, way, way too hard. Now that's you obviously, know, I guess I just, that place right here, look at that chat. That's not a real life place. <laughs> that I hit it way, way, way too hard. And you know, I guess I just don't really know my own strength. Continuing on right here, we're gonna go for the super long putt to get birdie. Let's see if we can do it. And yeah, I'm just like super good at most things I do. All jokes aside, my friends, this is an awesome simulator if you guys have been looking for something like this if you guys are avid golf fans or looking to get into it i definitely recommend this one from five golf and i will see you guys on the next one all right so like past nate said if you guys are looking for a new golf simulator definitely check that one out i've, I've had a blast with it and i'm not even that big of a fan of playing golf or just golf in general i don't watch it i don't play it very often like maybe a couple times like during the season but that's really it but I can't tell you how many times I've just randomly went into my living room, loaded up the Fi Golf app because it's on the Android TV app store, and then just uh, straight up just started playing. It's it's super fun. 250 bucks. It gives you so many features, and it's there's no like subscription service. It's just it, it's just a lot of fun. I think you guys would really enjoy it. So if you guys are looking for a new family game, because like I said, you can't have up to four players where you can just hand it hand the stick off and everyone plays uh definitely definitely add that to the cart uh we are going to switch over to the next product in today's stream we're going to be taking a look at this holy stone hs 420 mini drone and i have an announcement for you guys right after this video coming up to you i have an announcement an important message regarding your car's extended warranty right after this and Amazon customer, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. Whoever you are, you sneaky you, you sneaky little individual. 
Here we have a mini drone by Holly Stone. The model is an HS420. It says age is 14 plus. That's hot. I'm over 14, so I'm sure I'll have fun with Anybody it. Anybody else sweating? Here's the drone itself. It it's pretty small. It does work pretty decent. It does not said. like flying outside. Got a camera on there. Looks like a headlight. Power button. We have a controller. The camera function. Uh, looks like that might be a flip button. Automatic takeoff. I'll tell you what that one is here after a bit. Yeah, it's a small boy. Small boy. Uh, just turn it on and off. You hold it for a few seconds. And it's on. There's your high low setting. You're a nerd and you need to go to North America. Hmm. So by the way, um if just if if, if that's what you're talking about, North America. Um Canada near Detroit. So if you guys need to go to North America, uh definitely check out this room. No, I'm just kidding. Um but I do want to let you guys know that we are doing a ton of giveaways. We're doing gift cards. We're doing uh, physical prizes. If you guys win a physical prize, and I know this can be a bummer for a lot of you guys. If you guys end up winning a physical prize and you don't live in the U.S., we can't ship to you. So if you um, win a physical prize, we have to redraw. But the gift cards, you guys can't win. And then you can download an app. The information provided in the instruction manual and with the app you can connect wirelessly to the drone and this remote holds your phone and you can fly it first person you get a toolkit with four extra props i don't think you'll need them too much because it does have some really nice shrouds around it nerd anonymous did you wait hold on I'm a nerd and I need to go to Nerd Anonymous. What is that? Okay, but the giveaway link though? Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you, got you, got you. Texas in the house? Hey, I lived in Texas for like two years. West Texas, which was a barren desert. But here's the link. Like, Narcotics Anonymous. I'm a nerd and I... <laughs> uh, man, I'm a nerd and I really... I think... I, I think... My nerdiness is so much, I need to go to Narcotics Anonymous. Justin Douglas with the follow, I appreciate it. <laughs> and they're pretty durable. I'm not the best at drone flying. An owner's manual. Now, most of these drones come with a uh, little charging port somewhere to charge the drone. Because we all know these little ones don't can't carry much weight, so the batteries don't last very long. But... This battery is removable, hmm. and you can charge it. That's interesting. With the mini USB port right there. Now to put this battery in, you just push it down and slide it up, and you're good to go. This drone is 25% off too right now. I'm going to go ahead and skip forward in today's video. So he's just kind of showing everything that it comes with. Little handheld remote right there. Work. Oh, listen to that thing go. It sounds like a bee. See, this is like a super cool drone to like fly around your house. Now, obviously, this thing's not going to be able to like fight like the winds and everything out of outside. You can fly it outside, but this is going to be like a really good drone to fly around in your house. And it's just a just a very simple beginner's drone. That's just it's just fun to fly around with. So that is, excuse me, might sneeze. Man, all right, we're good. So that is the Holy Stone HS420 mini drone. If you guys want it right now, it is 15 bucks off or 25% off. Um, so that's a super great deal on that. But don't buy it yet because right now, chat, we are going to give away one. Mm, we are going to give away one of these right now. So if you guys have, been, if you guys want one of these little drones, go ahead and type "ready" in the chat if you've already gotten entered. If you haven't gotten entered, I'll give you guys just a little bit. Right now, the link is in the chat. So, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live.
Is anybody not ready? Somebody's going to win this. But remember, you do have to be a U.S. resident in order to receive the prize. Unfortunately, those are kind of the limitations we have on these physical uh, these uh, physical prizes. Looks like we have a ton of readies in the chat. Ready, and I have an American. I have an American <laughs> mailing address. That's pretty funny. Somebody's shooting fireworks off right now. Outside. Just going to give you guys a little bit, making sure everyone's ready, because Blake... Okay, Blake was the person that I was kind of concerned about. All right, so here we go. We are now going to draw the winner for the Holystone HS420 and the winner for the Holy American. The winner for the Holy Stone HS420 is who is it? Doris M. Uh Doris M, you are the winner. Are you here, Doris? Holy moly. I'm not Doris M. <laughs> yeah, we know. But we, we can do that. We can do that. You guys can win a gift card and a physical prize. But now Doris is pretty much ineligible to win anything except for custom coasters. Uh, Doris M. So you should be good to go as long as you are in the United States. So congratulations. Yeah, didn't she win? Didn't she win? Oh, it was Cindy M. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I thought it would... Okay, it was Cindy M, not Doris M. But congratulations, Doris M, on the Holy Stone HS420. Listen, chat, don't don't leave yet. Don't leave yet, chat. We are doing a ton of other giveaways during this stream. A ton of other giveaways during this stream. So we're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream, and we're going to take a look at this Donner 39-inch LP electric guitar. And I hope this is the same guy that did their Donner acoustic guitar because this guy's awesome. But wait, there's more. Tell about the other prizes during this stream. Uh, I will tell you about some of the other prizes this stream, but I, I don't want to spoil any of the physical prizes we're giving away. We're doing we're doing quite a like quite a bit more gift cards. I mean, I still have the majority of gift cards to give away. We're doing custom Dragon Blogger themed Independence Day coasters right here, custom laser engraved by me, ya boy Nate. Uh, I have a laser engraver. I have two of them, actually. And I do just random coaster giveaways and other laser engraved stuff right here. So this is a design that Allie uh, basically chose. So it's going to be like that. But this one's not going to be... Allie chose this. We're not doing... On this one, we're not letting you guys choose exactly what it is that you get. Oh, no. I mean, so we don't always do. Like, we do random gift card giveaways all the time, too. Like, all the time. Like, we'll do... The majority of them are five dollars, but we do twenty, fifty, hundred dollars. Like it's just, it's just random. Um, uh, am I sending that one too? No. So I'm keeping, I'm keeping that one. I'm keeping that one for like my personal collection as kind of like a portfolio. Um, and then like, so Kelly M won the other day, and she won one of these big guys right here, the hanging boards. And so I asked her, I said, well, what do you like? I said, well, what do you want? You know, what kind of um. What kind of design do you want? And she didn't really know. I said, a lot of people do like their last name or like a family crest. And then they incorporate something that they like or some type of style that they have in their home. So she she said tigers, tigers and flowers. So this is this is what I came up with. And right there, you guys can see that it has a tiger. It's, it's kind of hard to see the details. In person, it's better. A tiger surrounded by flowers. And then you guys can see last name. And you guys can see right there that it has the flowers along the border. So a lot of awesome stuff. A lot of awesome stuff that I'm able to do with these laser engravers. And so that's a little hanging board right there. Uh, but yeah, so you are going to get the chance to win uh, custom coasters and more gift cards. But I'm not going to spoil what we're doing physically for the giveaways. Um, but speaking of big giveaways, we're doing a 3D printer giveaway. You guys probably just heard me say this right here. Bada boom, bada bang. We're doing an Elegoon Neptune 2S 3D printer with the Ramic 3D filament 2-pack. 
We are doing that on Saturday. That is, or Saturday is the last day you can get entered. So if you haven't already, I urge you go get entered. Um, and if you guys are new here, hit that follow button. First of all, hit that follow button. And then on top of that, we also have a, um, we're doing a big gift card giveaway, not during today's stream, but let me find out where that's at. I got to find the link for it. Give me one second, my friends. So if you guys want to win a $100, $100 gift card, the link is in the chat right now. So this, this can be entered to win a $100 Amazon gift card or $100 PayPal gift card. And I don't know when that's ending. I don't know when that's ending. Ends July 23rd. Okay, cool. Ends July 23rd. So tons of awesome stuff. But switching over, we're going to take a look at this Donner electric guitar now. Hi, my name is Michael Clark. I play in a band called Much Obliged, and I also stream under the... the that is going to be a question for uh, Mr. Dragon Blogger. He will be able to let you know. I'm not sure. Moniker Valhallen3 on Twitch, and I'm here today to review this Donner electric guitar. It's uh, styled like a Stratocaster from Fender. It's not exactly on... on spot on with one but you know there's a lot of companies that do stratocaster remakes and this is a really nice one I'm, i've been really happy with it the, the color is really nice it's a little hard to see with my lighting here but it's like a nice dark green as well as it comes with a, a whammy bar here sorry about that and um there's so many things that surprise me about this guitar it sounds great it, it's very comfortable to play He does have a great radio voice. Can you get a code word for the 3D printer? I don't think we have a code word. We have done giveaways where we needed code words, but I don't think we have one for this one. Jax. Jax with the follow. Love you long time. I really have no complaints about this guitar. The, I would say the, the thing that I don't like the most is just, just the tuners, but it's not not even that big a deal, and it's a very easy fix. And this guitar even comes with a little push-pull pot to switch your humbucker here to a single-coil pickup, like on command. And It comes with all sorts of tools. I mean, it comes with a, a carrying case. It also comes with a bunch of Allen wrenches to be able to fix your bridge and your trust rod in the neck it's a very a very good choice for a starter guitar that you're trying to get into an electric it also comes with a nice little uh cord ll thank you for the follow happy fourth of july everybody i feel like that's something i'm not talking about enough today is an awesome day and i hope you guys are gonna have a really fun time uh later on tonight wrench cable if here is it's very argument. nice for plugging into your your amp with and the electrical sounds, there's not much hum to it at all while you're playing it. It's a, it's a great guitar. I've been really enjoying it a lot. All right, so if you guys need a new electric guitar, that one is 260 bucks right now with an extra 10% off uh, click coupon. So $26 off as well on that bad boy right there. And no, the guy with the awesome voice does not come with the guitar. But if you guys have been looking to get into it, 
Uh, definitely check it out. He did a really great job. He actually, he's in a band. I think his name is Michael. I don't remember what his band name is, but no, he does not come with it. So to all the ladies in chat right now that, uh, uh, what is the word? I, I swoon. If, 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 if that are swooning over his voice, he doesn't come with it. All right, chat. All right. Uh, but yeah, so de definitely check out that Donner electric guitar. Super awesome. And you have to much oblige. There you go. We're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream. If my thing will work, there we go. We're going to take a look at this hyper robotic cordless pool vacuum. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and load up this video for you guys. We'll take a look at it. You guys get to hear, Dim I'm not playing the whole video. I'm not playing the whole video because I promise. I'm sorry, Demetrius, if you're watching. Sorry, not sorry. You guys will fall asleep. All right. What's up, guys? My name is Demetrius, and I'm going to be showing you guys this robotic pool cleaner. First of all, LaRonda, listen. Listen, LaRonda. No, he cannot call you. He can't call you. You're being swooned right now. <laughs> I'm being swooned. Did you guys, did you hear his voice? Man, I think he was speaking into my soul. Made by Aper. This model is the Seagull 600. Comes in a white matte look with gray trim and light blue accents on it right there, as you can see. Uh, a little bit about this pool. I don't know. Maybe he will. Maybe he would call you. Much Obliged is the name of his band. Maybe he would be much obliged to call you. Cleaner. It's a robotic pool cleaner, which it has a power up to 30 watts. It also runs about 50 minutes. The charging output is about 100 to 240. You heard no, you heard no such thing. Volts, if you wanted to charge it. And the output is 12.6 volts. You have the battery capacity at 2600 MHA. You spun the wheel and got the 3D printer code word asking you shall receive. All right, so we're going to skip forward in today's video because all he's doing is basically breaking it down and showing you guys how to use it. There's really nothing to this uh, pool cleaner. We'll skip forward and we'll kind of get to this little thing right here. Here we go idea of how it goes around and how it works as i put it in the pool it takes about less than five seconds to sink down and to start going it's a really fast pool cleaner and really lightweight and more convenient of it being cordless and like i said again it's really easy to clean out as you remove the four clips and you pull up the top piece and then you have the filter that you have to remove and then the debris at the bottom all right, and then we have one other quick video for this robotic pool vacuum. If you guys have a pool, this is like, I mean, we looked at the robot or the RoboVac X8 by Eufy. You guys have seen videos from me, such as the Trifo Emma. Um, these are really, those are all really cool indoor. I mean, I up until this product, I didn't know they made robotic pool vacuum cleaners, which it makes sense. You can see this Iper robot pool cleaner just doing its thing. No matter how large or how small the pool is, it'll just keep going side to side, bouncing off the walls, turning around, going back the other direction. It just does its thing with its dual motors and dual suction areas and just cleans the bottom of the pool, all that dirt and silt. It's just a great, easy, automated way to clean the bottom of your pool. All right, so if you guys do need a... Uh, if you guys do need a new pool cleaner and you don't, you're tired of manually doing that because this is america this is america and we don't need to do stuff like that definitely check that out right now it is uh let me see real quick it is 40 bucks off 40 dollars and 50 cents off so definitely check that out if you guys need it if not that's fine i don't care uh we're, <laughs> we're gonna switch over to the next product in today's stream we're gonna take a look at this bright tech cordless lightweight lightweight stick vac all right and where, okay, first of all, where is James at? Where is James at in the chat? Because why is he not here? Uh, we're going to get a James here in three, two, one. 
James here with a quick showcase of a new product, guys. This is from Brytech. This is our two-in-one stick vacuum, guys. This is a rechargeable vacuum with 23 kPa suction power. It does have a motorized head. It does come with multiple uh, in pieces for this, guys. It does have the 25.2 volt, uh, 2,000 milliamp lithium battery with the HEPA filters. Now they claim on the box about 50 minutes of running time, but I think you'll probably get around 36 on low settings. Now this vacuum actually has multiple settings of power. So you can go from low, medium, or high, which is very cool. Not a lot of them have that. Now we're gonna pop this open and start giving you guys a quick look at this. Now this is a white and blue version. If you need the instructions, right here's the instructions. Here is your extension wand. And I actually love the coloration. This will be your connecting pieces, guys. So if you need to extend it out, just like that, has the built-in extension. I love that, that it comes like that. Nice and compact. You can adjust it down. Now you have your crevice tool. This tool is good for getting in between uh, your cushions or you know, like your heater vents and stuff like that. Great little tool. Then we have your motorized carpet carpet wheel piece. Now, as you guys see, this is actually a fully style, like it doesn't have separate hairs. So it should not you know, let hair wind up and catch in it or, or anything like that. Nice and actually it feels really cool. That's different than most of them I've ever felt. Now, the cool part is this is motorized, guys. So it will turn by itself. Does have four LEDs on the front that will light up. Plus you have your swivel head angling piece there, which if you want, just, you know, connect it to your wand piece just like that and you're good to go now we're going to keep going you have your standard wall brick to charge it of course guys and then you have the device itself plus another tool now i'm going to move the box for the bright tech away and out of our, our viewing angle now this is another cool tool this has another crevice tool plus it has the brush to help like scrub little areas if you need to help pick up a little excess dirt. If you don't need that, just push it in. And then you have another cool crevice tool. And right here is actually almost like a Velcro pad to help you catch like your pet hair and stuff. Nice little tool, I love it. Now, the device itself, as you guys can see, has a little bit of girth to it. Now, I'm gonna show you guys this. This is actually the, the base, you don't need this base. This is the charging base, guys. This comes off, so you just set it down. Now, to empty this, you hit the trigger, it comes down, everything drops out. But if you need to clean the filter, of course, you guys just unscrew that piece. This filter comes out. Inside here is another filter that you can actually pop out just like this and clean it out or buy a new one. Simple, easy. Put this back in just like this, guys. And we will actually tighten it back on. Make sure I get it into place perfectly, just like that, and you're good to go. Close it back up. If you need to break it down more, grab this button right here, and this battery comes out. Here is your rechargeable battery. It can come out if you need. Now, not really going to say you can break it down any more than that, because it doesn't look like it. Up here is your big LED screen, guys, and we're going to show you this. I'm going to put the battery back in, of course, just like this. If I hold it on, of course, it's gonna come on. You're gonna see this, hit the fan level. That is low, medium, high. Or we have auto. Here's your battery detection. I'm gonna shut that off. Let's drop this down a little. That's your battery detection to tell you how much battery life you have left. All in all, a nice little setup. Now, let's plug in the big wand, right? Turn that on so you guys can see this in action. Comes on, you see the LED lighting, you see the wheel spinning. You guys can see it's actually nicely looking. I like that. Now what I want to do is I'm going to grab probably a big old handful of rice, guys. I'm going to dump it on the floor and I'm going to show you guys how well it will actually vacuum up rice off my floor. So you guys give me a second. We will get that and get ready to have some fun. Okay guys, as you can see, I have a big old thing of rice. We're going to actually do stuff that my wife hates, 
And that's where we're going to spill stuff all over the floor, just like this. Bunch of rice, right? You guys can see it. Hopefully you guys can see this. Now, the worst part is, is if you have rice and you just want to give you a better viewing angle right here, we have a bunch of rice down here. You know, bare feet. We're just going to grind it into the floor. Normally wouldn't do that with bare feet, but since I ain't saving the rice, whatever. Grab the vacuum, guys. Pull the trigger, turn it on. We're going to start sucking this up. And this is on low. Now, as you guys know, rice will actually bounce around, so you will actually have to probably go over it. Let's turn it on. Let's go high. Wow. That's got a good amount of suction, but wait, wait a minute. Let's add some more length to this. Just like that guys, all the rice is vacuumed up, it's inside the container, take it over, hit the switch, dump it out, and you're good to go. Again guys, this is the Brytec Stick Vacuum Rechargeable guys. Thanks for checking out this video, and have a great one. Oh, oh wait, hold on, I'm muted. My camera's messed up, chat, hold on. My camera is messed up. You guys can hear me. You guys can see. You guys cannot see me. Of course, it happens now. There we go. We're back. We're back. So if you guys need a new cordless stick vacuum right now, definitely check that out. Um, we are going to do. Let me make sure I'm not lying to you guys. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Give me one second. Let me make sure we are going to do an Amazon gift card again. So if you guys are not entered. Uh, go ahead and get entered now, and we will take about one minute or so to get entered uh, to let you guys get entered to win that. <clears throat> oh, here come the hiccups. I need, to, I need to go grab some water on the next video. MC started following. Thank you for the follow, MC. Appreciate it. Happy 4th of July, everybody, by the way. So it looks like we are entered. I'm going to go ahead and draw now. Um, how do you enter? So it's dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Just echoing what Justin typed right here. Right here. Go ahead and hurry up. Enter quick. Let me know when you're entered. I'll give you about one minute, man. I'll give you about one minute and I'll just kind of talk to chat real quick. So what is everybody doing today, by the way, for uh, for 4th of July? You guys doing anything later? And it's so hot, too, right now. You can tell when it's hot outside because my, like, AC will struggle to keep up. Going to a pool party? Oh, that'll be nice. That'll be really nice. Fissing. That's nice. Fortnite now. Barbecue and fireworks later. It's a good combination. That makes for a great day. I've never been a Fortnite fan myself, but it's raining where you're at. What a bummer. You must live in the... You must live like near Louisiana or something along those lines. Working? That's a bummer, Christy. Are you what healthcare, I assume? Are you in the health industry? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and draw now. I am going to go ahead and draw for this. If you're not entered, don't, if, or if you don't win, if you're not entered, don't worry. Just get entered. We're still doing a bunch of them. Reagan L., welcome to the stream. Hello, Wiley. And so we're doing the $5 Amazon gift card now. So we will go ahead and draw again. Give me one second, chat. Just wait for it to load. All righty. And the next winner for the Amazon gift card is going to be Stephanie B. Stephanie B, you have won. Stephanie B, you have won. Let's see if Stephanie's in the chat. Is she in the building?
I'm not seeing Stephanie. We might we might end up having to redraw. I don't know yet. I don't know. We might have to redraw chat. What do you guys think? She has about 30 seconds left to claim. About 30 seconds left to claim. Unable to get conversation. What does that even mean? Let me see. All right. So we're going to go ahead and redraw. Um, if you are here and you won, which is Stephanie, I am sorry, but the one minute is up, my friend. So I'm going to go ahead and redraw now. For the Amazon gift card. She might be gone. I don't think I've even seen her in chat. She might have entered when we first got on live. So the replacement winner is going to be Donna B. Or Donab, as she should be really called. Donna B. Oh, I'm anonymous. It's Donna B. I got the anonymous. I got the anonymous chat, my friends. But it is Donna B. There we go. Congratulations. I think Donna's in the building. Here I am. Okay, there we go. Congratulations. If you didn't win, don't get discouraged, my friends. Keep your head up. We still have a ton of awesome stuff during this stream. But we're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream. And we're going to take a look at this Yosuda Indoor Magnetic Rowing Bike. Rowing machine, not a bike. It's a rowing machine. 389 bucks for this. Let's take a look and see what this thing's about. $389, but there's also a $50 off clickable coupon. Um, so let's load up this video and take a look at it. I will drop a link in the chat, Bobby, for you to get entered to win that right now. Give me one second. And here you go. Right there. So just go to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. All the instructions you guys will need to get entered to win that is right there in the uh right there in the description. In the I mean in the chat, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Congratulations, Donna B. Uh we have other gift card giveaways. We have other product giveaways, which I'm not gonna spoil yet. Um, but definitely check those out and get entered. And let's load up this Renfo. Oh. Yosuda rowing machine. Here we go. Okay. Yosuda. This is a work in progress, guys. I'm trying to I'm trying to get more stuff on the more stuff on here right now. Uh a bittersweet one due to my mother's passing away. Well, I'm sorry about that, Wiley. I can imagine that definitely is bittersweet. Yeah, I mean, at least, you know, at least on a, and not to get too personal, but at least on a day that could be as bitter as the day or the anniversary of your mom passing away, at least it's on a happy day so you can maybe get your mind off it and go out and enjoy yourself, you know, which is why you said bittersweet. This Yasuda indoor rowing machine is an absolutely fantastic workout and fitness product that once you put it together with only 10 screws and about 20 minutes of time, you could fold it up just like this. All you have to do is unscrew the locking mechanism and the pin. So you just screw this in at the bottom here and then it stays folded up in a vertical position. Doesn't take long if you want to put it away for a day, make it take up less floor space. It's easy to do. Just simply screw it in, lock it up, and then take it out the next day. Or maybe you only row on weekends. You just lock it up and slide it in a corner. What I really love is just how little space it takes up when it's folded up. You could just put it right away in a corner in a living room or an office or a bedroom with a lot of extra space. And it takes up almost no room at all. Among the most folding – fold. It is among the most foldable rowing machines I've ever seen. Now, the magnetic resistance on the rowing machine here gives you a lot of different resistance levels, and it works out about 90% of your muscle groups. I really love rowing machines because they're great for your core back muscles, your shoulders, your arms, and your legs. They have slip-resistant foot pads, and it just is so quiet. 
this fact, this rowing machine is so quiet that my son was actually rowing while we were watching Stranger Things Season 4 last night, and it doesn't make hardly any noise at all. It tracks your time, tracks your distance, tracks how many rows, and you can see the stand on the top of it is big enough to hold a big tablet or a phone with ease. So now it's not a smart machine. It doesn't have any AI. It just does uh, analog digital tracking and you put batteries into the display, but the slide is smooth on the seats. It provides incredible magnetic resistance and you could just turn the knob to adjust resistance levels. And I use the rowing machine at the gym all the time and this is as good as any professional rowing machine I've ever used. If you're looking for a rowing machine that will help you burn those calories, work out your muscles, and just give you a good upper and lower body workout combined, this Yusuda Indoor Magnetic Rowing Machine is just fantastic. My son had never used a rowing machine before, and he was super impressed at just how well it worked out his shoulder muscles, his back muscles, and his pecs. Now, he's a huge fan of it, uses it twice a day, even while watching TV. Again, it's extremely quiet, and of course, the dogs get excited while he uses it, but I've made a total rowing machine fan out of him. This rowing machine could support up to 350 pounds, somebody who's up to six foot six in height. It has plenty of room to go back and forth. Again, anti-skip pedals, folds up when it's not in use. This is a fantastic rowing machine and it is highly recommended if you want to work out at home all right so if you guys do need a new rowing machine not even new well i mean it will cut it will show up to your house new but if you need a rowing machine whether you have one or not you're looking to start a fitness journey rowing is one of the best ways to lose that weight my friends get that summer bod it's not too late definitely check that out 50 dollar off clickable coupon on that as well so you can pick that up for 300 and $39.99, I think. $339.99. So super great deal on that. Works super well. We're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream. It's going to be kind of like uh, kind of like this, but this is the Renfo AI Smart Bike. Renfo AI Smart Exercise Bike Indoor. So right, $599. Uh, also, it's a $100 off clickable coupon, and this one has an app. And I think this is like Justin's uh, stamp of approval, like machine, whenever it comes to like working out and doing stuff like that. So let me go ahead and I will load up that video for you guys so we can take a look at it. I'm here assembling the Remfo AI Smart Bake. This bike is easy. Smart what? Smart Bake? Assembling the Remfo AI Smart Bake. This bike is easy to assemble, bake. only a... This thing does not bake anything, by the way, chat. So, uh, instructions, <laughs> instructions unclear. Gosh. There's a few parts that you have to put together. It comes more like this when you unpack it. Just notice that there's a lot of foam around it, and you're going to get foam pieces everywhere. So, prepare for the cleanup. Easy to assemble instructions. We're going to go start putting it together. Attaching the bases is super easy. You just have the flat one in the front and the curved one behind. Next, you're going to be putting on the handlebars, and you have to attach the electric cord first. So you have to basically reach down, pull it out, plug them in and connect it, and that'll be basically the next step. Because obviously this is a smart bike, so therefore it needs to be plugged in so that you can access its features. So once you have that in, you just simply slide this into place, and then you'll have screws on the front and screws on the back. Now the screws on the back... you'll how how American would that be? How America would that be if <laughs> your that would be Amer that would be American? Okay, listen, chat. I know a lot of people make jokes about like people from other countries make jokes about America, and to some extent, even though I am a patriot through and through, um, some of their jokes are pretty accurate. We have found a way to incorporate food into anything. Uh, so I, if, if there was an exercise bike or anything exercise that also cooked food for you, it, it would not surprise me. I'm going to be honest here. It would not surprise me. Darth Wing Games. Um, welcome to the chat. Thanks for following or no, thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. You'll use to attach the water bottle holder. I really like the pedal design. The pedals are Valerie. I love you long time. Thanks for the follow wide enough to accommodate easy, even my size 13 foot and they have these straps that are adjustment so you could pull them out or put them in i this is the first bike where the actual pedals with the pedal covers were able to fit my size 13 shoe and make them work 
they're slightly tilted and curved so your foot is in a more natural position instead of being forward exactly it's slightly tilted to uh, outward which is actually more comfortable and here are the screws in the front here and here's how you tighten and loosen the front handles if you want to raise or lower them um, the very easy to install it has wheels on the front so you can easily lift it it's not that heavy it's much lighter than my previous bike it actually is really simple to put together you could see the water bottle holder there and again I'm just shocked with the pedals. Look at this. My size 13 shoe can fit in this strap. No other indoor bike was able to accommodate me with a size 13 shoe as easily as the Renfro Smart Bike. So really appreciate that they accommodate large feet. The seat is super comfortable. It has an air gap in the center to keep you cool. You have your control button here to control the magnetic resistance. Now this is a flywheel plus magnetic resistance. You have 80 different levels. The max I could go up to is... Now you want your cookies to be ready when my workout's done. Justin said something about... When I lived in Arizona, there was an LA Fitness and IHOP in St. Plaza. People would come out of gym and go eat at IHOP. All right, so listen, pro tip, and you guys are getting this for free. We're gonna, we're gonna. This is basically the end of that video. I'm gonna show you guys another one, but pro tip. Listen, I'm not okay. It's obvious I am a physical specimen. Look, Dad bought it out. No, but pro tip. All jokes aside, no, not even all jokes aside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep up with the BS. Um, if you guys want to lose weight, I'm going to tell you guys this right now. I'm just being honest with you guys. Cause maybe you guys are somehow on a fitness journey right now. We're not somehow like you guys aren't able to, maybe some of you guys are on a fitness journey or you guys have been looking to lose weight. Some people don't know. And you guys might not know this. If you're looking to lose weight, you can't only go to the gym. Um, and you can't, a lot of people will go only to the gym thinking, Cardio is going to help them lose weight, which it does, or they'll just switch their diet. It doesn't matter what you switch to. If you're not in a calorie deficit, a calorie deficit, then you are not going to lose weight. That is the only way you ever lose weight ever is by being in a caloric deficit. What that means is you are basically going to be cutting your calories down there's calculators for it. You can you can you can look up uh, caloric deficit calculators, and you are cutting your calories down to a point where your body is now no longer relying on the fat in your body for energy. Because that's what calories are; they're just stored energy. It's no longer counting on uh, the calories for energy. It's it's counting on your body fat. So it starts burning body fat. So it's not just one size fits all. I'm eating, you know, I'm eating my vegetables. Why, why aren't I losing weight? You have to be in a calorie deficit. You were just describing ketosis. Yeah, that's what it, 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 that is what ketosis basically is. Ketosis is a little bit different than just, I mean, ketosis isn't a caloric deficit, but it's just the way it works. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So we're going to load up the next video for that Renfo AI smart bike. Look at, look at, look at me like describing, telling you guys, like if you guys want to lose weight, how to, and uh, <laughs> look at me. I'm all I'm all flabby flab over here. Yeah, let's let's set up the next video for this Renfro AI smart bike. So I spent a lot of time exercising on the Renfro AI smart bike, and this is with six times speed acceleration because I put over 15 minutes in just to do a sample of the application so that I could show it. So what I yeah yeah fitness does require the whole body, physical and mental. And yeah, so a caloric deficit is just where your body is now relying on uh, stored fat, which is burned for energy, such as, um, I mean, over the calories that you're eating. Um, so, and there's also good and bad calories. You guys have heard of empty calories. That's why, like, that's why you can go eat a whole, uh, that's why you can go eat a whole bag of chips and not feel like you ate half a bag of chips because they're empty calories. They do nothing for you. Good sleep is the mo good sleep is the most important thing in life. Uh, nobody understands how important sleep is. And another I'm calling the kettle black. But yes, yeah, sleep is super important. Really love about this AS smart bike is when I'm using the workout in the app, you can see the app is on the phone holder in front of me on the bike. It will automatically adjust the magnetic tension up and down in various phases. So it'll have you really press your legs by increasing the magnetic tension, which really burns your thighs, really increases your heart rate, gets you sweating. And then it gives you a cool down period where it lowers the magnetic tension to kind of let you catch your breath and keep even pacing. The important thing is it tracks your pedaling speed and your pace. So you kind of have to keep everything even at the same pace. In 
in order to make any gains and pass the next scenario so that you can move on and continue working on your progress and training. So it is a really intense workout. It keeps you busy for quite a long time. Recommend you listen to some music. I had my earphones on when I was listening to this. And you can see just the result of this, how it peaks up and increases the tension, then comes back down. It still thinks I'm pedaling it in the cycle. Yeah. He's, it's not time lapse. He just drank 14 cups of coffee. <laughs> He's just cracked out on coffee. Uh, so if you guys need a new indoor exercise bike, if you guys are looking to start a fitness journey or whatever it is, definitely check this one out. Um, hundred dollars off. It's already 25% off from seven 99. So now you guys can pick this up for four 99, uh, which is a great deal on that smart bike, uh, switching over into the next product in today's stream. We're going to take a look at this Vaunt rgb touch tablet lamp this might be a new one i don't think I, I might not have seen this one before maybe i have maybe i have Ta oh table table oh okay thanks justin you type tablet man now everything's messed up <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and take a look at this and also by the way if you guys are new here go ahead and hit that follow button if i don't annoy you too much um we're doing a ton of awesome giveaways. I'm going to drop links in chat right now for you guys to check that out. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at the Vaunt Touch RGB lamp, guys. This is a full customized with 60 million colors, guys, but we'll point that out in a second. Now, it's touch sensitive, guys. You have to plug it in. It is a desk little lamp, which is kind of cool. Now, we're going to pop this open and give you guys your first look at this. But just remember, guys, it is a 600 luminous, so it's not going to be too bright, but it should be bright enough. Now we'll pop this open. Give you Lady Bacon? Is it is it Bacon or Bacon? Because I don't know. You guys, your first look. The first thing I'm greeted with is actually the power brick, which is kind of cool. We'll pull that out in a second. Let's go a little farther. Throw the wrapping package. So I have a question. Does she go to sleep like normal bedtime? Or does she stay up later and then just sleep later? Or can she is she just like me where I could go to sleep at 8 p.m. and sleep until 12 p.m. the next day? Aside. Make sure we get all this out here. Now, there is no con uh, instruction manual, guys. If you need the instruction manual, you actually have to download it. So now we are, are greeted with what is I like bacon. Nice. Nice. I like bacon as well. Bacon sounds good right now. I might have my wife whip up some bacon. It's the lamp, which is cool, guys. They have their little Vaunt logo, but on the side is a USB-C plug, which is kind of different. Um, you have the power brick, right, to USB-C, which is cool. Now, let's plug this in. I actually have an extension cord here. Let's see if we can get this going. So, the 16 million, or six, 16 million colors, guys. Let's talk about the 16 million colors. It's a touch sensitive lap or lamp, so there is no actual. No, oh, yeah, a hundred percent, Jennifer. I can sleep that long, um, and if I don't, I have like multiple alarms set. I will sleep that long. It doesn't matter how much sleep or how good, uh, how good my sleep schedule has been. I don't know why something about my body. If I go to bed at 8 p.m. and I've had a great sleep schedule, I'll sleep. I, if I don't set like multiple alarms on multiple devices, such as like Alexa and my phone, I'll sleep for 12 hours each time. And I, 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 I'm a heavy sleeper and I'll just sleep right through everything. There is no app to control the coloration. So you actually have to hold the button down, find the coloration you want and tap it to stop it where you want it. So finding that right coloration is going to be on to you. Now, this whole thing is actually, you know, touch sensitive, they say. No, here's the thing. You could probably put that baby right next to me. And unless it's right in my ear, I will. Uh, I will. Sl I will sleep right through the baby crying. So I won't sleep, though, because my wife will make sure I get up to go check on the baby and all that stuff. Personally, just knowing me and knowing how like how dad dad like I am, I'm probably going to set alarms anyways to just want to get up and go check on the baby. Just look at it sleeping or something. I'm so excited for that child to be here. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to cry. Turn it on if I can. Oh, 
Make sure it's plugged in right. There we go. So that is actually super bright, guys. Now I kind of messed with it. You guys can see I I can actually adjust. While this is playing, I'll be right back, guys. The brightness is by touching it. We're changing colors, right? We get powered off. So I guess it's really, it really is sensitive here. Oh, wow. Three brightnesses of white right there, guys. Let's go into color mode. And now it's going to start changing colors, right? Powered off. A little, a little touchy, guys. So you got to get used to this. Now, grab this little paper here. Tap to cycle medium light, blah, blah, blah. Hold to activate RGB mode. So we got to... Hold it to activate it once we tap to power it on, right? Now we're going to activate it. Now activating it. I'll be right back again. I'm going to go grab the ultrasound pictures from the last ultrasound. So you guys can see. There we go. Now we are cycling colors, right? It really is sensitive, right? Now we're just cycling colors, guys. Now we're going into greens. Hopefully you guys can see that. Green hues, blues, purples, and then once you find the color you want, you just tap it and it'll stop just like that. We're stuck at blue. And then to change the brightness of guys, of course, James in his 30 minute in. videos. Or hold it to power Here's off. the deal. We're going to go ahead and cut that short. Here's the deal with James, chat. If you guys don't know, James could legitimately talk about a... You could you could give him here. Let me give you an example. You could give him this. You could give him a pop tab. You can give him a soda tab, and he will talk about it for thirty minutes. Um, super descriptive. But if you guys need uh, a new table lamp, Vaunt is one of those companies that I've said before, kind of like stamp of approval. They just make good stuff. These are three dollars off right now. So if you guys want a new RGB table lamp with 16 million colors, it's dimmable. Um, and I it probably has, let me see, I'm going to make sure. Okay, no, this one doesn't have like voice control, but still, definitely check that out. Um, we're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream, and we're going to take a look at these. Oh, wait, hold on one second. Let me... Okay, yeah, we're going to take a look at these Vaunt LED car lights. Vaunt LED car lights. Um, you guys might look at these and you're like, okay, that's kind of corny. But when you get like wheel well lights for inside of your car, it makes such a nice mood. Like when you're, especially at night when you're driving, it's just such a mood. It's, it's a vibe. Caught a vibe. Baby, are you coming for the ride? Um, but no, I'm going to show you guys some pictures of uh, my baby girl. So I haven't told you guys her name yet. I don't even know if I told you. <laughs> I don't even know if I have told you, but it is a girl. So you guys, if you guys have been here, we have been doing, um, well, I've been telling you guys we're going to have a kid. And so last weekend we found out what the gender was through our gender reveal party. And it is a girl and her name. I'm super excited to announce this because I love this name so much. That is her name in chat right now. Her name is going to be Sailor. And I am, oh man. And I'm already so in love with her and she's not even here yet. But so here's some ultrasound pictures if you guys want to see them. There's her little baby head right there. Little baby head right there.
You got the name pick so fast. That's the thing, Justin. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We had it before we knew what it was going to be. We had a boy name and a girl name, but it took. So we we talked about what we want to name our kid before she was even pregnant for two years. Because, I mean, we had been working on having a kid for two years. So um, <laughs> it took us even after. Even after knowing she was pregnant, it took us four months. It took us a long time. Uh, but so let me find another picture real quick of little baby sailor. So here's a little foot. I thought this was pretty cute. That's her little foot right there. <laughs> Look at her little foot. I'm so excited. I'm so pumped. I'm going to cry. I cried. I, I, I didn't cry. I didn't make like sobbing sounds. But like when I heard her heartbeat on the ultrasound a couple weeks ago, man, I broke into tears and I didn't even see it coming. Let me see. Here's kind of like a little full body picture of a little baby sailor right there. You guys can see right there. A little full body of a little baby. Uh, so she is due November 21st. And I'm hoping she just holds on three more days and is born on Thanksgiving. Now, obviously, I know she won't. her birthday won't be on Thanksgiving every year. But it would be pretty cool to say that you were born on Thanksgiving Day. But yeah, so that's my enough about me. That's my little baby right there. I'm super excited to meet her. I can't wait. I'm going to cry my eyes out and cry whenever she does anything, probably. Um, yeah, all the time because I'm a big sap. But these Vaunt LED car lights are also pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to you, though. They're not as cool as uh, my baby. <laughs> my baby's going to be pretty cool. I think Justin is also getting her... Um, Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you, everyone. See, this is why I love having you guys here because you guys are so nice. Um, but I think Justin is going to get little baby sailor a dragon blogger onesie <laughs> or a nader tot onesie. That's going to be so cute. All right. But anyways, on to these Vaughn LED car lights. Oh, my God. What is happening? Today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from Vaunt. This is their LED car light strips. This is for inside your car, guys. This does take a cigarette lighter adapter, so just... Dude, that's how I wanted to spell her name, too. Just remember that. You will need that. Now, this can do 16 million colors, 30 scenes, music DIY, DIY mode, music sync mode, LED car strips, and 21 feet of stripping. Now, we're going to pop this over. Thank you, Evans. I appreciate that. Let me kind of show you guys everything comes in it. First, you get some zip ties so you guys can hide them up under the dashes or panels and stuff like that. Guys, this also does have an app, so if you guys need the app, you can do that. So you have four runs of strips plus... Is anybody else ever confused why James is yelling at us? Why, why, are, you, why are you yelling? Oh, and see, here's the thing, too. And I, I, I hate I hate to keep talking about myself because I, I feel like I'm being egotistical or narcissistic. But um, here's the thing is I like to think as a dad, I won't be the dad that does the um, like let's let's my little girl paint my <laughs> good morning here. Let's my little girl paint my nails or does tea party like tea parties with her or plays dolls with her or anything like that. I like to think that I won't be that dad. But I know the minute she like looks at me with her probably going to be blue eyes and says, Daddy, will you play with me? I'm going to melt and do whatever that little girl wants me to. Whatever she wants me to, I'm doing it, period. I don't care. I will do it. Cigarette lighter. Here's your cigarette lighter. On the cigarette lighter, guys, has a power plug to turn it on and off. Then you have the controller. The controller. If that little girl asked me to jump off the roof and land on my back to make her laugh, I'm doing it. I'm sorry. Controllers <laughs> where you'll actually turn on the power the lighting cycles lighting modes to adjust that or hook up the bluetooth to connect it up to the app then you have the strips and i'm going to kind of untangle this some um, so you guys can see these strips now the cool thing you guys listen listen you guys don't have to purchase us gifts you you really don't i really appreciate the 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 sentiment though but you don't have to you don't have to buy us gifts i think we do have a registry we haven't published it or anything but you guys don't have to buy us gifts i really appreciate it though Thing about these strips is that they do have three adhesives. So you have four of these strips just like this, right? On the back, three adhesives. So if you want to three them adhesive them to something, you can definitely do that. And I'm gonna let this play 
and I'm going to show you how spoiled she already is. So if <laughs> I wish you guys could see her room. I wish somehow I could take my camera with me. Uh, her room is already loaded. Lo she, she, we haven't even done the baby shower yet, and it's loaded with stuff. And her mom just took a trip down to Louisiana, I believe. She just took a trip. She just got back yesterday, and I'm not kidding you. So she flew there with one suitcase. Listen, and I hope, I hope uh, my wife's dad isn't listening right now, which I don't think he is. He's definitely not. She left with one suitcase, chat, one suitcase with her stuff. She bought so much stuff for baby sailor that um, she had to get three more suit or two more suitcases just for the stuff she got for baby sailor. Plenty of wire to hide it throughout the car, which is great. But what does it look like? By luck, I have a plug in here. I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to actually turn this on. We're going to grab some of these, which is super bright. Already. So guys, these are already lit up. I'm just going to show you two of the strips and hopefully everything stays on the counter and quits falling on me, right? So, And even if I did want to accept gifts from you guys, which I don't mean to insult you wanting to get something for the baby, um, I, I feel like if I were to like share a link to that, I could more than likely probably get in trouble as well. I do have a little bit of a mess here. Just so bear with me, guys. So the lights. Let's untangle myself. You guys see the three light strips, right? Here's the three lighting colors. Now we're going to change some pattern, turn it on and off. This is from the control. So Amazon doesn't care. Because, yeah, no, that's true, Justin. Amazon doesn't care. They don't give a damn about it either way because if I share, if I share links to Amazon products, they're still getting profit. That makes sense. Controller right here. We need to cycle the color. Well, we can hit patterns. No, you got listen. Here's the bottom line. Bottom line. Listen, to what I'm telling you. All right, chat. Well, listen. <laughs> I don't even know how to do an angry face. <laughs> like on, I I can do one when I'm playing video games. Uh, but we give you guys stuff. You don't give us stuff. This isn't how this works here. We give you stuff. And so there we got like I believe flashing. Change it. Another pattern. You have definitely more patterns. So the Go ahead and skip forward. Oh my gosh, what happened? I skipped forward three seconds and they're on his head. Okay, now that I got two little LED strips stuck to my hat, I have the app hooked up. We're gonna move start moving some scenes, right? <laughs> Since we have the app over here, let's grab some different scenes, right? Let's make sure it connects properly. There is warm glow. Let's do scenes of aesthetics. Now we can do festival. Let's do party, right? Party just flashing and stuff. Candle lights, just a little glare. Christmas, it's just going to flash a couple colors. Father's Day disco. Let's do disco. There it is. Flashing disco. Now remember, guys, you do have more LED strips, of course, down here, just like this. But uh, let's do music mode. Music mode. Here we go. Music, and it's going to move. Music's going to move to my... Voice, and I got a couple more strips down here, right? My voice. Colorations, we can just do red. We can do blues. We can uh, save colors. We can do scenes. Let's do some nature, sunset glow, aurora. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. We have a couple things that we're going to talk about. Those are the Vaunt LED car lights with app control. So you guys just stand by for a second. Those are super awesome. They are, what are they? Six bucks off right now. So they're six bucks off right now. And I'm going to I'm going to fold because, first of all, I don't want to insult you guys. And my wife, <laughs> she, she'll kill me if she knows that I turned down free stuff for the baby. So I'm going to share in the chat right now. And listen, I'm telling you guys right now, you do not do not at all ever, ever at all have to purchase anything for me. We do giveaways to you guys. But I for my personal safety, because <laughs> my wife will be like, why would you not do that? I am going to drop a link in the chat to the registry. I don't even know how it works. My wife set it up. I'm, I, sh I, I copied the link, I think. So give me one second. Hold on. I don't even know how to, how to do this on phone. Okay, so I think that is the... 
That is the link to the baby registry. But you don't have to. I'm serious. I'm telling you not to, if anything. You don't have to, but it's there if you guys want to. If you do, I... If you guys do get anything for the little baby, because it's obviously not for me, uh, let me know. And if you guys do order something, let me know and I'll I'll return the favor and just be grateful by I'll do a custom engraving for you. You don't have to do anything. Uh, but if you do, just let me know. I don't know. She did all of that stuff. She did all of that stuff on the re registry. I haven't even touched that list. So those Vaughn LED car lights are super awesome. But the cool thing about that is, is if you guys aren't entered to win, go ahead and get entered right now because we're giving away two of these. You heard that right. We're giving away two of these Vaunt LED uh, car lights. And the cool thing is, is these don't have to go in your car. They're, they're lights in general. Uh, link to get entered is in that. We are going to give away two of these, my friends. Thanks to Vaunt. Everyone say, I love Vaunt in chat. Type, I love Vaunt. Just like that. Thank you, Vaunt. You guys are awesome. We absolutely love you, and I love you a long time. And also, it's been a while. Send me something cool. It's been a while, Vaunt. Meet face. <laughs> they know what that means. They know what that means. If you guys are ready, go ahead and type ready. Oh my gosh, there's so many people typing ready. You guys are here for the... Oh my gosh. I love Vaunt. All right, if you guys want to win, I'm gonna go ahead and draw now. It looks like we are all ready to win one of these Vaunt LEDs. Uh, but if you wanna win, you also have to type, I love chicken and sardines. Listen, you have to type it. Sorry, it's part of the rules now. Type it. You have to type it. I'm, I'm, you guys think I'm kidding. I will turn this car around and not draw a winner. Type I love chicken and sardines. <laughs> Look, Adam did it. Adam did it. <laughs> I, you, <laughs> you don't actually have to type chicken and sardines. That's not a thing. Nobody, Nobody's ever like, I like chicken. That's never been a sentence ever. <laughs> you guys are all typing it. Uh, you, guys, you guys are little goobers. You guys are goobers. All right, we're going to go ahead and draw for the first winner. <laughs> oh, there's so many. <laughs> oh, man, if somebody <laughs> if somebody came in chat right now and didn't know what was <laughs> what was going on, <laughs> they would not have any idea why everyone is uh, <laughs> typing. I love chicken and sardines. <laughs> All right. So the first winner. Oh my gosh, that is that's gotta be the funniest thing I think I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. So the first winner of the Vaunt LED uh light strips is going to be Roberto J. <laughs> Roberto J. Are you in the chat, my friend? You better be in the chat right now. Mm, right now. Here we go, Roberto J. Roberto, congratulations. Roberto. Roberto, congratulations. He is here. Uh so Oh man, that's the funniest thing. I can't believe you guys typed that. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you guys do other stuff too. All right, so congratulations. We are going to be giving away another set of that. But listen, we have stipulations. Listen, if you guys want to win this, it is going to be free if you win it. But here's the thing, too. It doesn't come with a price. I mean, it comes with a price. All right? So if you guys want to get entered to win, if you guys already entered the link, now you have to type this. Dang, Nabbit, my hair is stuck in the toaster again. Type it in chat or you're not winning. I'm sorry. This, this, These are the rules, man. I don't make the rules. Type it. Type it. These are the rules. If you want to win, dang nab it, my hair is stuck in the toaster again. I don't make the rules, even though I just made that up. Go ahead. Oh, thanks, babe. I was showing everyone baby sailor. Uh, and also, the people want to buy her stuff, so the registry link is in there.
Yeah, I know. I shared it. Like, yeah, she, my wife says thank you, everybody. One of these days when she feels up to it, she's been sick, she will show her face. She's like proud family and is like the adult that you never see their face. Um, but anyways, yes. So, dang nabbit, my hair is stuck in the toaster again. <laughs> oh, all right. So, the second winner, the second winner. <laughs> Oh, man. Dang, never my hair is stuck in the toaster again. All right, who the winner is, is let me go ahead and draw now. I think you guys have, uh, I think you guys, I think you guys got the, I think you guys did it. All right, so the second winner of the Vaughn LED light strips is going to be Charles T. Are you in the building, my friend? Charles T. Charles T. I'm not drinking anything. Charlie, summoning Charlie. Congrats, Charles. Are you here? Charles T, congratulations. You have won. Uh, so Justin will reach out to you, Roberto and Charles, Charles, uh, to see if you guys are eligible to win. Uh, so congratulations to you guys. Um, if you didn't win, like I said before, listen, we're not even, we're, what are we? Are we halfway through? We're about halfway through. We still have half of the show, more than half right now of the show to go. Um, here in a cup, here in probably two or three products, or really whenever I feel like it, we're going to be doing custom coaster giveaways again. Bada boom, bada bang. As you guys can see right there, I will custer laser and cust custard. I will custom um, custom laser engrave uh, <laughs> some coasters. I, I'm sorry, that was. That's got to be the funniest thing I think I've I think I've ever seen on a live stream. What is going on with this? I'm not. I promise you guys. You guys have been. You've watched me the whole time. I don't even do drugs. I don't even drink. I'm high on life. I hate people that say that. I don't hate people that say that. But if you say I'm high on life, I'm sorry. But get it together. Don't say I'm high. I'm high on life. I am straight edge. I. I'm not straight edge. I used to be. I just don't anymore. Oh, meat face. All right. So especially going over to the next product, we're going to take it. Shut up, Google. That scared me. I'm not kidding. All right. We're going to take a look at this gear. IT LED work light. Is this the corn bulb? Is this the corn bulb? High on sleep deprivation. Man, chat, you guys are funny. You guys are weird. You guys are weirdos. I love you. Say it back. Say it back. That was so funny. Oh, my goodness. This is the Gearit 2000 Lumen Portable Work Light. This is for people who tinker around their garages. You work on your car because it's got a hook that can hang under your car hood, which I'm not... Is that my dad? No. Uh, check this out. My wife is so awesome. I wanted donuts, so she went and got me. And yes, I will eat all of them. A whole box of donuts. Show wife. She's sick, man. She's all like, I think she's pretty always. I always told her I think she's she's always looked better natural than not natural. And I don't know why, but she, I'm not going to eat all these. Look at this. Look at all those kolaches. Uh, no, I've always told her she looks better uh, um, natural than with makeup. I mean, I still think she's pretty um, with makeup, but yeah. They may or may not be moldy by the time they arrive. I'll just flash, uh, flash freeze them. Not a handyman, so that's not really what I'd be using it for. I'd mostly be using it to find stuff that I lost in my garage or misplaced or something like that. But if you need to work under benches, you need to work out in the yard, you need to work in the dark, you need to find something in a shed or work in a shed. Amazon sells fireworks. This is the ultimate work like for that. Pretty large size bulb. And look at this little hook right here. You get this little hook that you can pull out on top. Fully rotatable to hang wherever you need to hang it up. Hang it somewhere on a car don't. hood, hang it somewhere on a rack. Hang it in the garage where we need.
Last night I made pulled pork barbecue. Pulled pork chopped about two, three cups of barbecue, so mi microwave for two minutes. If more barbecue sauce needed, add it. Needed, add, then cook. Am I having a stroke chat? Let's redo this whole thing. And listen, I know I might be talking a lot, but that's because I'm trying to I'm trying to fill six hours, which we're going to do. I mean, we're doing we're making really good pacing right now. If you guys are annoying and all you guys are wanting me to do is just get through the videos, let me know in chat. Uh, <laughs> um, where are you from? I'm just asking. So I can't ask you guys, but you guys can ask me. I'm from Oklahoma. Meat stroke from pulling your own pork. I'm from Oklahoma. Uh, originally from New York, but I'm an Okie through and through. I grew up here. Completely rotatable hook. And I How long have I been live? It's been 87 years. Love the way it folds up and just nightly tucks in like that. That's really, really cool. And then, of course, it's got a magnetic back. What, okay, Justin, what do you mean about? <laughs> you can't say about. You could say about three hours ago, yeah. But you can't say about and then give the exact time frame. You can't be like, oh, it was roughly around about two hours, 48 minutes, and 33 seconds ago. Like, you can't, it doesn't work that way. Back to. So if you need to stick it to something that's magnetic or metal, it'll stick on something magnetic. You get two power switches right here, which I'm going to show what they do, because I actually am going to plug it in and test it out. Who is this Countess of Carbs? Who is Countess of Carbs? Listen, I have no enemies. But for some reason, I feel like Countess of Carbs is after me. Live. Really, really thick, heavy-duty outdoor power cable. This is meant to be used outdoor. This is not battery-operated. It has to be plugged in. Countess of Carbs. Let me see. Let me see. I'm, I'm going to go to it real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Let me see what this is about. What does she, what does she stream? Go now. Oh, my gosh. Countess of... Oh, okay. I thought... I pictured, like, food-related, because carbs, you know? All right, let's plug this thing in. Look at this. Not only does it have the hook on the top, but it also has a retractable hook on the bottom. So you can hang it upside down or you can hang it. Yo, yo, chat, can you guys imagine how absolutely raw and aggressive it would be if you just went straight to like somebody else's live show while they were live and you're live and <laughs> you start telling everyone to come check out your stream? That would. <laughs> Oh, that would be so cringe, but oh, that would, that would be bold. That would be super bold. Man, that would be whoo. Be like, hey, if you guys want to watch a really like you type it in chat, you guys want to watch a <laughs> my prices are lower. <laughs> yeah, oh, that'd be hilarious. No, I, I I'm just saying we we would never do that. I would never take some take food off of someone else's plate, but that would be insanely. It'd be it'd be pretty it'd be pretty ba, but it would also be super rude. Right set up, so that's kind of neat. Or oh wow, you can even turn it like this. If you need to hang it like an overhead horizontal light, you can kind of do that too with the hooks. So that's pretty neat. A lot of options here. The, I have to tell you, the handle was well designed. I'll let this keep playing. I also am not confrontational <laughs> at all. Like I'll I'll handle. Like I don't want to sound like a I don't want to sound like a Chad or a. Um, a super i'm not trying to sound like a tough guy right now but i'll handle stuff if it needs to be handled but i am the least confrontational person ever like when we go to a restaurant oh my gosh look how <laughs> bright that is look at that i have to pause um i'll yeah i can't uh i can't confront people about stuff i can't and i don't go out of my way yeah i am competitive as well but not confrontational like I'm so unconfrontational that if somebody like I don't even like correct my food at restaurants. My wife does it for me. Like I stand behind her like like a little boy like and mom's coming to the rescue. <laughs> wow, that's bright. Let's see what Switch 2 does. Oh, man, that is nuclear bright. Holy cow. I think chat's messed up. Look at that. It was popular that is quickly, some now work it's not. So that's what switch two, switch one, switch one, switch two. Look at that bright. Nate just sent you $25 for your diaper fund. You got it. Evan, see, Evans, thank you so much. See, I, you didn't have to do that. I really appreciate it. That's awesome. You are a, you are a one of a kind person. I really appreciate that. Oh, look, Jennifer Lou just said David's one of a kind. 
Um, thank you so much, Evans. Everyone give like a round of applause for Evans. I really appreciate you doing that. You didn't have to do that, but from the bottom of my heart and my wife's heart, that is awesome of you. Excuse me. The donuts I haven't ate yet are making a comeback. I'm 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 pre I'm pre dad mode right now. Uh so thank you for doing that. Justin, go ahead and get in touch with um go ahead and get in touch with uh Evans and get me like just get in contact with her so I can figure out um, her shipping address, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna send you um, a custom laser engraving. Okay, thank you so much, Evans. Yes, level. That's almost like that's like harmful to my eyeballs. Definitely could work in a, in a garage at night. Work under your car hood. Yeah, very very bright. Wow, wow, that's bright. So. Again, 6,500 Kelvin light, so it's the daylight. It's not like a yellow light or that soft, warm yellow light. It's 6,500K uh, color temperature. which makes How did you do that? How did you do that, Meat Face? Makes it very white colored or that light blue almost like... Or if you find me in Discord as well, Evans, uh, Nate's angry. Um, I I'd like to because I, I would like to. But yeah, I'm Nate's angry on our Discord channel. Sunlight. If you need a work light, you can see when it's powered. It it's powered. It's got that little green uh, light on the bottom showing it's powered in. Two thousand lumens max. It has sixteen hundred power saving mode. I guess that's what one light's power saving mode. But pretty impressive little work light, honestly. Like that they come with the two hook options. All right. So if you guys need a new work light, that is Gear IT. I've I've heard a lot about that that company actually. They make really good stuff. If you guys need a new work light with a say 16 gauge, 2,000 lumen with a 20 foot power cord, definitely check that one out. Uh, 70 bucks looks like it's a great deal. Add it to the cart if you guys want to. If you don't want to, that's fine too. Uh, but <clears throat> we're gonna switch over. Hold on, let me make sure I'm not skipping any giveaways. We're gonna switch over to the next product in today's stream. But talking about the giveaways. Um, Link is in chat right now for it. So dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Again, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live to get entered into the giveaways. And uh, yeah, so get entered to win those. Somebody was talking about pulled pork earlier. Now you just opened up a can of worms because I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I love barbecuing. You guys ready to be hungry? I'm going to show you guys some barbecue that I've done. Worms and pork. I'll tell you what. All right, so this is going to be kind it's kind of gross just because it's it's a silent video. I mean, you guys won't hear it. But okay, so here's a pulled pork I did the other day. Who was talking about it? I think it was US Rover. USS Rover. So let me see real quick. Here we go. So this is a pulled pork I did pretty recently actually. Bone pulled right out. You guys can see that right there. Super, super simple. Look at that. Smoked perfectly. Look at, okay. If you guys know anything about barbecue, whoa. Hold on, Nate. Look at that. Look at the bark on that. Boy, I'm t I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. This is why. Nice meat. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm scared. Um. Let me go to the next one. Just look at this. I'm going to get moderated now. No, you won't. Look at that pulled pork. Just falls apart, chat. Rover. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just call you Rover. Look at that. Pulls apart, chat. Right? Hold on. I'm showing you guys ideas. This is a 4th of July stream. If you guys want to get out there, do you guys want to do some barbecue? Let me, let me be the one to inspire you to go out there and get her done, chat. Get her done. Hold on. I got more. I got more. My favorite thing to do is barbecue. It really is. So here's just a perfectly seared mwah, steak. Look at that. Look at that steak, chat. Boom. Look at the look at the sear marks. Perfect medium rare. Have you done that yet, Nate? Let me see. Let me see what you said. Use me oh Mexican Coca Cola as a base. Uh, no, I haven't used like Coca Cola. I have used Dr Pepper. Um. I mean, I like Coke, but Mexican cola would also be pretty good too, I imagine. 
Uh, so here's some pull. Here's some more pulled pork right there. Bada boom, bada bang. There goes Nate. I'm showing my meat. All right, so here's the, here's the tough part. I don't know if you guys ever had brisket. If you have good brisket, it is so so good. But here's the thing about doing a good brisket: it's not easy because any barbecue that you smoke, you have to, um, you have to like practice. You're not just going to be immediately good at it and get phenomenal results. But brisket is so expensive that I haven't tried it. I, I've done one brisket ever, and while it had a great smoke ring and great flavor. So that brisket had a great smoke ring, great, great, phenomenal flavor, but it was dry. It was so dang dry. Um, I smoked it for way too long. And then the last thing, which is my specialty, which I highly, highly recommend you never challenge me to a cook-off on this type of meat, is ribs. I'm, I'm telling you, chat, right now, look at that. When it comes to ribs, you you don't want to see me. I'm the, I'm, I'm the wrong one. You got the wrong one, chat, all right? I'm just gonna put it there. <laughs> See, that's not, okay. And all right, meat face. Uh, I do too, as well. Yeah, pork shoulder. Yeah, pork shoulder for uh, pulled pork. But anyway, what am I doing, chat? What is what is going on? How are you guys allowing me to do this? Um. <laughs> anyways, let's go ahead and switch over to. Uh, we found a way to re revive the brisket. And warm it in the crock pot after it's cooked. Put it in the crock pot for four hours on low with broth that comes out restored and juicy. Well, here's the thing. It was already, it was too late. It was too late. I smoked it for too long. So like I just drew out some of that moisture. Um, But anyways, switching over to the next product in today's stream. if Because if, if you guys just let me, if you guys don't keep me in check, and you guys have to. If I'm annoying you, be straight up honest. Be like, Nate, go, dude. Gina S. Okay, Gina, thank you so much. See, you guys are so freaking nice, man. Oh, man, for, seriously, I love you guys. You guys are so awesome. You guys did not have to do that. Thank you so much. That makes me happy. It makes my heart, made my heart flutter. Gina S., thank you so much for contributing to Baby Sailor's Diaper Fund. Reach out to Justin, please. Just reach out to Justin. I'm going to return the favor because you guys did not have to do that. I'm going to custom laser engrave you something. Um, thank you so much for doing that. That's, that's freaking awesome of you guys. Thank you so much. So reach out to Justin. Um, so Gina S I, I'll message Justin, just to make sure. Thank you so much. You're seriously so cool, but you guys have to keep me in check. You really do. Let me see. There we go. All right, so I will get info from Justin relayed, or if you're on our Discord, uh, you can message me. Nate's angry on there. Um, but yeah, all right. Thank you guys so much. Switching over to the next product, man. I'm I'm just so I'm not I'm at a loss for words. You guys are so generous and so nice. We're gonna take a look at these Govi outdoor ground lights now. If you guys really want to party, if you really want to party, you got to get these lights. These things are cool, cool, cool. Happy 4th of July, everyone, by the way. I hope you guys are having a great um, great 4th of July and hope you guys continue to have a great 4th of July in the land of the free. I'm here unboxing and showcasing the Govi Allure Smart... I'm going to tell my wife about you guys because she's going to be super happy. Smart ground lights. Now, what these are is these little tight LED lights that you stake into the ground and they provide like an illuminated pathway which are great for like surrounding driveways or decorating your garden or just making landscape accents because you can really do a lot with these and they're fairly long as you can see they have the little groove on the bottom where you would put in the landscape spike or the little spike on the bottom that goes in the ground you get a lot of wiring there it's extremely long you get a control box to manually control it it also pairs with the Glovi app via Bluetooth on your phone, so that way you can control the various light patterns on your phone, which we'll showcase later as well. So the first thing you gotta do is obviously unwrap the wiring. It comes with multiple twist ties. You get a very long AC power cord. Then you're gonna wanna put the little spikes on all. Bartholomew, thank you for the follow. Of the Govi. You guys are gonna see Doggo lights. now. So that's gonna take some time. Come on, Nancy, get up here. Let me show you how get these go on. 
Oh, hey, buddy. You take each individual <laughs> spike and you line up these little snap Look at points. Ninja. You see each of these so spikes. Chat, this has is two Ninja. Snap points. He's our fat so you boy. You line up the snap points he is and our then you just press toad. firmly until they snap into yes. place. Right. Once Here's they snap into place, boy. they're nice and secure and they're snug, <laughs> so you can just stake boy. them in the ground. Obviously, boy. you stake them in soft yeah, ground. Now, after pairing the ground lights with the Govi app, you could see through all the different color patterns just how really bright and vibrant these RGB lights are. And Govi makes fantastic lights. Their lights are always such top-notch and high quality. You could choose, like, the fire setting, which is kind of like rolling fire. You could choose blue and white. You could choose starry night. All right, Allie. So then here's the deal. Uh, since I already have a design for you, I'm going to send you more. I'm going to send you more. Thank you, Allie. You guys don't have to do this. I'm serious. I... I, I really, really, from the bottom of my heart, truthfully, as meaningful as I can, really appreciate what you guys are doing for uh, my baby. It's 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 so heartwarming to see all the love that you guys have for her already. Thank you, guys. So many different color patterns. You could change the color of each individual light to be whatever you want, or you could cycle through all the patterns, everything from fire to fireworks to pulsing lights that kind of like... And by the way, if you guys tell me sp very specific things that you bought for her, I don't know what they are. <laughs> I don't know what they are because I didn't add. I don't. I don't even know baby stuff. I just know that I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold that little thing. Flash and then go solid like this one, which is really unique. I just started playing around with all the color patterns, and there's just so many different color patterns to choose from. Besides the fact that you create your own, you could do various strobe effects with the lights. You could do party mode, but this would obviously annoy your neighbors. Imagine having all these ground lights. You can see how bright they are. Imagine having your driveway constantly lit up. But it's great for you guys. <laughs> you guys don't have to do this, man. I'm Ed. Thank you so much. That is awesome. That is super awesome. Thank you so much, Ed. Seriously. Ed is awesome, too. He's been around for so long, so I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Bottom of my heart. The holidays, you could set up all sorts of like Halloween colors or Christmas colors or fireworks in the summer. There's all sorts of crazy things you could do with these with these driveway lights or these ground lights from Gobi. You can see. We're going to do another giveaway. Uh, we're coming up on one. We're coming up on one. I like Stay tuned. Just stay tuned. Don't leave. Don't leave. We're coming up on a really cool one. Really cool one. Find my driveway oh, where hiccups. the grass comes up against my driveway. And they just make like nice little landing strips almost for my car to drive in the driveway. It follows the landing strips up. So I ended up testing out all the different colors. And then I wanted to see what it looked like with classic white next to my white Tesla Model 3 as well. So again, like says, I now live here. <laughs> The Govi light strips, the Govi ground lights, the smart ground lights are really incredible, highly recommended, so vibrant. There's so many things you could do with them from decorating plants, decorating landscaping, or even just light. What's that, Allie? I almost don't want to because while I do appreciate it, you guys you guys don't have to buy stuff. But if, if you really want me to, I will. Finding your driveways. Yeah, I will, I will paste it in a second. But if you guys need some really awesome uh, lights for your driveway, and those don't have to go in your driveway, you guys could probably think of something. These also have a $10 off clickable coupon, and Govi is a stamp of a Dragon Blogger stamp of excellence brand. Uh, everything they make is top of the line. These lights up here are Govi light strips. I have some Govi light strips behind my monitor. They're super awesome. Um, yeah, definitely check those out. We're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream my friends and we're gonna take a look at uh what are we gonna take a look at we're gonna take a look at this anchor nebula apollo a portable battery anchor blue blue eddy whoever one with solar charger would be dope sounds like you know exactly what you want i don't know if we'll be able to uh accommodate but we are we do have some giveaways man so if you're just here for the giveaways, that's completely fine. I would do the same thing if I wasn't in the position I'm in now. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie to you. But we're going to take a look at this Anchor Nebula Apollo. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this absolutely awesome, portable, and budget-friendly projector, the Nebula Apollo. Anchor has been around in the game for a long time, and they've recently set foot in the projector scene. And this projector here actually boasts a 300 ANSI lens that supports up to 1080p, which is absolutely awesome that you're getting a full HD lens 
right inside of this little unit. Taking a look at the unit right here, as you guys can see, it's super small and there's not much to it. You do have some on body control. No, seriously guys, you guys don't have to come here for any reason other than giveaways. I mean, first of all, I'm, I'm gonna be like fully honest with you guys, fully honest. We do giveaways because first of all, it's a good way to outreach to you guys. It's a great way for us to outreach to you guys and to get you guys to want to come back. Now, if you guys only ever come back for the giveaways, it's completely fine. We don't take it personally at all. If anything, we want you here for the giveaways, even if that's the only reason, because uh, if it could potentially help us out with what we're trying to do here, which is build a community. Um, and ultimately, our, our main goal isn't to generate sales, but if you guys come back for the giveaways and you just happen to see, like say this projector, for example, you see this projector, you think it's awesome and you buy it, it helps us out. You guys are getting stuff in return. Um, and it's just, it's, 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 it's really just a circle. It's all, an all encompassing circle. Um, so yeah, but yeah, we really appreciate it. Girls, but other than that, everything on this is just very simple and easy to use. So taking a look at the backside, you're gonna notice here that you actually have your power in so this really is like HSN or QVC. And the reason it is, is this is QVC, but this is 10 times better than QVC or HSN could have ever been. Because first of all, uh, my mom used to order stuff off of QVC and it would show up two to three months later. So Amazon is the best distributor of products or merchandise that's ever existed and will ever exist, period. They are the best. So not only are you guys getting to interact directly with the person that telling you about it or showing you a video about it. There's also, you guys can do giveaways. It's more personal and it's Amazon prime. If you guys have that. Um, so it's, it's, it's a hundred times better. It's a hundred times better. This is QVC for the, for the modern generation for modern times, and it will never be trumped. Um, and which is why I see this growing and just getting bigger and bigger because people like to shop. I mean, it's <laughs> money makes the world go around. People, like nice stuff people like buying things so yeah and people aren't going to stop buying things so i don't see how this goes away ever i don't see how amazon live goes away because i i, I just don't see how it filled a void that qvc left when people stopped watching cable television input usb input for a mouse or keyboard and an hdmi input so you can plug this up into your computer your xbox whatever it is that you want and then on the back as well you're going to notice you have some controls you're going to have a power button and also a mode selector button on the back and you might be asking yourself well how do you control this thing and choose your apps or choose your videos and there's a couple of ways that you can actually do this so the first way that you're gonna be able to do this is this little awesome touch screen interface that's here on the front, which it's not actually a screen, but it is a touch interface. And then the second is- So I just wanted to, I think, what did, hold on, I gotta go back. Rising Siren, thank you so much. <laughs> Mama Siren's awesome. Thank you so much for getting something for Baby Sailor. That's awesome. And of course, it had to be purple, which is cool because that's going to be uh, the color of her room is going to be accented with purple or purple and lavender and just other, you know, colors like that. Uh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Going to be the remote that they include and the remote has every. Well, that's that's Mama Sadie's. Um, a lot of mamas in the house. That's that's Mama Sadie's favorite color is purple. Every single thing you need to fully access this, but you can also control it with a mouse or a keyboard, which is super cool. It looks like I'm going to let this video keep playing. Just mute it. It looks like maybe Justin's wife woke up because he hasn't been in the chat for a while. I did forget you. I knew there was one I'm forgetting and I promise I didn't forget you. How could I when I have an alley cat ink coaster right here all the time? Uh, big shout out. Now you get even a better one. You get personal. Big shout out to alley cat. Right, don't we all wish, Allie? So the audio that you heard... 
what's everybody's uh what's everybody's dream car let me know in chat it doesn't i don't care how silly you think it might be what is everyone's dream car heard inside of that clip that i just played for you of the lamborghini is playing from the nebula apollo itself and honestly it does sound insanely good so good that they actually included a bluetooth speaker function that basically kills the projector and allows you to play your own Lambo. music without killing the battery life even more that's a very i mean obviously five o's aren't cheap i mean 40 grand but that's 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 a relatively obtainable dream car my friend now back to the screen. This isn't going to look as good on video as it does in person, but you guys just what? have to trust me. This thing looks absolutely amazing in person. It's got very true rich colors, and honestly, I don't think you're going to find okay. a better projector in this specific price range. All right, so if you guys need a really awesome projector, that is Anchor. Listen, you guys know Anchor doesn't make bad stuff. They just don't. It doesn't happen. It's not real. It never will be. Uh, big burly electric truck. Are you talking about the cyber truck? That's your dream car, the cyber truck? Okay. That's different. I've never heard that being a dream one. Wiley, you want to learn how to drive, then having a new and affordable car works for me. Never too late to learn, man. Never too late. But, uh, yeah, cars are expensive right now. Manual transmission, the old Volkswagens. I just got rid of my Volkswagen, actually. Um, yeah, if you guys need a new projector, definitely check that one out from Anchor. Super, super, super awesome. Switching over to the next product in today's Memorial, not Memorial Day, uh, 4th of July stream, which by the way, happy 4th of July. I hope you guys are having a great one. Let me show you guys some of the, the fireworks that I got. I'm super excited. So I got this one right here. This one is Justify. And Justify, so, oh. Uh, let me, I don't know if I can show QR codes. Guess red, white, and blue. Pretty cool. It's, it looks like it's going to be a uh, nine shot. So nine shot right there. Hold on, I messed up. So I got the nine shot right there. And then this one I'm super excited for. Whoa, baby. Look at that. Look at that big boy right there. That's going to be a good one. Whoa, baby. That's cool. That's dang cool. You guys want to know what one of the most um, patriotic photos I've ever seen? What kind of dog do I have? I have three Australian Shepherds. Two of them are minis, which Ninja is a mini. Even though, <laughs> even though he's not mini, he's a fat boy. Um, he's a mini Australian Shepherd. Dixie's a mini, and then we have a, uh, and then we have a toy Australian Shepherd. Um, but yeah, so yeah, super excited. Our that cat is a terrorist. He's asleep right now because he's recharging to go absolutely psychotic throughout the night. He's he's recharging right now in the sunroom. Oh my gosh, dude! Yeah, he's he's on charge right now. Ed, his name isn't Groot anymore. Actually, we changed it. Um, so it's no longer Groot because we never call them that. And we're constantly saying, damn it, cat, because he's always doing something involved in terrorism. So uh, his name is now Cat. I'm not kidding. It's Cat. That is what his name is, Cat. Um, <laughs> or A-hole, too. We, we call him that a lot, too. <laughs> but anyways, listen, chat. Tons of giveaways. Tons of awesome giveaways. Like I said, we are doing, we still have a bunch more. We are doing a ton of awesome giveaways. Here's a little greeting for anybody that might be new here. Hit that follow button if you are new here. Uh, if you don't want to hit that follow button, then you get no love. No love. No love. I'm um, just kidding. And then here's the link to get entered in to win any of the products in today's chat. You guys do have to be a U.S. resident to win the physical products, but gift cards don't matter at all. Um... The cat is like Prince, the cat formerly known as Groot. Yeah, basically. Look, there's Mama Sadie right there. Look at her popping up in the chat. That's Mama Sadie. We share an we share an Amazon account. That's why it's popping up as me. But there's my beautiful, loving wife. Um, so yeah, checking out the next product finally. Ugh. 
We're going to take a look at this Sheffley 6.4 quart tilt head kitchen mixer. That's a lot. That is $60 off right now too. 60 big ones off. That's a low price. Welcome everyone, my name is Demetrius and I'm gonna be going over this kitchen stand mixer made by Sheffley. With this mixer, it came in a gloss gray look and it's a six, like I said, 6.5 quart mixer. All right, listen. He, Adam asked if I can rap. I'm not going to, and I don't wanna sound narcissistic, but I can. I can. I've been I've been known to to freestyle pretty pretty hardcore when I have alcohol in my system. Mixer. And I haven't done it in a while, college, but I wasn't was half bad. And it go comes in six speeds, and it has a six hundred and sixty watt tilt. But but also I but also I want to know because I know you said you're just asking, which is kind of a uh, reason in and of itself, but. Where did that question uh, get prompted from? Head on it. it As you can see, that I'm really not, shiny not, look. I would do it if I was in a Discord chat with like three of my friends, but in front of 64 of you guys, not happening. Sorry. And then it came all packages up really nice. You have the mixing bowl right there where you mix up all your cake, cooking, and all the stuff you need to be doing inside this mixer. A rap about and props, to yeah. <laughs> lift this up right props here, you potatoes. just hold that down, which it has an arrow pointing to lift it up, and it'll just lock in place to stay up. And then there's your mixing beater right there that you have, which that's mainly the one that you'll use to mix stuff up with. And then you can also mix like mix your eggs up and stuff like that for in the morning. And then you have your splash guard right there too, so another one be flying out. And then it came with a bag also. As you can see, for storage, and so you won't get any dust or anything like that. And it also has little storage pockets too, one in the front where you can store all your, all your um like your dough hooks. So we have fruit flies. I think we need a, something. I think I just caught one out of the air. Dang it! Dang it! I didn't. <laughs> it's in your mixing beater, and then it also has storage on the sides. Two little What's pockets on? on the sides. Do I need to clean in here? I don't have fruit. I don't eat fruit. Of it. Really cool. Really cool bag. Really cool product. With that, I'm going to show you all the... We're going to go ahead and skip forward in today's stream a little bit. You can let it go and lock in place to put this piece on as like a U-shape. You just simply just slide it up in there and then you will turn it just like that. One. And then it's locked in place. And then also, then you can just, to put it back down, you can just pull the lever. Just, yeah, I do. What do you want to know about Android? Just down just like that, and then just lock. If you ask about technology, more than likely I know about it. And that's not me trying to sound cocky. I just, <laughs> yeah, I know, about, I, I know about it if you have questions about technology. Pretty much anything. Cameras, phones, computers, projectors how to take parental control off. So that is going to be in your accessibility um, settings inside of it. Um, Adam, if, Adam, are you, Adam, I don't even know if I can ask this. Are you trying to, are you trying to get away with uh, getting rid of parental control that your parents set? Really simple to use and really unique item. So with this right here, the mixing bowl, you will just turn it as an arrow point says to lock. I, I, I didn't want to ask if he was an adult, but somebody else did. Listen, Adam, I, oh, buddy, I can't answer that for you, man. I can't, oh, I, I will tell you how. Well, here's the thing. Is there going to have what's happening in chat, Adam? Um. You better get Nate in trouble. You have to have the code. So they set a code. Um, I thought you meant like you set it up, which you didn't. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, I thought you meant you set it up and you couldn't remember where it was at. But if you don't have the code, you can't do anything about it. I guess you could go tell them you've been good and you'll do chores or something. And maybe they'll take it off. So you mix your bowl when we going around or feeling all loose and stuff like that. But really cool product. And I really do highly recommend this product. And I think it's one of the best stand mixers that I have used. And as you can see... And that's how it twirls really simple to use the speeds are up to six and it, and it comes in that glossy look for your needs if you like the gray color amazing kitchen stand mixer by chef lee i do highly recommend this product and my name is demetrius thank you all right so if you guys need a new stand up mixer uh check out that one from chef lee right now that is 60 big ones off it's 6.5 quart comes with everything you guys need um, Adam looks like he got, <laughs> congratulations, Adam, go forth and prosper. Um, good luck. That's all I'm going to say. Good luck. Uh, $60 off on that Chef Lee stand mixer. We're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream. We're going to take a look at this anchor 521 USB C power strip. Uh, anchor is freaking awesome. And this thing is super cool. Really nice. Super fast charging too. Dude, what is going on? I'm getting attacked. Sharon Triano. Thank you for the follow. Love you long time. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this Anchor 521 Power Strip. Now, if you guys have been around the stream or you guys have seen any of my videos before, you guys know that I am a big fan of Anchor. And the 521 Power Strip is definitely something that you guys need to check out. Okay, Adam, now I have a question. What will what will you do with your newfound access on your Android phone? What is it that you will do? So let's go ahead and take a look. Maybe actually don't maybe don't an, maybe don't answer that. Look at the front here. And you guys can see that right here on the front you're going to have two USB 3.0s and a USB C charging port right there. And then on top you guys can see that classic anchor branding. And honestly, I really like the design of this. On the bottom, you guys can see you kind of had these anti-movement paddings that will allow you to basically put this on your desk and not worry about budging around or moving too much when you're plugging stuff in. Did you, was my voice waving for you guys just now? Listen right here, this little chain of voice. Was it going like up and down? Paddings that will allow you to basically put this on your desk and not worry about budging around or moving too it much when you're is. plugging what stuff in or taking stuff out. Jumping to the back, you guys can see that you have three standard AC outlets on the back, which is really awesome that you're basically able to power up to six different devices. So three on the standard AC, two USB threes, and a USB-C. And this is a... Is that what that is? Attenuation? Okay. I didn't know that. So I, I, I got out of its scope of that polar pickup. Okay. Makes sense. Surge protector. And the, the craziest thing about this is this has a lifetime $25,000 connected equipment warranty. So basically what that means is you could have up to $25,000 worth of connected equipment. I love how Meat Face <laughs> will like, be, <laughs> he'll, like, he'll like be super, super descriptive and very like, uh, he'll have like perfect grammar and then realize, oh yeah, I don't speak like this. Um, me face. <laughs> and if this thing were to fail and Anchor determines that it was the cause of your equipment breaking or getting fried, they will cover that. So $25,000 is crazy to me. And it also has this super long cable, as you guys can see right here. And honestly, one of my favorite things about this is that this does have a braided cable. And if you guys don't know what braided cables are good for, first of all, they are stronger. They protect the internal wiring more and they are less likely to tangle up whenever you guys are packing this away or taking it out or plugging it in or anything like that. So like I said in the beginning of the video, Anchor makes really great products and the Anchor 521 Power Strip does not fall short of their quality standards. This thing is super awesome and honestly at the price point that it's at, being able to protect up to $25,000 is an absolute steal. So if you guys have been looking for an awesome new travel friendly Power Strip, definitely check out the 521 from Anchor and I'll see you on the next video. So you guys do definitely need to check that out, but oh, uh, guess what? We're giving one of those away. Uh, so if you guys want one, uh, you guys have a chance to win one right now. I'm going to drop a link in the chat one more time, and I'm going to start a timer. 
I'm going to start a timer right now for one minute. And then after one minute, go ahead and make sure that you guys are entered. If you're already entered, go ahead and type ready just so I know that you guys are ready. And the timer will be started now. So if you guys, I'm giving you guys one minute to enter. If you guys are new here, dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. You do have to be a U.S. resident to win this one uh, just because we can't ship it outside of the continental United States. I love liver and sardines. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm not drawing. Listen, I'm not drawing this until you guys type this in the chat. Listen, chat. Here we go. Waiting for the next gift card. Here we go. You guys are saying ready, but you guys, I will not draw until you guys type this. Cletus, get in the truck. We're going to hunt mailboxes. I can't believe, <laughs> I can't believe you guys are doing this. What's going on? Oh, the timer. You guys will do anything, man. <laughs> man, I wish I wish you guys know like sometimes we'll hop up to like two, three, four, five hundred viewers. I wish that would have happened when you guys were typing that. That would have been hilarious. Someone has hacked the feed. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and draw now. Uh. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and draw now. That's awesome. All right, so let me load up our little. Are you sure you're not a hillbilly? Damn it, Cletus, get in the truck. I'm glad somebody has like has seen that before. I think it's a TikTok or a Vine or something along those lines. Damn it, Cletus, get in the truck. He wants you to show animals. Okay, I will after this. I'm waiting for the competition to the competition drawing to. All right, here we go. So the winner of drum roll, please. The winner of the Anchor USB C 521 super awesome power strip is going to be. Angelo B. Angelo B. Are you in the chat? Angelo B. I need to know if you're here, man. I need to know if you're here. You need one minute. Angelo is here. Angelo, is that you? Did you say, yo, he's here. Angelo, congratulations. Listen, chat, don't go away. If you guys didn't win, that's Angelo A, not Angelo B. Sorry, invalid. Get, you're kicked. You're out of chat. Congratulations, Angelo, on the winning. Angelo, the winner of Anchor. There we go. All right, so congratulations, Anchor. I mean, anger congratulations angelo on winning that super awesome uh don't leave we still have other stuff uh we're giving away during today's stream a lot of awesome stuff still so congratulations we're gonna switch over to the next product in today's stream my friends and we're gonna take a look at this toppin steam mop i think it's pretty cool coo 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 choo i'm gonna eat a donut and possibly maybe which, honestly, I had no idea Amazon had any sort of streaming on the Amazon site. Yeah, a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't, but we're here. And we're ready to party. It's 4th of July. Happy 4th, everyone. Absolutely beastly steam up. That I All right, here we go. You want to... Oh, yeah, I forgot. He wants to see doggos. Sorry, guys. We got to take a pause. Ninja, come here, buddy. He's really tired. Now he's like... He doesn't want to come up here. Come here, Ninja. 
Come on, Ninja. Get up here. Ninja, come here. Come here, Ninja. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's making his way up here. Okay, get up here. Get up here. There we go. Here's animals. This is Ninja. He gives hugs. You guys can see how tired he is. So this is Ninja. This is our big old fat boy. He's a good boy. Kisses? Thank you. See, all I have to do is say kisses, and he's all done. Uh, let me wipe off the dog kisses. He is trying to kiss the screen. Yeah, he is uh, the tricoat. Uh, I have another one, and I think I see her booty right outside of the door. All right, I'm gonna mute myself because I don't want to. I don't want to like deafen you guys by yelling her name. All right, so here's Dixie. This is our other mini Australian Shepherd, uh, the only girl we have. So this is Dixie. She is the sweetest one out of all of them. You guys can see right here. This is her. She's a little bit scared. She's she's camera shy, but she's a sweet girl. She's so nice. She is so nice, huh? Oh, so nice kisses. Oh, thank you. That is Dixie. And the other one won't. Um, oh, that's awesome. I'm glad he was able to see them. Hers is fluffy. Hers is a fluffy girl. Uh, I can't call the other one because he doesn't like me. Um, he only likes his mom and like select people. Um, and also he's just scared. So he won't come to me unless she's in here as well. You guys can see her dog hair floating around. Anyways, back onto the top and steam up. Absolutely beastly steam mop that I have right here. This is made by Toppin or Topin. I don't know how you say it, but close enough. So this is exactly how it sounds. This is a steam mop. There are some really cool features that I want to show you guys. So I'll try to run through them as quickly as possible. This thing is absolutely awesome. So we'll just kind of start from the bottom and work our way up. So on the bottom here, you have this little green trim piece around it. And what this actually does, <laughs> yoinks, it reminded me of Scooby-Doo, which I don't think he says yoinks, but when he says like, zoink, Scoob, let's get out of here. That didn't sound like, <laughs> that didn't sound like Shaggy at all from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> zoink, Scoob, let's get out of here. I don't know how to do it. Okay, you know what, you do it, okay. Because this allows you to use this steam mop on carpet. So basically what this does is just super smooth plastic. So this is going to allow it, allow it to slide across carpet because this is gonna kind of sit recessed on the inside of it. And this is super smooth. So as you guys can see here, donut time. It's just moving around the carpet with absolutely zero, zero issues. This one freaking fruit. Plant. So now if you wanna to switch to hardwood, ceramic, tile, whatever it is, all you have to do to be able to do that is just basically pop this off and now you're ready to go straight to your hardwood or your tile or anything like that. All right, here's a quick challenge. Fourth of July challenge. I have one whole hazelnut or maple or whatever it is donut. You guys in chat right now, tell me right now how many bites I have to complete this donut. How many bites? I'm waiting for a number. I'm going to wait until I see three numbers of the same. Okay, so three. So three bytes. Three is the is the no normal number. So I'm going to go to the small screen. Two byte brown brownie, baby. So we got, we. I'm seeing a lot of threes. I'm seeing six, three. There's a lot of threes. We got to do it in three. All right. So I'm going to go back to the videos tab first. Looks like three is the magic number. So. This does have a little locking mechanism right here. <laughs> 1,000, like. So when you're storing it, it just pops in, pops out. These are actually removable, super easy. Just little Velcro and these little patterns right around here. It comes with two of these, so that's pretty cool that they included that. And all you have to do to put it back on is just simply line it up with that. I didn't do it too good of a job, so we're just gonna go ahead and take that off. Right here is where the water infill goes. Super simple, all you have to do is just twist this, fill it up with water, turn it back on, and that's all you have to do. 
Now, this little knob right here is going to increase too. the amount of steam. Moving on forward, you have your power switch right here, nothing special. And then you're going to have a handle, which this is absolutely awesome. I can't wait to show you guys this. But this little handle right here is going to come in handy. You have your cable wind up all the way throughout here. And then this is completely adjustable. So if you know, you're shorter or taller, all you have to do is just push this in and adjust like that. I mean, that's literally all you have to do is push that in. Super simple to do that. You have your hand. Call 911. I am a glutton. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, my friends. Well, obviously living a healthy life is important. I'm not saying you don't have to live a healthy life, but I'm also saying, uh, okay, so I'm not saying go out there and only eat cheeseburgers for every meal for the rest of your day, because then you'll just be miserable. But here's the truth, and I don't want to sound negative, but we're all... Every one of us, this is going to sound negative. I don't want to sound pessimistic. We're all going to leave this earth one day. Enjoy your food. Handle up here, the other portion of your kind of wire hang up or tie up right there. So now getting on to the coolest portion of this, what we're going to do now is completely break this thing. Adam, I don't, Adam, I'm not sure because every time I try to download something on my Android 11, I have to ask every time when I want to download something. I can't help you with that. That's between you and your parents, my friend. I'm kidding, we're not gonna break it. This is a little bit difficult, but here on the bottom, you can actually detach the mop head itself. And then here, you can detach the handle. So now what this is going to do is this machine actually comes into a handheld steamer. You get a ton, and I mean a ton of attachments. You get scrapers, you get high pressure nozzles, and this thing gets super hot. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Let me get it plugged in and I'll show you what it looks like when we're working with it. All right, there we go. Is it working? So super long cord, by the way. I mean like it super working. long, probably I'd say 23 foot power cord, yeah. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. Reverse it. And when you turn it on. Yeah. Let's 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 let cool current Hawaiian shirt Nate talk about this. Let me let me go ahead and narrate what I think past Nate was talking about. As you guys can see right here, this thing is like so steamy, dude. It's like probably the steamiest thing you've ever seen. Uh, I turned it on and ouch, dude! It's hot, man. What the heck? Ow! Oh my gosh, chat. Why did you guys let me do that? All right, let's go ahead. Oh, look at that. There's so much steam. There's so much steam, chat. Oh, ow. Look, look. Why do I did it again? Ow. Why, why do I keep doing it? Why don't you get your hand out of there, Nate? What if you, what if you didn't do that? That's an option. I had the option to just not do what that was. I had that option. Totally. 100%. Could, could have just removed my hand. Nope. All jokes aside, definitely check out that top and steam mop. It works superly duperly well. Um, I just wanted to thank you guys for contributing to uh, my baby's life, basically. Uh, it's super awesome. So thank you guys to to those of you that have done that. That is really awesome. Um, links are in chat right now. So there's a link in chat for... Uh, the giveaways that we're doing today. If you've already entered, you guys have already heard me say this a hundred times today. You don't have to get entered again. But if you're not entered and you're new here, go to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live to check uh, to check out how to get entered. We only need your social security number. We only need your earned income uh, address, date of birth, um, and a copy of your birth certificate. That's all we need to get entered. So really low stakes situation. Uh, not a lot to it. All jokes aside, it's pretty simple to get set up. Check out that top and steam up. Uh, how much is it? Let me see. $89.99 with a 20% off clickable coupon, which is pretty cool. You guys save around like 18 bucks or 17 bucks or something like that. I will report now. <laughs> um, switching over to the next product in today's stream, we're going to take a look at this uh, Bestier L-shaped desk. 
I was going to say gaming desk. Notice how I refrain from that. Because while they do uh, market this as a gaming desk, the only thing that makes this a... Uh, the only thing that makes this a gaming desk is the fact that it has RGB on it. Other than that, there's no tell that it has... That it's a gaming desk. Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I am super excited to showcase to you guys the Gryo Gaming Desk by Bestier. This thing looks super awesome online. Yeah, TENS unit is super awesome. It's basically something that it uses, a, 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 I mean, electricity. I, I don't want to say, like, it doesn't shoot pure electricity, but it uses, like, electrodes to stimulate the muscles. So let's go ahead and hop in. You have to be vaccinated to enter for prizes. <laughs> oh, I don't want to get political. Uh, but no, you you definitely don't have to be vaccinated. Although it does seem like you... I think if you're making the joke, it does seem like you have to be vaccinated to do almost anything. You have to... Like some states are... I don't know. You guys let me know. You don't have to say where you live. But do you guys have to show a vaccination card to go to restaurants where you live? And we'll get it built, set up, and we'll see what this thing's about. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and start getting this thing built up. There's quite a few pieces, as you can see there, so let's jump in and get it done. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab one of these leg frames, and you're going to line it up with this little back support bracket, and you're just going to screw it in. It's pretty easy. All you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver, and when you're done, this is what it's going to look like. I'm happy to hear no. It was required to continue employment. See, I'm happy to hear no. Now, while I am politically, I don't, I don't, I don't fall on either side. I'm more of like, what is it called? Independent. I think the whole having to show like a vaccination card to go places. And I'm not even like a conspiracy theorist or anything, chat. But like having to show a card to go eat at a restaurant in some places, that's very like New World Order-ish. You know what I mean? That's very, I don't like that. That's very infringing. It's, it's, it's weird. And then what you want to do after you get one of these set up is you're going to go ahead and jump over to the next one. It will come with... Okay, so they did try it. Okay, so it didn't work. Okay, that's that's good. If it didn't work, there's a reason it didn't work is because uh, it was basically, hey, do you want to go to restaurants? Well, you have to do what we said you have to do. Included screws that will tell you which... Okay, we can't talk about it anymore, chat. We got in trouble. Which screw goes where, so that's not an issue. And then once you're done, you'll see that you have these set up just like that. All right, and continuing on, what you're going to do now is you're going to grab one of these cross support bars. What these cross support we got it, it it's it's so hit and miss. It's so hit and miss what we can get flagged and banned for. I'm not kidding. Like you you, you guys you guys don't see the back end of it. It can be anything, anything that we can get taken down for. The port bars are going to do is they're going to allow a flat surface for the actual tabletop to lie on. It will come with screws like I showed you earlier, so just go ahead and grab the right screws and get it screwed in. One thing you want to make sure when you're screwing this in is you want these holes facing up. If you don't have those... Yeah, so like Justin said, kind of echoing that, it isn't about the influencer. Um, Adam, what... <laughs> It isn't about the influencer. Well, I'm going to get to you, Adam, here in a second. Um, uh, yeah, they, they, they just want you to sell the stuff. They just want you to sell the stuff. This is income for Amazon, which I completely understand. That's what QVC was. That's what HSN was. But Adam, listen, man, what are you trying to do? What's the next thing that you're going to ask after that question? So Adam first asked if I can rap. So that was like his that was his foot in the door to asking a, asking a question. <laughs> and then, no, you're fine. You're fine, Traveler. It's completely fine. Um, then it was, do you guys know how to remove a password? And then now it's, do any of you guys know how to hack? Hack is a very broad term, by the way, my friend. Uh, so the next question is, do you guys know how to hack into the mainframe of the Pentagon? Like, wh where does this go, Adam? What are you trying to do? Just spill the beans now. What is your end game? <laughs> up then you're going to run into issues later for now right here on the other side you're going to leave those unhooked and now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this little half oval triangle you guys we're watching 
we're watching like an origin like this is this is happening right now this is like a uh <laughs> this is um this is like an origin story right now we'll shape bracket thing and we're going Live to line them up with the holes on the unscrewed side that we just did because what this is going to do is it's going to allow it to penetrate through that little triangle frame and when you're done with that this is what it should look like and one thing you want to make sure that I did wrong is make sure those little feet that are sticking out are on the bottom and not the top of that little triangle frame. So now we're ready to go ahead and get the wood tabletop pieces and we're going to go ahead and put those on the table that we just built. So once you get those lined up, make sure that the holes are facing down because that's what we're going to screw into to align it with the frame. And you want to make sure you have no gaps whenever you're putting it. Yeah, Busy, you're fine. I can see you on top of the frame otherwise you'll just run into issues tightening them later those longer screws you just saw are going to go on the long sections and these short little screws are going to screw into the little triangle section right here and then once you have those all screwed in we're getting real close and we're almost done so one thing that we're going to do now is we're going to install a little cup holder and the headset stand right here this also comes with included screws and what you want to do is just find the holes on the left side of the table and then go ahead and screw it in and once you've got those screwed in, you're going to see right here that it's very stable. And I think it adds a nice feature to it. So we found a good spot for it. So, Adam, um, all jokes aside, we really can't, we really can't do that, man. Um, but yeah, no, we can't, we can't do that for you. Uh, and I, I'm just going to ask you to just stop asking if we can hack your iPhone. Um, I don't want that to set off any weird triggers to Amazon. So let's go ahead and come back here in a second and I'll show you guys what it looks like. And as you can see here, we got everything set up and right off of the bat, guys, honestly, this desk looks really, really awesome. I really love the wood grain texture on this. I really like the RGB LED under lights that kind of light it up and add a nice little ambience to the desk. I think it looks really clean, really simplistic, but modern at the same time. You missed... Um two products ago you missed the anchor usb-c power strip that was the last one we did uh, we have one coming up soon again as you can see here the cup holder works awesome it doesn't quite fit these little round cups that you might see everywhere but it works pretty cool nonetheless and then your headset stand right there is just a nice added addition we'll hop back over to the wood grain texture just so you can get an up close shot of what it looks like i think it looks really nice and this is a gaming desk, so what would a review be if I didn't turn off the lights and show you the RGB? The RGB pattern that comes with this comes with a bunch of different modes, and I think this thing looks really awesome. This desk has been sturdy. It's been really easy to build. It's been easy to operate out of, and I highly recommend it. So if you guys want to check this thing out, like I said just now, I highly recommend it. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and get back to my gaming session, and I will see you guys on the next video. See you guys later. Yep. All right. So if you guys need a new desk, that best year L-shaped gaming desk gaming, that could be a desk for anything. It held up super well. I had zero problems with it. I just needed a bigger desk for doing what I'm doing right now. Uh, so definitely check that out. We're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream. And we're going to take a look at this Fruit Team 9-foot offset patio umbrella. So $60 right now. And this thing is huge. It's huge. Uh, it's $10 off right now on sale. And I will load up that video for you guys. James J. Peters, welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, thank you. We are doing well. Do you give away PC? I'm just asking. Uh, no, we don't. I mean, maybe one day, but not right now. Maybe one day. When we're that big. PCs aren't, PCs are not cheap. They're not cheap, but we just keep growing and growing. We'll see. Hey guys, I'm here. Sorry, it's a little bit darker. It's been raining on and off for the past couple of days, and this is the, the chance that we got to film this. So I was jumping on. Thank you. Having Hawaiian shirt envy. As you should, but hold on. My, my camera's frozen. Camera is super, super, super frozen. So let me see if I can get this working again. Come on, hold on. We're gonna get it. I think I know what to do. There we go. No, so it's... It's triggered by something, Justin. 
I don't think thinking about it now, it's not, it doesn't just happen randomly. I noticed the only, like if I sit here and just talk, it will not freeze. I could talk for hours and hours and hours. It's triggered whenever I do something like I'm clicking something and I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh. Hiccups. There's a donut comeback. On it while we can. So I'm going to be showing you guys this awesome outdoor umbrella here. It's a large umbrella. So this is actually one of the kinds that will hang over. I just don't. Maybe I maybe I would like OBS. Maybe let, let me just go back to OBS and then figure figure it out again. If you look right behind you, we have one of the traditional style that just sits in the stand right underneath. This one's really nice because you don't have to have it like in the middle of your table. It will hang over your table if you so wish. We chose to put it over the fire pit, obviously not when the fire is going, but because, you know, we're not using the fire pit all the time and it's nice to have shade. So, this bad boy is super easy to set up. There are only four screws that you have to install. All of those are located right down there in these panels. Everything else is essentially put together other than just slipping some, some poles in one another, but it was super easy to set up. Took about like 20, 25 minutes to set up the whole thing, and that includes filling these bases with water. These bases are filled with, it is 14 liters of water, or you can fill it with sand. We would honestly prefer to fill ours with sand, but we were ill-prepared for our new uh, umbrella. So that's the nice part about it is you can fill it with water until you get sand if that's the, the method that you choose, or you can just stick with water. That's also perfectly fine, but if you're going with the sand option, um, it's 44 pounds of sand will go into your base. So if you're looking to purchase this, go ahead and get yourself some sand to go with it because you're gonna need it. All right, so it came with a super easy instruction manual, but I'll go ahead and talk you through how to use this. So you're gonna, this little safety right here, you're gonna pop it up. And this is gonna make this whole mechanism mobile. After popping it up, you are going to, oh, nope, you're supposed to lift it up. It's too heavy for me. There we go. So lift it up. You wanna lock it back down before you actually move the umbrella out. Next, you can lift up this arm here till it's flat, and then you're going to slide this little safety device down to hold it in place. So now your umbrella is hanging over the surface that you wouldn't want it to hang over, be it your, your fire pit here. Obviously not when it's lit, not when it's lit. Don't have your fire pit lit when you have your umbrella on top of it, or if it's over a table, anything like that. And then you're just going to crank it. Oh, there we go. A nice about a little like further, a little more. I know. There we go. There we go. The nice part about an umbrella like this is it does take up a little less room than like the traditional umbrella that we have over there. It's super nice because you don't have the pole in the middle of the umbrella. So you don't have to worry about that. It can just hang over you while you guys are all chilling, keep you safe from the sun, all that good stuff. This is super nice if you live in an area that has a lot of sun and you're looking for something super classy to add to your patio. This is super nice. My parents have an umbrella like this, so I'm super excited that we got one as well because it's always a good um, conversation starter at a party because people are- I was just very still, and that's really rare, by the way. Sorry. Whenever I, <laughs> whenever I'm focusing on something, I can't, like I have to focus super, super hard. Um. Yeah, super is word of the day for me today. Um, I have to focus very hard on what I'm doing, otherwise my brain will run amok. People are always super impressed with your cool umbrella. So this isn't the typical kind of umbrella you see. It's a super nice quality. It's super sturdy, so you don't have to worry about the wind knocking it over or anything like that. And its panels keep it nice and rooted to the ground. So if you're looking for an awesome addition to your patio, look no further. This is an amazing thing to add. Yeah, don't light your fire pit. All right, so if you guys need a pretty cool uh, offset patio umbrella, that one's $60 right now, nine feet, and it looks like it's really well made for $60. It's a great deal. Way too many steps just to open an umbrella. Well, it has to be, th it has to be that way, though. Um, it has to be that way, though, Diva, because of the way it sits over. It doesn't, like, it's not one that you just push up like that. Um, it has to be that way. Mm-hmm. But anyway, switching over to... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Calm down, Nate. All right, gift card time. It's gift card time. Let me get some ready in the chat. Let me get some readies in the chat for another gift card. Bada 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 la 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 la
Where's Cletus? I'm not going to make you guys do it this time. My hair is still stuck in the toaster. <laughs> you guys don't have to do it this time. Um, so to Ed, Siren, Evans, and Gina, I sent you guys all an email. Um, so please respond back to me with your address, your shipping info. Uh, just make sure that when you reply, because I sent it as a group email, make sure you don't reply with your address to everyone. I don't think it will, but just make sure you're only sending it back to Nate at dragonblogger.com. Um, and I'll get you guys uh, a token of my gratitude. Oh, don't say that, Wouter. That's rough. No, I didn't forget. I already have your address, Allie. I don't need it. I already have it. That was just that was just a an email sending out to them so I could get uh, their address. I have all of your addresses, all of them. Okay, and you guys are ready, so we're going to go ahead and load up the page, and we are going to do the Amazon gift card now. See, okay, now my camera froze again. I know how to fix it. There we go. All right, so the winner for... The Amazon gift card next is going to be Tobias K. Tobias K, you are the winner. Tobias K. Are you in the building? <laughs> Blake said, damn it. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, Blake. Just keep keep going. We still have more. We 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 still have more. Congratulations, Tobias. Uh, I don't know if Justin is watching, but I sent him the gift card winner, so he will reach out to you and get get that out to you. Uh, congratulations. But listen, we're not done. Still, we're still not done. We will never be done. Look, we're coming up on four hours already. It does not feel like that. It doesn't feel like four hours. At all. Um, I think we might be able to get right to six hours because looking at like what I'm what I'm having left and how I'm pacing, I think we'll get right to six hours with this stream. Uh, but we're gonna switch over to the next product and it does I bet it does feel like ten hours. What are you guys gonna think about? It? I'm sitting here talking the whole time. You guys are just listening, my voice is getting sore. Um congrats, Tobias. Taking a look at the next product, we're gonna take a look at this. Eva Joy, Eva Joy, uh, inflatable pool. Right now, this is twenty big ones off. Think about all the stuff. Think about all the stuff you could buy for twenty dollars on Amazon with these incredible savings. Black screen. I. <laughs> it, <laughs> It's a black screen because where so on my on my software I have to paste the link to the video and I just pasted Tobias K there. Imagine it like pulls up all of his like a picture of him and all that. Hey everyone, my name is Demetrius. I'm gonna be showing you guys this rectangle pool made by Eva Joy. I'm gonna step away for one second. This product weighs about twelve pounds. It has two drain plugs on the same side, whichever side you want to put it, right or left. Depends on how you put it, and it has three chambers of where you can air it up at. As I'm going to show you how to do that, simply as easy. Each chamber will take about 60 seconds if you have an air compressor. And uh, the pool holds up to 162 gallons of water, and it's about 50% thicker than majority of other pools that you will see. As you can see later on in the video, I'm going to have my dogs jump inside of it and play a little bit and show you guys. And uh, the dimensions on that is 92 inches long, and the width is about 56. And then you have the height is 20, as you can see right here. And like I said, it has those three chambers of where you can air it up at. It's all on one side. Really easy. It takes about maybe two minutes. And here it is outside. I'm going to start filling it up for you guys. Oh, and like I said, it has those two drain plugs. Whenever you're done using it and you just want to pack it away, 
and you can just simply just open those up. So here's my dog playing in it right here. He's a big boy. He's about 90 pounds, and this pool is it holds up. It can hold up to like one adult, and you can also have like kids in there. And it's either Ann Bassell or Ann Busel. Uh, well, it's twenty dollars off right now, so your doggy can get it. If they want to play, you can they can play with sand inside there also, and all that. And uh, my dog's having a good time. And again, this pool is made by Eva Joy. And thank you for watching. All right, so if you guys need a awesome inflatable pool for whatever reason, dogs not included, definitely check out that one from Eva Joy. That is sixty nine ninety nine right now, my friends. It's one hundred eighteen by seventy two by twenty inches, so lots of room. Um, don't go diving in this thing though. Don't go diving because then that's when bad stuff will happen. I realized that in order to keep me bright, I have to sit on, I mean, the side of the screen that I'm on. Because if I go this way, it tries to focus in on the light. That's what's going on. We've cracked the code. We've cracked the code. Anyways, yeah, definitely check out that Eva Joe pool. So continuing on, we're going to take a look at this. I don't know. Cat Dan. Cat Dan's 24 inch saddle style uh, stools. 140 bucks right now. That is a cute spot to stop. 140 bucks. Let me see. 24 inches. They look super comfortable. Bustle. It's the E at the end. It's the E at the... Oh, no, there there isn't any. <clears throat> there isn't an E at the end. All right, anyways. Continuing on. Cat Dan's. 24. So these are 24 inches. There you go. Hello, everyone. My name is Demetrius, and I'm going to be showing you guys this bar of stools that came in a set of two, and it's a counter height stool. It came in a 24 inch saddle and it came in that black leather for your kitchen if you're needing it. So with this right here, that's the top leather part. I'm going to show you guys unboxing this part. Really, really smooth leather. And uh, the dimension is what a window. This. That. That. Which is on that. It's 12.5. Uh, Meat face, don't you ever talk normal again. You better go back right now to speaking like you do. On the depth, times 18.5 by the width, and then you have the height of 24 inches tall. So with this leather right here, it has that fox leather, really smooth, really clean looking leather, and barely, you can never honestly get a scratch on this leather right here. It has that unique leather by fox. What? What are you asking is a window, Rover? That's that's a light box right there. That's a light box. That's a projector screen. That's a window covered by a blackout curtain in my tapestry. This product is made by Cat Dens and really, really easy to install, which I'm going to show you guys how to install this. So install. you have the two side pieces right there, and then you have the pieces that connect together which I'm going to show you. And there's the instructions right there that I'm going to jump right in and I'm going to show you guys how to put it together. So with that, you would just grab all these little pole pieces that I had in the middle. I had four pieces total for one bar stool. So with that, you know, you put them in there, put all the little screws. You have a total of eight screws, as you can see. Um, in the instructions, it tells you not to tighten the screws all the way so you so you, you'll you be able to wig, have a little bit of wiggle room on there so with that easy really easy install installation right there and then you have the wood pieces right here which the four screws left over the little small screws which you're screwing to the wood so you simply just, you just flip it over get a screw gun screw in four screws and boom there you have it really simple really easy and i do highly recommend this seat this bar stool and everything about it it's really really awesome and it has like i said it has that fox leather which is really really smooth and really clean
faux leather is the word he was looking for. This, this thing is not that intricate. It does not have fox leather. So, Demetrius, if you're watching, faux leather. I mean, look, and it, like I said, it does come in two. Something is burning. Hold on. Hold on, chat. I'm trying to focus. Something is burning. My, well, my wife's in the kitchen, so I think she's got it under control. A set of two when you buy these, and there are... No, no, my I, my wife's in the kitchen, like, doing something. Wait, is that, is that a sign of a stroke? When people, uh, they smell something burning? Counter height, and they're not bar I height. I know that, that's crazy. Really, really cool. And again, two bar stools, a set of two. And like I said, I highly recommend this product. Really awesome leather and a great product, product overall. And my name is Demetrius, and thank you for watching. All right, so if you guys need some new bar stools, definitely check out those ones um, from Cat Dan. Definitely check out those ones from Cat Dan. But listen, we have been going for four hours, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, I've been holding it in. So let me see. Okay, so the next video is mine. Okay, so yeah, we're going to take a quick bio break. Normally, I would just um play a video or not normally but i would just play a video but for today what we're going to do is switch over to the be right back screen so if you guys have been here for a while if you guys haven't gotten up in a while either if you guys are watching get up walk around get some blood flowing i can eat a whole meal <laughs> you're not lying especially with how fast i eat um but yeah get up walk around a little bit guys go get some water uh, wash your face, brush your teeth, your nasties, if you haven't done that yet, if you're still in bed. Um, and I'll see you guys back here in about two to three minutes. All right, we're back. So like I said before, definitely check out those really awesome uh, counter stools, uh, counter height stools. So really nice, um, 140 bucks to get two really well-made bar stools. Um, oh, I didn't, I actually didn't even go use the restroom. I, first of all, I went to go check and see what, uh, I went to uh, go see, I right, offer a bit, be well friends. I right, see you later, Bacon. No, I went to go see what was burning. 
Uh, my wife is boiling water, and apparently the bottom of the pot probably had like chemicals or something on it. Um, and then appreciate your lights on USA mode. Thank you. I appreciate that. See the the background starting to come together a little bit, guys. So I put the desk that was right over there behind me so I could showcase some of the products that are coming. Um, then the the razor chair is looking really good. Uh, those are green co shells right there. Those look really nice, even though I did a terrible job installing them. They're super slanted, like they're not supposed to be. Uh, and then I got this Hunt Hawk GVCN, GBVZN, whatever the name of the company is, shelf right there. You guys are seeing some other products back here. I got the screen, which I want to keep it because I want to incorporate something somehow, but I just don't have the types of projectors that mount on the ceiling, which is kind of where I'm getting limited to now. Um, and then other than that, no, the stream, it's starting to come together. I think it's starting to look pretty clean. But anyways, switch over to the next product in today's stream. I think this was a James here video. I read it wrong. Look like a young Ben Heck. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You let me know, Blake. We're going to take a look at these Syncom knee massagers. James here. You ever just have knee pain and you don't know what to do about it? You don't want to go to the office and spend a whole bunch of money about, you know, just getting rid of it? Or you don't want to use just a normal heating pad? Well, today we have an option from you, and that is from Syncom. This is actually their heated knee. See, I didn't know this was, I thought this was mine. Um, I thought this was my video of the Quinier knee massager, because when I first looked at it, it kind of looked like it. But I should have known better. If I would have known this was a James here video, I would have just let this play for you guys. And while this is um playing, I'm going to try to set up this American flag. Knee massager. This is actually pretty cool. It has dual knees. It'll heat up. has several modes, guys. This has uh, several modes. It's got se sequential circulation and combination of both. It also has high heat, low heat, and intensity mid uh, I believe minimal, mid, and max. So, pretty cool. On here, it kind of shows you guys on the side right here how to strap it up, unfold the wrap, fix the th thigh part, fix the calf part, and then adjust the tightness. So, it shows you how to do it. It shows you two new knee massaging wraps, an adapter, a mesh bag, and a user manual. But we're going to actually pull that out and kind of show this to you. <clears throat> I, I apologize have, about the cough, guys. You know, pretty simple, pretty easy right here. But we're going to change views so you guys will see a little lower so you guys will see more. But we'll get to that in a second. Use your manual. Simple. You know, we just talked about it over here in the kit on the side. It's just an empty little box. So that means down below, these little boxes, is going to be your carrying case, which is kind of cool. We have a nice little stretch carrying case this can be used for more than uh, other things but a great option so you don't have to keep the original box to you know put it away at stuff like that then we have the charging or the power situation this is just gonna be a normal power brick guys I'm gonna throw it aside the box and the wrapper just a normal power brick with dual plugs so you will have to plug in both knees so remember guys don't get this wet it's electric, so show us a little heads up. Then we have one knee pad, two knee pads, right? I'm going to set the box aside. We're going to grab one knee pad. And this is kind of cool because now that I'm looking at this, both knee pads actually have the controller. So you have a power, you have a mode, you have a heat, and you have an intensity, which means you can probably just run one at a time. We're going to test that out. Kind of cool. So, to pull it out, guys, on Velcro it, right? Pull it out. You know, you have the machine right there. It's actually a nice little bulky thing. Then you have the strap that comes out and around. Nice, decent sized. You know, should fit our knees well. You have two of those. We're not really going to pull both of them out. But I am going to show you guys something. They are labeled, so... They do and go in order. This is your left leg, and then it says right on the right leg. Now, I'm going to actually change views. We're going to 
change the camera view down to my knee so you can actually see me put this on and we're gonna test this out so if you guys give me a second let's change views okay now that you guys got a different view we're gonna grab as I drop the pad we're gonna grab the left knee one guys right so you gotta pull it up just like this they say strap it around get that one first then pull this down around the knee and strap it around your leg as you guys can see it fits mine well we're just gonna do one we're gonna grab the plug right here right oh she's got the dual knee upgrade she's got the dual knee dual knee upgrade plug it in we're gonna hit power <laughs> power instantly comes on as you guys can see which is cool it's actually facing you and I actually like that so now it's going it's actually airing up kind of cool so we're going to click the intensity up to the next level we're going to go max intensity and we're going to turn the heat on a high too and we're going to let it go it's actually kind of cool that i can actually feel that and it feels like you know blood pressure cuff pumping up then stopping going stopping going deflating up and down so i'm going to change modes we'll go to the sequential and see what the sequential does Oh, I thought it froze for a That's second. That's actually okay, kind of cool. So it goes and stops. Now it's inflating the top, also around the top, which is very, very cool. Stops. Deflates. So it's like a gentle massage. That is actually very awesome. Does not feel bad. So now it's going down at the bottom, right? Bottom's airing up right here. Now the top should start coming in a second. Yes, then you're all good. The anonymous Here goes the top. You guys can see it Unless it was, and you're just testing Very it Very cool. I'm going to jump up the intensity. We're going to go max intensity on this. Betty Bell, thank you for the follow. Let's I appreciate this. it. Max intensity, max heat. Oh, that feels a lot better. I kind of like the max intensity. Now the top is going great. feels great works well the heat is not too intense but it's just just right guys it's kind of uh weird to say it's just right it's not super super jennifer lude okay if you purchase something off of the registry justin will get your email and i will get you um something custom laser engraved hot but perfectly well we're gonna change modes thank once you, and it, thank you so much i mean you guys, you guys don't have to, you guys don't have to purchase anything. You really don't, but I appreciate it. And while it might, it might take me a little while to get you the return on the engraving I'll do for you. It it, it will come, I promise. Some more guys, we're What's gonna up, go here. Things? We're gonna go max heat, max intensity, max everything. See what it can do. I like that. Again, stop, go, stop, go. Drops. Now it's going to do both, I believe. Now the top's going. So now it's just popping through both modes, which is actually kind of cool. So again, guys, that is the Syncom Knee Massager. This is the CM00 or 066K uh, from Syncom, guys. Nice little tool. Very well done. You have dual knee pads. Easy to work. Thanks for checking out this video, guys, and have a great day. So we don't necessarily have a super, super big giveaway during this stream. Um, we just have a lot of giveaways during this stream. Um, and speaking of giveaways, if you guys need knee massagers, we're giving one of these away right now. giving away one of these. So if you guys have not entered, I will drop a link in the chat for you to get entered. You guys have one minute if you have not entered already. One momento. Ready, please get in the truck. We're going to help me. <laughs> now, uh, Alley Cat, 
I was going to say, Allie, you already won one of these. So theoretically, you would win again if we pulled your name. But um, if I do pull you, I'm just going to go to someone else since you already won one of these, you know. I think that would be fair. Ed, you're good. Ed, you are good. Everybody type I. I really have to poop, but my grilled cheese is burnt. That's what you ha I really have to poop, but my grilled cheese is burned. That's what you have to type. That's what you have to type. <laughs> Why am I the way that I am? You're going to get modded. We won't get modded for that. If we get modded for that, I've lost all hope. All right, so dang, dang nabbit, Cletus, you pooped on my grilled cheese. What is the prize I've just entered? Uh, the Syncom knee massager that is shown on the carousel right now. $90 knee massagers. We're going to go ahead and draw now. And, uh, oh yeah, if you don't type the S word, um, you can't do that, but we're going to go ahead and draw now for the, uh, I hope, I hope whoever really truthfully needs these wins. So here we go. Drum roll, please. The winner. Hold on a second. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, so the winner is Doris M. Doris M, you are the winner. Congratulations, Doris. Congratulations, Doris, on winning. Super awesome. It, 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 it's just the way it goes sometimes, Blake. It's just the way it goes. Doris, are you here? Doris, you, you got to be here, my friend. You have to be here. When do we start with rigged? It's definitely not rigged. <laughs> Recount the votes. Oh, okay. Okay, Doris, you... Okay, sorry. D Doris, I'm sorry. You cannot win the um you cannot win these. It was one physical prize. So we have to redraw. Sorry about that, Doris. We have to redraw. That's a, that's going to be Justin's call. That's going to be Justin's call. If he's here, it seems fair that she chose that she chooses which one to keep. Well, here's the thing is in a way it would also not be fair to the person that should have won this. I should have known that she did it, so that's my fault. That's my fault. So we're gonna go ahead and redraw. So if you guys want to blame someone, blame moi. Okay, so we're gonna redraw now though. And the winner for this is going to be Fano23. Fano23, you are the winner. Is Fano here? Is Fano here? I haven't seen him in chat for a long, long time. I've seen him win stuff. And I've seen him pop in like as he won. But I don't, I can't say that I've seen him. You're from Europe. Look at that. Look at that from Europe. You cannot win that. So we're going to have to we're going to have to redraw again. If he's from Europe, he cannot win it, unfortunately, so we have to redraw. And I'm super sorry. I don't mean that to be I I, I don't want to upset you guys. I really don't. So we're going to redraw again. Here we go. All right, here we go. 
the third winner on today's stream, and I hope that they have an American address, is going to be Larry P. And I haven't seen Larry in chat for a long time, too. Larry P., are you here? We're going to we're going to keep going until we get the winner. Larry P. We're going to keep going chat. Until we get until we get someone that's eligible to win that's here live on stream. <clears throat> yeah, I know I just I know a lot of you guys want to win this stuff and I wish we had enough like Oprah to give you you get one, you get one, you get one. Uh five. I'd say five, Blake, to be honest. Until we finally got until we finally got the person that was eligible to win win. Let me change my name to Larry P. Larry's not here. He has about like twenty seconds left. I have the timer going, so Larry P, if you're here, dude. <laughs> It wouldn't update in time. And he's not here, so we're going to redraw once again. Here we go. Fourth times the charm. Of deep sprays? Uh, I don't think we ever have, to be honest. Here we go. Fourth times the charm. Larry, I am sorry. You are not. You have not claimed. Here we go. Fourth time's the charm. You got to give me a second. Hold on. I'm not going to announce this yet until I make sure that they're able to win. Give me one second. Okay, I don't remember what they won. Donna B, you are the winner. What did you win earlier? I can't remember. Justin is tracking all of this, but Donna B is the winner of this. If you've already won a physical prize chat, listen, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't keep up with all of these giveaways. I'm not the one like actually sending them or tracking them. And I don't have Justin in the chat to bail me out. Don Ab. <clears throat> what did she win earlier? Was it a gift card? <clears throat> Was it a gift card? If it was a gift card, I, I can't go back that far either. Hold on, chat. I'm sorry. I know this is super unprofessional and everything right now. I'm just trying to figure this out. She has to be here to claim anyways. She has to be here to claim, and I don't know. Did she even win a gift card? Call Justin back from the bathroom. Let me actually call, let me let me let me call Justin real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna call him live on stream. She's not even here to she's not even here to claim. It doesn't matter. All right, listen. Show his number. She's not here, so it doesn't matter. This is true, Donna. Donna won the gift card, but here we go. We're drawing again. It has been two minutes now. Fifth time. We're going to get... I'm, I'm telling you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. I know that this is probably annoying to some of you guys. We're going to keep going. But to all the people, it's giving you guys more and more chances. Uh, so let's go. We're drawing again. The fifth re-roll... <laughs> you guys aren't going to believe this. It's Ali Cat B. And I already said that Ali cannot win this because she already won these. You cannot. You cannot. We can't win it. We're, I'm just going to re-roll again. I know Ali's here. We're going again. Six time. We're going again. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, chat. This is not rigged. <laughs> you can't win again. <laughs> 
It's the same product you've already won. Okay, someone is here now. Someone is here now. And the winner replaced. Here we go. I know they're here. Wouter Z. Wouter Z, you have won. I am so sorry, chat. I tried to do I tried to do my best. I don't I don't know how to do this. I tried to do my best to make this as streamlined as possible. Um Another one for the arms. So congratulations, Wouter, Wouter Z, you have won. Justin's gonna get an email with all of these names and not know who won. So I gotta type that to him just to make sure he knows. Congratulations, Wouter, uh, on the Wouter xylophone. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. We still have more giveaways, guys. We still have. We still have three more giveaways in today's stream. Is there a way to take out people who have already won? Um, well, here's the thing is if you've won a gift card, you can also win a physical prize. It's just that one. She wasn't here to claim the physical prize and the other people were ineligible to win. Uh, yes, you can win, Cass. So we still have three more giveaways during this stream, Cass. So what you need to do to get entered is you have to go to dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Now we do have just a little bit before we do the next giveaway. Uh, so you should have time to go ahead and get entered. Uh, we have three more, four more giveaways, actually. Four more giveaways. Um, four more giveaways, and one of them will be a random giveaway from me here in just a little bit. But we're going to continue on so we can get to the next giveaways. Any more Amazon gift cards to give away? We do. I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to tell you guys everything, like the the last three, last four things we're giving away. Serene, you have not been called. Aston, would you have signed up under Aston Kawehi? I'll check. I'll check for you. Okay, I'll check for you. You're keeping us in the dark. What is it? So I don't want to spoil it. Okay, I I'm not going to spoil. Okay, I'll there's three out of the four things I'll tell you guys. Um, so we're doing, we're do we're still doing two custom Dragon Blogger Independence Day inspired, uh, inspired custom laser engravings. We're still doing that. We have two more Amazon gift cards, and I don't want to tell you guys the next thing we're giving away. Sorry. I don't, I, and I'm not doing this just so you stay here and keep watching. But all right. So we're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream. I feel bad. I feel like that could have been done better. A Tesla 3 giveaway. Yeah. We're not unbox therapy, man. Can you imagine? Unbox therapy is the guy when it comes to stuff like that. But we're going to take a look at this beach tent pop-up uh there's this beach pop-up tent. I'll take I'll take a I'll take a tire from um I'll take a tire from a Tesla. I don't care. Oh, I didn't even play it, sorry. Welcome everyone. My name is Demetrius, and I'm gonna be showing you guys this tent, which you have the main part, you have the rods that cross like an X, oh, you have the rope if you need it, and I only use four of those right there. Really easy. And this is made by Fiflo, and I will show you guys shortly how to set it up. So with this one, it has the wow. points, right? The little metal piece rods that you would yeah. put in the ground You're to not. hold up for more space. You have the rods, middle piece. So I'm going to quickly show you guys how to install this right here. Really easy. You have the long poles, which you will snap in together. And then you'll put them on each side like you're making an X. You can see the little inserts right there. You just cross those on the top. This one is, like I said, it's, it says it's really easy to set up. Um, it is a four to five person tent. And it also is the color light blue. It has multiple colors. The open size of this is 102 inches. And it is comfortable. And it is not like any other tent that you can see at the beach. It's really satisfying tent. And it can hold up to a family. It has that uh, UPF uv protection it has a 360 ventilation as you can see the sides and the back has the little opening and then you also have that too to put up 
if you want to catch a little bit of sun. Um, really easy. Like I said, it fits up to four to five people in there. And the windbreak cords are really easy to store in there. And you can also, you know, put a sleeping bag in there either side you want it, long ways or even short ways, which is a really big tent to have a big family in there. Again, this is an awesome beach tent and I do highly recommend this. Thank you. I'm not letting the flag fall, so I'm not going to set it up until I know it's not going to fall. Your flag is too small. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right, so definitely, I didn't even switch over to the product. It's it's all going downhill, chat. One of the fortunate ten to get the dreaded NZXT H510 case. That's a great case. I I think that's what I have. I have the H510 Elite. Is that a thing? It is. Yeah, that's the case I have, the H510 Elite. That's a great case. It's not the best airflow, but either way, still a great uh still a great case. Easy to build in. All right, so definitely check out that uh what is it called? Fef Feflo. Okay, so Feflo large Beach tent, yeah. All right, switching over to the next product, we're gonna take a look at these sleeping pads. So, so many people say it has terrible airflow. So the H510, just the H510 doesn't have the two, um, the two front panel fans, I don't think. So while negative pressure plays a part in that case, it still doesn't do that good. But this one has two front facing intake, uh, intake fans but overall it does it does have terrible airflow but it does a really good job with that negative pressure to um keep your i mean keep your components cool like i i don't like i think on peak i think on peak uh peak gaming temps i'm hitting like 62 on my graphics card and i might be getting up to like 45 on my pcu on my PCU, on my CPU. So nothing too crazy. It's it. I think the reason so many people use it is just because it's so easy to build in. It's one of the easiest cases I've ever built in. And I've built 15 computers probably. What's up guys? My name is Demetrius and I'm gonna- <laughs> Did you guys hear that? It sounded like Kermit the Frog coming in. I made the same joke last time I heard this. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? My name is Demetrius, and I'm going to be showing you guys this sleeping pad made by Nov 2 top With this one right here, you can bring it on a hike or if you're camping. It's really lightweight. It has that compact air mattress built-in pump with also a pillow for backpacking. With the pillow part, you have to blow that up which I had to use my air compressor for that, which I'll show you guys. It comes in this pad right here, and you open up with these two Velcro straps right there. You just pop those off, and then you unroll it. So like I said, the pillow part that I had to air up with my air compressor, you can also air this up by mouth. And it's really easy to, to use. So this right here is where you air it up, right here for the pillow. And then you have the self-inflating too, which you you will unscrew and all the air will air it up. It takes about two minutes to do that. It took me like five seconds to air, it up, air up the pillow with my air pump. And this is how it looks inside of a tent. Really cushion, has that memory foam, an inch and a half thickness. It's 77 inches long. And like you, like you see it right here, you can fit it inside of a tent like this. You can put it either way. It also has these clips on the sides. You can see those little black little buttons right there. They clip to multiple of these so you can make it like a long mattress of where you are staying at. Um, again, this is made by no 2 top and an awesome product. And I do highly recommend this product to you guys if you're going to go camping or even if you just want to kick back and relax on a soft memory foam pad. Thank you guys for watching. All right, there we go. I got it. I got it set up with an air purifier underneath. Got it set up with the air purifier underneath. 
moving some purified air to that flag right there. Give it a little bit of life. Um, but yeah, definitely check out those sleeping pads uh, from Feflo again. Switching over to the next product in today's stream, we have to load this up for you guys. And we're going to take a look at this amazing force black faucet. This actually is a really good faucet and it's on sale right now, but it's 90% claim. So it's $20 off, $20 and 50 cents off to be exact 26% off right now on this thing. So let's go ahead and get this loaded up so you guys can make a decision because it's 90% claimed or 88% claimed. That's weird. It just went down. Hey everyone, my name is Demetrius and I'm going to be going over this kitchen faucet made by Amazing Force. Amazing Force comes out with three colors. I'm sorry, the volume can be adjusted. I, I was I was over in the background. Um, yeah, usually I'm here and I monitor it and I bring it down if, if I see that the, the levels are too loud, but sorry about that, guys. It has the gold, it has the brushed nickel silver, and it also comes in this matte black, as you can see right here. This faucet is a pull-down faucet. It has a high arc 360 degree swivel spout. It has a flexible hose supply full range. And all the hoses at the bottom, like you, like I said, it has like the cold water, the hot water, pretty much colored for you. And then the on switch is right here. You just simply just pull that to you. And then on the bottom, you know, it shows you blue and red for hot and cold. Um, like I said, it also has this two setting modes which is for the stream and the spray, stream for filling water, and then the spray for a strong cleaning, wash and rinse, like throughout your sink or dishes. And then you have this piece right here, which is gonna be used for that, that long hose right there, the black hose, which I'll show you later in the video. And also comes with this deck plate. You can use this faucet with a three hole sink if you have one, and that deck plate will cover those other two hose that you have in there. Either way, it's the best and still usable for a single and for a triple hole in your thing. So this one right here is my silver sink of before, and I'm gonna show you how to remove that like that. And then you would just simply just put on the deck plate and then stick that hose right in there. And then the pieces you're gonna put on the bottom, which I'm gonna show you, is just gonna be this piece right here. And the washer goes underneath there too. The deck plate pretty much was just go on top, as you can see. And you just place that faucet in there with all the hoses. And then you have this black piece right here. It has two screws. You will remove those screws. And then you will place one, both sides of that on top of that black cord right there. And that piece right there will connect to that gray piece. Where I'm, what I'm pointing. Appreciate that, Phil. Thank you. Uh, pretty plain and simple. And pretty much that's it. Um, Here's the aftermath of the installment. Um, good sink. And it swivels really, really good, really quiet. Like I said, it spins in that 360 and uh, has that magnet, which is a clamp right back in. And it has those two modes where you can spray for filling up some water. And then you also have that stream right here where you can just spray down. It has that high pressure and clean all the dishes and stuff like that. Uh, with this sink, you know, it's it's a pull-out sink. And I highly recommend this matte black faucet by Amazing Force. Great product, and I love it. Thank you. I thought he said, at the end there, I thought he said, and I love you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so if you guys need a new kitchen faucet, that one's super, looks like it's super well-made and uh, pretty easy to set up. So definitely check that out. $20 off, 88% uh, claimed on that I guess coupon that discount. So definitely check that out. We're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream, my friends. And we're going to take a look at this. I do queen size air mattress. Some hearthstone with this in the background. Justin's a big fan of hearthstone too. Mr. Dragon blogger. I think I've, Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel from dragon blogger. And today right? we're going to be taking a look at this awesome queen size air mattress from I do. They say that this is the perfect guest bed solution, so let's go ahead and jump in and see if that's the truth. So we'll go ahead and start with a quick unboxing. This was a super simple process, as you can see. Danilo Jose Melo. I said that good. I said that good, and Wiley will vouch. He'll vouch. Danilo or Danilo? Danilo Jose Melo. I said that good, dude. 
can see here, it comes in this nice little carrying case with the drawstring. So that's a cool feature that they... You're reloading FF. I'm trying to think of what that means. Didn't have to add, but they did. So we'll go ahead and keep pulling this out. As you can see, it's double wrapped here in this plastic. We'll go ahead and take all of that out. It has a little instruction manual as well as some warning labels and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and throw that to the side and keep unboxing this. Take away this plastic and this little tag. And now we'll go oh, ahead Firefox. and jump okay. and we'll take a look at the front you, here. Anne. So as you can see Anne. here, it actually has dual Muscle. motors to help inflate or deflate this machine faster. So over here on the left side of this panel, you're going to have the compartment for your power cable as well as your air duct. But I want to win $5. Uh, Blake, so we're doing six hours today. Right now we are um, four hours and 47 minutes in and we're doing six hours. So an hour and 15 minutes. Duct valve to relieve the pressure inside of this if you don't have power to automatically deflate it. So this thing was packed really nicely. So what you want to do is just go ahead and get it unfolded. Get it unfolded as best as you can so it doesn't kink up when you're trying to air this mattress up. And then you simply just want to take the cable out of the compartment, plug it in, and then you are going to inflate it. All in all, this took about three to four minutes to inflate it to the desired firmness that I wanted. It might be a little bit different for you, but that's just my experience. Once you get it to the desired firmness, simply just turn off those motors and you're good to go. So now we'll go ahead and lay down on it. First though, you see here, this has this really nice soft tech feature and it feels really nice to the hands. And it also, you can obviously put a sheet on it, but if you wanted to just sleep on this, that will be absolutely well, we are doing we are doing our gift card after this video. We're doing the next gift card after this video. Absolutely fine. So my initial impressions when laying down on this is it is firm, but that's how I honestly like it. If you didn't want it as firm as I have it in this video, all you have to do is just deflate it a little bit. This thing So this one's really good. So I when I did this, I probably weighed about two I probably weighed about two thirty five, maybe two forty if you can believe it. It doesn't look like I weigh that much because I have chicken legs, but about two, 235, 230 to 240. And I let this thing, I didn't sleep on it overnight, but I let it um, stay aired up overnight and had zero issues with it. It is also really great for side sleepers like myself. So if you're a side sleeper, you should be good to go. Now, what would an air mattress test be without a strength or rigidity test? So let's go ahead and jump on it. As you can see, it slid there. It doesn't really have like an anti-movement padding on the bottom. So if it's on carpet, it might move Oh, okay. around when Thanks, you first Ed. get on Thank it, you. but that's really not that big of a deal. On the side here, they're kind of elevated. So what you actually could probably do is put on a sheet if you don't want to sleep directly on it. And then once you're done, simply all you want to do is just deflate it by turning the motors to deflate. And this takes about half the time it takes to inflate it. So it's really easy, really quick, simple to kind of deassemble, even though you're not really deassembling anything. So yeah, that's really it, guys, for this video. Thanks, Yeah, man. If you guys want to check out this I Do Air Mattress, I highly recommend it. If you've been looking to get yourself a new air mattress or you go camping or anything like that, I highly recommend the I Do, and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, so if you guys need a new air mattress, uh, that air mattress from I Do is a super, super good one. I keep saying that word. I'm starting to annoy myself. <laughs> $15 off right now and an extra 5% five, uh, 5 off clickable coupon on that air mattress. It is really, really, really well made. Um, I don't know how, I don't know how well it's going to last on, uh, at a festival. I'm assuming you mean like a music festival, a lot of people drinking, a lot of drugs. Uh, I imagine, yeah, I imagine it would be fine. Uh, the coolest thing about it is that it has an internal pump, so you don't have to you don't have to drag the pump around with you. It's just built into it, which is pretty nice. Um, it is now time for our next Amazon gift card giveaway. So is everybody ready in chat? Gathering of the Juggalos. Okay. Okay. So that's even, <laughs> that's even more of um, a heavy themed <laughs> festival. Everybody should be ready in chat. I'm starting to hit there. Let me go down a little bit. Just so you guys can't see that little thing that I have on my. Ready, 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 ready. All right. So we're going to go ahead and draw now then. Seems like we've had the majority of you guys have been in here. Um, 
most of this time. Gigolos. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the live show for you or the, li the live drawing. My camera is froze again. Hold on. Let me see if I can just deactivate and reactivate. Nope, that didn't work. One second. It's just the software that I'm using. It's just, it has that issue over and over. There we go. Okay, we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back. Vi audio should have been good the entire time, but we're back on this now. All right, so the winner for the next Amazon, let us not repeat, yes. I agree. I agree that was embarrassing for me. And it froze again. The winner for the Amazon gift card is Michael S. And my camera is frozen once again, my friends. But Michael S., you are the winner. Are you here? Michael S., Michael S., you have won the Amazon gift card. Two. So close. Michael S. is not claiming. Where is he at? The camera is playing with me. It's getting kind of annoying. Michael S., are you in chat while I try to figure out why my camera keeps deactivating? It's it ha it's on high temperature mode. That's the thing. Michael S. is not here, my friends. I'm giving him 15 more seconds because we only had about 10, but I was also dealing with other stuff, trying to get this camera to work. It's only used to four hour streams. Yeah, it doesn't want to. All right, so we're going to go ahead and redraw. So the secondary winner. Now this guy pops up when he wins stuff. Let's see if he's here. Sambit A. Sambit A is the gift card winner. Sambita, he pops up. I'm not kidding. Like I, he doesn't talk, but he does. He, he does. Uh, he does show up. Oh, it's by thing sometimes. Okay, never mind. Then there's somebody else that like will never speak, but always. Show, who was it? I can't remember who it was, but always shows up at the very last second to claim. Congrats, then buy things. Did I say your name right? Sambit or Sambit? 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 I literally say, oh, Sambit. Sambit? I literally say so when I join. Som passed a bite. <laughs> so, uh. All right, so we will get that over to you, Sam, Sam Bite. All right, so congratulations. Buy things. <laughs> he said, LOL, this is me. <laughs> okay, so then you're not what I'm talking about. There was somebody else that didn't talk for the whole four hour stream and was obviously there because as soon as I called their name, they like popped up out of nowhere. Uh, we're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream, my friends. We're going to be taking a look at this Renfo Shiatsu foot and calf massager. And my camera probably freezes when I switch. Oh, it didn't. I'm trying to, I'm going to see when it freezes settings. Okay. It hasn't froze yet. I'm watching it. Okay. So I pasted, I hit close. Hasn't froze. I hit interact. Hit play. This Renfo foot massager, calf massager, arm massager, if you wanted it to be that machines. So this thing is an absolute. So what day do I need to be watching and what time for the 3d printer? So just make sure you get entered in. 
uh, Blake. Just make sure you get entered in. You don't have to be live to win. It will be drawn on the Sunday stream. So if you're not following, hit the follow button so you can get notified when that's um, when that goes live. But you don't have to be live to win that 3D printer. Uh, but if you if you if you'd like to, you know, watch and do that. But I appreciate you being here, and I, hopefully you can win that uh that 3D printer. That'd be that'd be awesome. 3D printing is super fun. Absolute unit. This thing is a monster. So. This is exactly like I said it is. This is a foot massager and a calf massager. So the way this thing turns into a calf massager is you could lay this flat on the ground or on your bed and then just set your calves on it. But what you can actually do... Thanks, Blake. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Desk, you Thanks for hanging out for so long, too. You didn't arm. have to do that. So when you adjust this arm like this, what you're basically going to do is it's going to turn into a stand. It's kind of... It, it's big. And so whenever you set it on the ground, now it is elevated like this, which is absolutely freaking sweet. So it has a ton of rollers on it. So the rollers on it, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can't even count them all. And it's the same on this side as well. It also has this really big area too. And if we keep going, you have air intensity. So the side of these will actually inflate. They will inflate and then kind of give you a compression around your calves or your feet and you can set the intensity i go all the way up just because I, I like the pressure that it kind of exerts on my calves or my feet it feels so nice and then you have air mode so what you can do is say you put your feet in here you could have the air only squeezing on your heels or you could have it on the front of your foot like on the ball hmm. of your feet or everything which is absolutely awesome. what does it mean if right like right out of nowhere, like right here, like this muscle or tendon or something just got really like tight and kind of hurts. What does that mean? What is that? Awesome too. And then you have just your power button here on the side. I will, let me see if I can plug this in for you guys and kind of show you real quick. All right. Donna, so you, <laughs> funny enough, we had to redraw a hundred times earlier, basically. Um, and you were one of the winners, but, um, But you weren't here to, uh, I appreciate it, Doug. Don't be jealous, man. Uh, but you weren't here to claim the physical prize, which was the Syncom knee massager. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we got it plugged in. It also comes with a remote to where all these settings that are on here, you can control it remotely. So we'll go ahead and power it on. And so now it's on and we will set the air intensity all the way up so you guys can kind of see how strong the air can get. Up to four different modes. Yeah, it, it, it's absolutely awesome. It's totally customizable to your preference. On his stream, And so you really? can see here that it's actually inflating all the way through. Hand cramp. Which is really cool. And what it does is it kind of does this cycle where it compresses okay. and then decompresses. See, like when stuff like that, it's because I'm getting to the age now where random pains are more of a concern than they would have been when I was younger. Because now I'm like, all right, what do I have forever now? And it might seem like it's going to squeeze your calf off. I promise it's not going to do that. I think it has a sensor built in for like a pressure sensor so it knows when to stop, you know, filling up those airbags. So if you guys have been looking to get yourself something like this, I, I can't recommend this enough. I just got this in yesterday, and my wife steals it from me all the time. I have it set up on my little gaming station here. I just have my feet in it all day, just a foot massage all day. So if you guys have been looking to get yourself one of these, I highly recommend it. Thank you so much to Renfo for sending this. We really appreciate it. This thing is an absolute unit, and I can't recommend it enough. All right, so definitely check out that. Okay, so that is the best foot massager that I've ever used. Best ever, ever in life. I'm not even kidding. It's so dang good. And it's $100 off right now too. There's a $100 off clickable coupon on the product page. So if you guys need a really, really, really high end foot massager, definitely go check that one out. It's got heat. It's got air compression. The rollers are super strong. It's got a remote. Um, yeah, it's a great, great, great foot massager. 
And continuing on in today's stream, we're going to take a look at this uh, cheesy feet. Ew. We're going to take a look at this Feflo portable beach umbrella. I think Justin did this one. I'm here showcasing the Feflo beach umbrella. And so it comes in the box here. And I like that it comes with its again. own travel bag. So pulling it out of the box here, you can see it has a light blue travel bag. Everything's included inside the travel bag, including the pole, as well as the umbrella itself. It's surprisingly lightweight, considering how big this will expand to. But showing you the pole here, you can see the bottom of this pole has a screw mount thread. This is meant for you to screw into the ground or the beach sand, drive it in deep, screw it in, and it'll be stable and stay inside the beach sand just fine. But I'm going to use a pole holder in my yard just to show you how it looks in the yard. So in my case, I'm putting it into an umbrella stand. I'm not screwing it actually into the ground here. There are multiple ways you can insert the umbrella into the stand. You have a little latch in there that could be used to control and not let it slide in so much, or you could let it slide in lower. Say you want to lay down on the beach, then you can actually have the umbrella come down a lot lower so that it blocks the sunlight from getting on you. So here is the highest level setting you can get in, but I'm going to lower it just to show you how you can lower it if you want it to be lower for you say you're sitting or laying on the sand instead of actually standing up or sitting in a chair. So use this little clamp here. This clamp will lock it into place at the height that you want it to be at. So let's do that here. Completely rotatable. Size 15 and 16 shoe. Wow. Well, it's not locked. I really like that, how easy it is to rotate. Choosing a height here that I want to stick with. And then I'm going to go ahead and clamp it in place. I'm going to clamp it in place right there. I have it a little low on purpose, just so it's easier to show on camera with the height of the tripod. So here's how it looks. Casts a wide diameter with the umbrella. Provides a lot of shading. If you put the pole through the hole here, right, like this, this allows you to lock it to where it doesn't go in so far and it stays at a much higher height. So here's the highest height that it can be at. So again, this is if you're sitting in a beach chair or something that's a little higher. You can also adjust the tilt left or right, which I really like about it. So depending if the sun's not directly overhead and the sun may be a little bit coming down from the east or from the west, you can actually tilt the umbrella to give you the proper amount of shade to make sure you're not in the sun as well. So again, here, closer up look here. Here's how it looks. I really like this umbrella. I like the color. I like that it blocks out the sunlight and provides a lot of shade. This would make a great umbrella for the beach or the park or anywhere you need to have an umbrella that screws into the ground or installs into a pole. I like that it's high adjustable. I like that you can bend it either direction to give you that little tilted angle to help block out the sun. And it's just a really nice beach umbrella option. All right. So if you guys need a new... Uh... Portable Beach Umbrella, that one has a $17 off clickable coupon right now. So you guys can pick that up for around 35 bucks, I imagine, after taxes. Uh, super easy to get set up. Looks nice. Uh, and switching over to the next product in today's stream. I keep saying, uh, keep saying, uh, but we're going to take a look at this Pestigio Digital Smart Picture Frame. This thing is really cool because you can give somebody access to this. And if they have the access to it, all they have to do is basically send a photo and they can be anywhere in the world. And then you can just, it'll show up on your picture frame. A lot of people still carry picture frames in the house or, or hang picture frames in the house because everybody likes picture frames, right? Everybody likes to hang some decorations on the wall and having a smart picture frame gives you some versatility that you don't have with just a static picture frame. Even with the digital picture frames that are static, you have to load it on an SD card, put it in, or you have to plug it into your PC and then transfer video or you know um, files over to it. Or yeah, I did. I did get the picture. Um, is that? Do you want that engraved? Is that what you want engraved? Your photos over to it via um, you know your computer via USB. It's a pain in the butt. A smart projector like this Pastigio Wi-Fi frame projector is excellent because A, you connect it with your phone and you don't even have to be connected to the local network. You could connect to it over the internet. It's a smart projector. It uses your router to connect to the internet. What you do is you pair other people's phones. They download. Also, real quick question, if anyone in chat knows, is Walmart, um, is Walmart on, uh, is it open on 4th of July? The app install it and you can set family members or friends and give them go permission that you have to actually approve their device to connect to your projector. 
But what they could do is they can then beam their photos and videos from their phone anywhere in the world. Thank you, Ken. And it shows up on your projector on your wall. So say you have family members living on the other side of the country or they're going on a vacation and they're traveling and they want to send you pictures of their photos while they're on their trip, they could beam right to your picture frame hanging in the living room. You just set them up with a profile on your app and they scan in a QR code and they enter the code to connect and they could actually beam their photos. And I like rotating out photos all the time, like photos of my pets, but I don't want the same photos a year later. This is a great way to just, hey, you know what, took a new favorite photo, pop it up on my wall, throw it on my picture frame. So this is an excellent picture frame. You can see Pumpkin in his little bow tie. It does a great job. It actually is, a, because it has kind of an OS in it, it can show video, it has a speaker, but it's a little obnoxious when you first turn it on. The speaker's kind of loud. So the first thing I do when I turn it on is mute the speaker uh, because it gets obnoxious when it yells at you. But it also can set alarms. It can tell you the time, the temperature outside. It connects to weather, not you know the weather. It's a pretty cool picture frame to have on your wall. And you could do various things besides just a simple photo slideshow. You could have it do a lot of other smart functions. It is an excellent picture frame. All right. So if you guys need a new picture frame, that one is twenty five dollars off. $25 off with an extra $40 off clickable coupon. So you guys can get that. Uh, you guys can pick that up right now for under a hundred bucks. Works super well. Um, but it is time, my friends, again. See, what is going on? It's like every time I want to do a giveaway, every time I want to do a giveaway, my camera freezes. Look at me just staring, too. That, that looks funny. All right, so it is time for the gift card giveaway again, my friends. Uh, let me get a ready in chat. Hacked. <laughs> no, it's my software. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to. I'm gonna switch to the next software or another software for the next stream tomorrow. All right, everyone is ready. So the next winner for the Amazon gift card is going to be well maybe he's here now he wasn't here earlier larry p larry p let's see if he is here now is larry p here Man, he's had two he's had two chances so far. He's got twenty seconds left. Twenty seconds left and we're redrawing. Twenty seconds left. All right, here we go. It's gone, and the we are repicking the winner now. Wiley Guillermo is the winner, and I know he's here. I know Guillermo is here, or he he was very recent. Is he here now? Make sure you're not, if you're here. Make sure you're not. Uh, make sure you're not anonymous. Refresh. Close the app. Whatever you're doing. He was just here. No. He was just here.
Yeah, not not long ago. I mean, not long ago. I, I'm sure I could scroll up and not have to go that far back to find them. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't 15, 15 minutes ago. Twenty seconds left. He was on Twitch. Yeah, he was here too. Under it wasn't Guillermo. He's he's Wiley on here. All right, five, four, three. That's so unfortunate. So many redraws today. I'm so sorry, chat. But we're going to draw again. Here we go. Nigel S. Nigel S., you are the winner. Are you here, Nigel? <laughs> They're stuck in the toaster. GG question mark. <laughs> no way. No way. I mean, this is a long stream. So people probably entered five hours ago and there's like, there's no, there's no way I'm, I'm staying here for five hours. He's got 20 seconds left. Nigel, are you here? I can't, I don't, I don't actually pick a name. I, it, it's random. When you guys enter, I, I hit pick and then that's it. And it just shows me who it is. All right. And here we go. Redrawing now. Sardines and chicken. Ugh, that sounds terrible right now. Here we go. Let's try again. Gavin V. Gavin V, are you here? But I think you already won a gift card. If Gavin's here, I think he won something earlier. Gavin, what did you win earlier? Didn't you win something earlier? Congratulations, by the way. You can win a physical prize and a gift card. You can only win the physical prize if you're in the United States. Haven't won anything this stream. Okay, it was somebody else. I couldn't remember who it was. It was, he said, yo, that's who I thought it was. Gavin didn't win today. All right, Gavin, congratulations. All right, let's keep going, guys. Let's let's just keep this stream going. My eyes are burning from the bright lights. And my camera's frozen again. It's when I click off of Streamlabs. I just pinpointed it. Whenever I click off of my software, that's when that happens. Um, I just realized that. Kind of weird. But we're going to... Uh, we're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream. And we're going to take a look at this Quinir Tens EMS foot massager. And then I will figure out what's going on with my camera again. Once again. While this is playing. So this is the Quinir Electronic Tens foot stimulator, but it's more than a foot stimulator. You actually plug in an entire separate, and let me get my head set over here. You plug in entire separate TENS pads with it, and you could use these TENS pads on your calves or your thighs or even your shoulders or arms at the same time you're using your foot massage. So the way this electronic stimulator works is you can't have socks on. It delivers shock TENS therapy through the pads itself, so you have to be using it barefoot, right? You turn it on. You've got your it's soul intensity level, you've got your pad intensity level, and you have your modes. There's nine different modes, and the modes uh, affect the various frequencies and pulsing that the tens do to your feet. 
And then, of course, you could set the timer, you can set the heat. The heat just has a little bit of infrared heat that shows on here. And let me uh, plug it in and turn it off here so you can see a little more that's going on this thing. Now, I'm not going to be able to test on stream because I don't want to show my bare feet on stream. I do not have, like, you know, feet that are stream worthy. So um, I'll be honest with you. I, my, my toenails and stuff, uh, I can't show my feet on stream. So uh, that, that's why I'm not able to show this on stream. So, and it, it's not the camera. The camera is amazing. I mean, this camera is top of the line. The camera I'm using is the Sony ZV-1, which is a great camera. It's the software that I'm using that's doing this. The software is uh, Streamlabs OBS, like slobs. But you turn the heat on, and this heat that comes on here is only this part that gets warm. So yeah, the when you lay your the foot issue. on it, the inner part of your soles are... The inner part of your feet are the part that gets warmed up, and it does warm them up pretty well, and it does a good job of that. The tens is really impressive, and I'm a size 13 foot, and I. But this is the camera I'm using right here. I have two of them. The Sony ZV-1 is amazing for videos. It takes really good photos too, but it's known for its videos. Really recommend this camera. Only fit, and I don't even cover this whole space. So this easily accommodates very, very large feet to very small feet with its tens. Uh, as well. Very powerful. I accidentally turned the intensity up to level and I was like hurting my feet right off yeah. the bat. Because I, I normally take tens pretty high on my shoulders and arms. I do not expect my feet to be so sensitive. So the bottom of your feet, depending on how callous they are, I honestly, I really saw feet, surprisingly saw feet. Um, so I was really shocked at the intensity of the tens for my feet because my feet were more sensitive than say my arms and shoulders. So definitely start with the lowest intensity level and it's kind of good and bad, but when you switch modes, it resets the intensity level back to zero every time you do a mode switch. So if you switch from mode one to mode nine. Or so I didn't test this, but Justin's saying it's work. It's working. It works really good. Uh, he can he can tell you more about how well it works. Mode two, it resets the intensity level all over. So you have to basically start all over and set the intensity level that feels good to you. This is actually pretty awesome, and it is. I have a video of it, which I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to publish, right? So while I was using it on my foot, as it's stimulating the tens of my foot, you could see my big toe was like pulsating and spasming up and down because it was just triggering the nerves to where it was making my toes go crazy like they were being electrocuted. And I actually felt the pulsing all the way up to my lower calf as it was pulsing my muscles. And it does a fast, quick minor pulse and then much stronger pulses in between. That's what this is designed for. It's designed to do that nerve stimulation in your feet. Comes with a really cool remote, easy to manage. Because obviously when you're sitting in a chair, you're not going to want to try to bend over and touch the buttons, right? So the remote's... <laughs> That's funny. It's really important. Um, and again, you just flex the intensity level. You did. You did too. I mean, I'm sure you're making a joke at it, but uh, yeah. Go outside home. Had to go outside home for a bit. Yeah, you did. Unfortunately, you missed the gift card. Pulls up and down as you need to. Now, it, it's RF remote, right? Infrared. Uh, so you have to actually point it at the infrared. You see how I do it up here and it can't trigger it? You have to actually point it at it. So that's the other thing about the remote. The TENS pads work really well like anything else. You could control the, f um, the pads separately than the foot uh, TENS. So you could adjust just the external pads. And I recommend using them on your thighs or your your calves at the same time because you get the extra benefit. Although you can use them at the arms at the same time, I tend to like the pulses to be lined up in the same body part region. So if you need an electronic stimulator for your feet, one that actually has extra TENS pads that you could use in your calves and thighs at the same time, this is a really good option. I was using this for two days testing it. It gets really, really intense, so make sure you start off low. And depending on the level you're on, it goes right into it or it just builds up slowly. So again, there's nine different levels and modes, but it's just a really, really good option if you like having um, foot massager. All right, so that is the, um, sorry, that is a Quinn Ear foot stimulator. So $40 off right now. So you guys can pick this thing up for $9 off normal price, but there's also a $40 off clickable coupon. So you guys can pick this up for roughly 40 bucks right now. So if you guys need a new one, definitely check that out. We're gonna switch over to the next product and we're gonna take a look at this Innocent ultra wide 40 inch 4K monitor. Uh, this is this is a beast monitor. So 
This monitor is 40 inches, 13 or uh, 3440 by 1440 P. So not the actual 4K, but still, I mean, it's close. 144 Hertz, AMD FreeSync, 21.9, um, USB-C, HDMI, uh, tilt and height adjustable monitor. I mean, this monitor has got it all. It's got everything. Well, just because you forfeited it, you had to forfeit earlier doesn't mean that you can't win the next one. Yeah, same, yeah, same here, Rover. Same here. James here, and today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from Innocent. This is their new monitor. This is a 40C1R model number, guys. This is a 40-inch ultra-widescreen monitor. This is a 21 to 9 contrast ratio, guys, which is really, really cool. Now, it is a 12,001 high ratio of contrast which is the coloration now the 21 to 9 is the actual the dimension ratio which is very very cool really really wide guys now this is actually an hdr this is 500 nits brightness which is just amazing this does have amd free sync this is a, you know this monitor can actually do split screen so if you use one of the two HDMI ports or the USB-C or the display port, you can divide this monitor in half. Now I have the Nintendo Switch hooked up just for, you know, showing base, you know, to show you guys this right now. Now the cool thing is I'm going to show you guys a couple things. On its base, guys, and I'm going to move some stuff around so we can show you guys this. You can swivel it in multiple directions, right? Not just that way, but you can swivel it and angle it that way or you can raise and lower it. Now I have it down low on purpose and I have it angled at you for a reason. We do have a switch hooked up. We have some Mario hooked up, right? Which is cool. I'm just gonna pop up, you know, and just click through to kind of show you guys some. Like, okay, no disrespect to Mario at all, chat, but like this is what you choose. You gotta choose something like crazy good graphics. We need, we, you gotta give the people what they want. We need to see top of the line graphics on this right now. That's what we need to see. Some of this now, like I said, it does have two HDMI ports, one display port, and then you have multiple other pieces. Now, you could use a Visa mount to hang this on the wall, guys, but it will need to be 100 by 100 and support at least 30 pounds. So, just remember that, guys. Now, I'm not sure why all this stuff is just showing. yeah, Assassin's Creed, Crisis, Grand Theft Auto. But also, we have to. We also have to kind of be careful what we show. We can't do like extreme violence. We'll get flagged for that. Showing me all this, even on right? a video game. Because probably haven't played in a while. But we're trying to show you guys some colorations. That coloration is just amazing. Now, for such a big a monitor, you got to you will need the space. Now, like I said, it does have a USB C uh, style plug in there. It does have HDMI ports. It also has the display port, guys. And you also have one 3.5 millimeter audio jack, but it does have speakers built in. Now it is highly compatible with all your consoles, so don't worry. That's why I have the switch hooked up for you today and showing you guys this, which is actually quite cool. And like you know, like I said, it will take an HDMI 2.0 or the Type C 90 watt port or the Display Port if you need. It is a 95% DCI P3 wide color gamut, so you have a multiple of colors. Now we are gonna, uh, you know, kind of pop into this and we're just gonna... Okay, now that I got it hooked up, guys, let's uh, try and mess around here, right? We have this little controller here. Look at that. Oh. Head off to another. Go ahead and skip through this a little bit. I think you guys have kind of gotten the gist of it. Uh, refresh rate, and now it is a, mo a model number 40C1R. It is mountable with the, v the Visa 100 by 100, so remember that, guys. You will need a big mount. Very, very cool. Look at that coloration, guys. Just an awesome, awesome monitor. Now, thank you for checking out this, just this quick little showcase of this uh, monitor. We will be definitely doing more. Thanks for checking this out, and have a great day. 
All right, so if you guys need a super, super awesome uh, monitor, definitely check out that one from Innocent. Like I said, 40 inches, basically 4K, 34 40 by 1440p. That's crazy. 144 hertz, great for gaming, um, great for multitasking tool. All right, so we are at the point in the stream now where we're going to do, uh, oh, no, not yet. We're two products away, and then we'll do another giveaway. We have two giveaways left, so don't forget. Now the chat has froze. Everything is froze. Uh, has everything froze? I don't know. It looks like you guys can hear me. Is the chat froze? Hello. Looks like the chat's working still. Okay, the chat's working. My camera's not. Dude, whenever I do the giveaway, I'm telling you. <laughs> Something about the giveaways. If you guys haven't entered, here's the link for that. Here's the link for that. Let me go ahead and... I'm telling you, it's only happening at the giveaways. All right, so we're back. All right, so we're going to do... Um, when you say the word... Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We're going to do now, just because I already said it. If you guys are ready, we're going to go ahead and do our coaster giveaway. So this is the second to last giveaway. You guys will win a two set of custom uh, 4th of July Dragon Blogger coasters. So is everybody ready? You guys are going to win two custom laser engraved coasters. Let me know if you guys are ready. All right. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to stop turning. I'm going to stop looking that way. I'm going to look with my eyes. All right, here we go. So the winner for the custom 4th of July custom laser engraved coasters is going to be I am going to redraw because Doris M has already won a physical prize, I think. Let me see. Doris M, you are the winner for now. Let me see. I think you might have already won something on here. Let me see real quick. Hold on. Doris M. What was Doris? Okay, so Doris already won a physical prize. You have already run a, won a physical prize, so I'm sorry about that, but we're going to redraw now. Here we go. Hold on. And... Kevin M... Kevin M. You're right. Okay, so here, here's what's going to happen. I did say earlier that coasters don't count as a physical prize. Thank you, Christy, for pointing that out. That's actually a really good point. So because of my mistake, um, both, uh, both Kevin and Doris have won custom coasters. That's my fault. Okay. Yeah, I I normally uh I normally do. I have spreadsheets for other things, but it looks like well, usually the giveaways aren't this much. Uh but yeah. So congratulations to uh to you too. Congratulations to you two on the custom coasters. Let's continue on as we're narrowing down. We're getting close to the end, my friends. We're going to take a look at this Forge Dice. Uh, it's a dice set, I believe. Something along those lines. I'm not really too sure what this is. So here we go.
This is the Forge Dice Co. Mimic Chest Dice Storage Box. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what comes in it. Dungeons I'm using and Dragons, some I think. Coins here for my first test to show you that it could hold a lot of coins. Makes for a great DD prop. If you want to say, have the adventurers open up a treasure chest, spawns open a mimic here. You got the coins in it. Now, I really like the way it has enough empty pockets and holes inside of it. It can hold up to 35 dice. You can see it holds a lot of metal coins here. I really like the design of the teeth. I really like the feel of it. It's very well designed. It's solid. It only has the one strap on the side to hold it open and help it close. It's just very sturdy and very solid. Very excellent prop. So here I have it with some dice loaded into it. I didn't fill with all 35 dice. I just loaded it with a bunch of dice. But you can see it can hold a lot of dice. I have a mix of metal dice and acrylic dice in here. And they just fit nice in this chest. This is just a really, really nice accessory to have and put your D&D dice in. Or even if you want to put some coins in it and use it as a prop. It actually has a little latch mechanism to close and lock it. The teeth are pretty solid. It's just a really, really awesome thing. So this is the Mimic Dice Chest from Forge Dice Co. And I highly recommend it if you want a nice little chest and a little presentation for your dice or you're looking for something that's a prop. And the camera froze again. Camera froze again. But if you guys need a new dice set, definitely check out that one from Forge Dice Co. For whatever reason, definitely check that out. And we're going to switch over to the next product in today's stream. And we are going to take a look at um, the Vosov Pet Nail Grinder. This thing works really well. So let me go ahead and get that switched over for you guys. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool product. This is the Vosov Pet Nail Grinder. This thing actually works really well, but let's go ahead and jump in and see everything that it comes with. So upon opening the box, you're going to notice that the first thing you're going to get is an instruction manual and a care manual. This is basically just telling you how to operate it, but it's pretty simple, so we won't really need to look at that. Continuing on, you're going to see that you get two AA batteries. So it's really cool that at this price point that they include those two AA batteries. Instead of you having to fish around each drawer in your house to find one, you're going to get this little bristle cleaner. And this is to clean off the actual head of the unit itself. And then you are obviously going to get the unit itself. So as you guys can see here, it's very small. I have tiny, tiny hands for a man, and this fits really nicely in the palm of my hand, so I don't have any issues holding it. The only thing that I wish they did was maybe add some type of grip texture to it because it is pretty slippery, but honestly, it does feel really nice in the hands, and it is very small and portable, and it has that nice cream and orange finish right there on it. Taking a look at the back side to install the batteries or install new batteries, all you have to do is just slide that down, pop them in, and then you should be good to go. Once you have those on, if you ever do need to clean the actual head itself, all you have to do is just pop that front cover off. And if you need to change it, as you guys could see on the back side, you have two screws right here so you can order a replacement head unit for this unit itself. And then turning it on, as you guys can see right there, it's very responsive and very quick. So if you guys ever have any emergencies or issues you need to shut it off, you can definitely do that. This thing is very quiet, which is really nice because I didn't know if dogs would be alarmed by it. And just so you guys know, this thing is meant for dogs, and I definitely wasn't grinding my nails. And this is my little buddy Scamp, as you guys can see right here. He's not a big fan of it, but he's honestly just really scared of everything. But the Vosov Pet Nail Grinder works really well, so if you guys have been looking for a pet nail grinder, I highly recommend it, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, guys, so if you need a new... Um, if you need a new... Uh, pet like a dog nail grinder let me see real quick so that one also has 20 percent off too so 20 percent off on that like what is that two dollars and 70 cents no that's 10 percent off um but yeah definitely check out that vosov dog nail grinder you don't have to use it for only dogs and other animals in general just be careful obviously uh but we're going to switch over to the second to last product in today's stream we're going to be taking a look at this pretty cool ua pet dryer so this is $85 normally, and there's also a $5 off clickable coupon. Uh, this, this is a really good pet dryer. It's got a really cool feature built into it 
where it'll blow hot air for three seconds and then cold air. So the hot air is obviously drying your dogs and then the cold air makes it to where they don't overheat. So let me go ahead and load up that video for you guys. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this awesome pet dryer from Yua. This is the fluffy one. This thing works really well. It has a ton of features. So let's go ahead and first just jump in and see everything that it comes with. So as you see here, I'm unboxing it. And the, one of the things that you're going to notice immediately is you have a user manual. You won't really need this because it is pretty much plug and play. The first attachment head, as you guys can see here, is kind of this multi-nozzle. And this is just going to help get a large surface area. And then the next is going to be this little attachment head that basically funnels the air for more power. And then you're going to get this precision nozzle uh, just to have more precision whenever you are uh, drying your animals down. And then taking a look at the main unit, one of the things that I don't really show in the video, but this does have a super long cable and it's thick. So definitely a lot of quality when it comes to the build of it. And then you're going to have this soft touch material that basically covers the entire area where you will be holding this. Um, on the controls, there is going to be smart controls, such as a hot to cool feature, um, as well as some other cool features on there. Attaching a nozzle head on this is actually really easy. As you can see, all you have to do is just take the one that you're going to want to install. Camera's frozen. Hold on. Oh, man. I don't know. All right, so we're back, we're back again. So the funny thing about that attachment, you guys can see right there that it has- Push it down, um, you don't really have to. It has five different like air nozzles on it. And what I did is I had to do a balloon review. Or I didn't have to, but I did a, re <laughs> I did a review, review of balloons and it's not loud at all. Even on the highest setting, it's really not that loud. It's, it's, half, the, it's half the loudness of like a regular air dry, like hair dryer maybe even less than that. But so what I did is I basically taped off four of these ports. So I only had one, one nozzle coming the entire time and used it to blow up balloons. Twist like I did, but yeah, once you get that push down, super easy to do, you're good to go. So one of the things that I wanted to do in this video is basically just show you guys the power. So right now we're on the lowest setting, but as you can see, from the amount of pressure that is coming from this unit, it is blowing that napkin back pretty far. So let's go ahead and switch over to the medium setting now. So now we're on the medium setting and you can obviously tell that there's a big difference for the power, but continuing on the highest power is definitely the one that I recommend you use, especially if you guys have dogs that have thick coats like mine, uh, that high power is definitely going to dry them off and yourself off if need be, as you can see there. And then just continuing on, I just wanted to do a test with my dog. It was kind of puppy spa day at my house. So you can see my wife's here and she's kind of like uh, the proud family where you don't really see their face. You just see the, the body. Uh, but even though my dog doesn't like this, I was really surprised with how well this pet dryer works. So I definitely can recommend it. This was just a quick look at the UA pet dryer. If you guys have been looking for a new pet dryer for whatever reason, uh, definitely check this one out and I'll see you guys on the next video. You could 3D print a nozzle for it. That's true, Rover. I never even thought about that. So that is the UA pet dryer. And you guys have been asking all day, uh, what is the final giveaway? That UA pet dryer is not what we're giving away. Uh, this brings us to our final product in today's stream which is the OBSBOT Me AI-powered phone mount. This is so dang awesome. And we are going to be giving away one of these after the video. So if you guys have not entered yet, if you have not entered, enter to win right here. If you guys have already entered for all the other stuff, you're fine. You're good to go. Get entered to win if you're not, because after this, we are going to be drawing, um, we are going to be drawing for this. So I'll go ahead and get the video for you guys. We'll play it and then we'll do the giveaway. James here with quick showcase and unboxing of a new product from OBSBOT. This is our OBSBOT Me. This is an AI powered phone mount, guys. This has auto tracking. 
this is pretty, pretty awesome for vloggers or anybody that just wants to use it while like maybe in the kitchen and you want to chat with your family. This works without an app. You do not need an app, guys. But it also works with gesture, gesture control or, you know, a quick pick of the modes, guys. So this is foldable. This will work for about two hours on a full charge, right? This has brushless motors, guys. So you have the brushless motors with the, uh, the, the simple, you know, simple click gesture mode. So you can turn it on and off if you want by a button. The brushless motors makes it smooth and faster so you have no jerkiness with the no apps. You guys can use this with any app you want like TikTok, Facebook, uh, chat, Skype, Instagram, YouTube. Guys, this will work on everything. So inside this kit, what do you get? Let's just show you guys this. I'm going to set this down and pull it out. First, you guys get the lid to the box, right? Sec, you get Second thing you get is the manual. Inside here it says, let me catch you up. So inside here, we'll flip it open without trying to damage this packaging. But user manual, quick user manual, guys. If you guys need it, it's there. It's in several languages. It'll tell you what, how it works and everything. Um, first find, you know, but it says uh, phone holder, phone holder arm, vertical rotation axis. Really tells you everything about it in several languages if you guys need this. Very cool. We will definitely need this at some point, but not right at this second. All right, so nothing with James is ever quick. You guys know this. We're going to continue on. Let's get to the part where he showcases it doing its thing. There we go, right there. It looks about right oh, here. Look at this. Slide it over, clip it in, your phone's in. Right? So... This is not meant for your hand, but you could use it this way. Let's turn it towards me. You could use it as your hand if you wanted. Meant for the tripod. So the next view is, is I'm going to actually set this up and I'm going to use it and see if it'll follow me and track me. So if you guys give me a second, we're going to switch views and we're going to actually record from the phone. Okay. Okay. Now that we're recording off the phone, guys, you guys can watch it. It'll track me. It tracks me around. And it actually tracks me quite white fast and smooth i'm actually impressed with how well it works now as you guys know skype really is annoying the, the the most annoying thing about skype is that you can't just like go down to your task bar right click it and exit you have to open the software to exit it from inside and it's slow yeah it's annoying no we're actually in uh a long mode of this phone unfortunately that way it could capture my face if i was sitting down it would probably capture me just fine wide angled or setting the phone sideways but it works well it is very smooth i'm trying you know you guys can follow me so it does have a stopping motion but let's have it follow me see if it keeps following me follow me as you guys see it got dark in here we're in my kitchen so there's a limitation to this guys right so what's the limitation Limitation means it has to stop at one point because it won't go 360 degrees and keep flipping. Not a big deal. AI tracking is fast. As you guys can see, I jump out of motion and it keeps up. For a All right. You guys saw it. You guys get the gist. That is the end of this stream. I was going to circle back. I was going to circle back and I was going to do some more, but I over the past like 20 minutes, not to complain, have had a pounding, pounding headache. So what we're gonna do now is do the winner of the OBSBOT AI powered phone mount. OBSBOT is awesome, they make a ton of cool stuff. So I hope whoever wins this can find a good use for it. Let me get one last ready in chat. One last ready for all time's sake, my friends. One last ready. All right. I'm going to give you guys just about 30 seconds or so and we're going to win and we're going to draw just to make sure everybody is good. Now for a nap. I'm going to go I'm going to go take a nap. All right. So you guys ready to win?
Here we go. Oh, it's okay. It's completely fine. It's because I've been staring at a screen for nearly six hours. All right. So the winner of the big giveaway today, 150 bucks. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good value right there, my friends. Here we go. The winner of the OBSBOT AI powered phone mount is going to be Who's it going to be? I know who it is. Drew G. Are you in chat, Drew G? Drew G, are you in chat? Congratulations, Drew. Congratulations. That's awesome. I'm excited for you, man. That is awesome. Drew G. You have one. That is awesome. Let me go ahead and make sure that that is forwarded to Justin. All right. So listen, first of all, I wanted to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for so long. I know I didn't get quite to six hours, but I think we got close enough. We gave away a ton of awesome stuff. So congratulations to all of the winners in today's stream. Thank you so much to the people as well that got stuff for my my child on that baby registry. You guys are really, really awesome. Uh, I really appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, but listen, we do have some other giveaways going on. We do have a, um, a 3D printer going on. The last day that you can get entered to win that 3D printer is going to be on Saturday. Saturday is the, dead, is the deadline for entries on the 3D printer. So you want to make sure you get entered. That will be drawn live on Sunday. You don't have to be there on um, Sunday to win it, uh, but definitely get entered. You don't want to miss out on that. Uh, also, a $100 Amazon gift card or PayPal ends on July 23rd. Next stream at 4 p.m. today. I don't think anyone's streaming today after me. I think it's just me, but I could I could be. Okay, no, so somebody is streaming today. But like I said, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, go out there and have a fun 4th of July. I know I'm going to after I take a nap. I'm going to go set off some fireworks. Tons of awesome products. If anything you guys liked interested you, go ahead and add it to the cart, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow at 8 a.m. Central Time. Again, 8 a.m. Central Time. And I will uh, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a great evening.